What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, today we are going to take a look at a new game called Farthest Frontier. Alright, and uh, I actually picked up this game off of the, uh, the Humble Store because the Humble Store gave me a 15% discount. And uh, it's currently, uh, you know, released on Steam right now, and it does not have a discount on Steam. So I highly encourage anyone who who is um, interested in buying this game to pick it up from from the um, the humble store, because you can potentially get like anywhere between 10 to 20 percent discount depending on, you know, if you have that uh, humble uh, bundle uh, choice monthly thing. All right, so I do have a link in my description uh, for the Humble store, so please check that out because that will help me out a lot. All right, so this game is a colony city builder, and it uh, looks like it's got a lot of great reviews right now. So a lot of people are playing it, and I'm interested in it. I actually have seen a little bit of it, and I'm pretty excited. It's very Banished-like, and I love these type of games. All right, let's go ahead and click on New Settlements. Now, I have not played this at all so I will be um, checking this out for the first time and if you guys want to you know give me tips uh, feel free all right so let's see uh, let's look at map type I think I'm just going with standard planes this is my first time so I will do I choose this oh I do choose this starting resource I think this is like Easy, medium, or hard. I think that's how it works. Because this look, looks like it's various different difficulty levels. I don't think I can change this. Yeah, so this is like easy, medium, or hard. Alright, so I'm going to go with the medium for now. I guess I can change the map size. I guess I'll leave it on medium. I usually like large map size for these type of uh, games. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and randomize some of these towns. Homestead? Huh. It's not terribly bad of a name. Stoneham. Wolf. Uh, Donstable. Netherwood. Nashfield. Raidersville. All right, let's go with the Raidersville. We'll probably get attacked. So, all right, let's go with this. I like this. Wait, are there what, what's advanced settings? Oh, uh, we can customize the um, the settings. Okay, and then we can customize the map type too. Yeah, it looks like we can customize each of these things, right? Yep, alright, so now I don't want to mess with that right now. Let's go ahead and hit start. Alright, I'm excited. Life can be harsh everywhere. But in the old world, there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share, leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. The nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave, that we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness, seeking the promise of a new land, than starve to death in our homeland. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. But this wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. It's pretty good. Nice little intro there. Remind me a little bit of the Frost Punk with that winter bit 
So you build a temporary shelter near remote mining and work camps to reduce travel time for workers. Oh, that's a good idea. Nice little tip there. So what I like about this is it's showing like a um, a curved wall instead of like a square wall. I wonder if that is possible in this game. The only thing I did notice is that the in this game, the roads can be curved. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, are walls curvable as well? And if not, maybe the developer should consider making the walls curvable. Because that will make it you know, unique. Because every single game I've played where you build walls, they're generally not curved. Well, well, then again, like Age of Empires does look like you can make curved walls with, um, with segments. Let's see here. You finish scouting the area. Sur survey the land your villagers have explored and choose a promising site to construct your town center. It's important to choose a location that's near resources uh, you'll need to build a successful settlement. Things like clay, iron ore, and potential food sources. Okay. Let's take a look at how we kind of rotate right now. Okay. I think this is the farthest I can zoom out. It's not like Age of Empire. Or it's not like Anno 1800 where I can go straight top down. And if I can't go straight top down, I think that's something the developers should consider adding. Let's see here. Over, toggle overlays. GIF. GIF. Okay, desirability looks the same all around. We should pause, right? And then F is fertility. And then I is water. Okay. Oh, water's like right there. And then F is so. Okay, so like, probably like right here is a good spot. Get rid of this F. Is, are there water around here or no? I don't think there's any water. It's just watered land. Oh, here's one. It's a nice little lake right there. Oh, there's one over here too. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe like right here? So something over here. Right? All right. So how about this spot right here? Can I rotate this? Okay, it's tab to rotate this. Okay. All right, so let's go with that one. Yep. I'm gonna confirm that one. Wait. How come I did? Yes. Click. There we go. Now is there a map? Like a game map? I don't think there's a mini map to this. This is kind of like Frostpunk here with a timeline. Um, automatic build upgrades enabled. What is this? I don't think there's an overlay or a uh, a world map view. Let me pause this. Can I pause this spacebar? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay, so I'd like to be able to zoom far out, like a top-down view, like Anno, but. I don't think that's possible. And I'd like to get a map view so I can figure out where I'm I'm looking at. But I don't think that's possible either in the game. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, I've got some housing shortage. What do we have here? Center on the village. Okay. Uh, prof uh, villager professions. What is this? Resources and storage. Let's click on this. See what happens. No. Can I move this? Okay, yeah, I can move this. That's kind of nice. <laughs> and then I guess I can change professions. Wow, there's a lot of professions. Holy shit. Okay, let's close this. Oh, I can only have one window open at a time, huh? Okay, let's see. This is a build menu, right? Let's see if I can. Well, let's see if there's roads, walls, flattened trains. Oh! Interesting. You can flatten the train. That's probably why I couldn't build at certain points. And what's this one? 
exploration markers, dirt roads. I guess I only have one road option. All right, so now the thing that I did notice other people doing with this is the the roads. You can just click on it, and it just trying to do whatever. It draws the line to where you you want it, which is nice because in other games you have to like drag out the roads and you have to like place some tile by tile. With this you only have to click on one tile to another tile location. Oh, and it curves too, right around that slanted right around that that thing too huh that's kind of nice so I don't have to have like a straight cur or road oh that's kind of cool well for now I'm just gonna I'm gonna go up to here oops and then and then I'll go up to here and then I'll build my houses along this one Let's take a look here. Where's my housing again? B. I gotta remember that next time. B. Housing. Oh, it's locked. I need the town center first. So I can't build a house right away. I need the town center first. Okay. That's fair. I think they automatically gather the trees, right? I don't need to tell them to do it, right? Because in other games, I always have to, like, click on stuff and drag all over the place. Like, choose a radius or, like, a chopped radius. I don't think I, I do that here. I think you just click on this and they just automatically do it. Yeah, so there, you don't have to micro what they do. Or, or, or you only choose restrictions here, and that's it. Because in other games, it's like, okay, you gotta, like, pick pick a little tool thing and either put drop a circle around it or, or like, paint it or something. Or tag trees to, for chopping. So uh, you don't have to tag trees for chopping in this game. I guess you can directly do it, right? If you wanted to. Move as target. Yeah, okay, so you could directly do it if you want. Um, I think. I don't know. Maybe I do have to. Maybe I do have to tag stuff. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't know. Was this clear? Oh, you do have to tag stuff here. Okay, let's clear that then. I don't know. Maybe you do. Yeah, okay, there's a clear button. So I gotta get this done before I can start building houses. What's this? Got some lightnings in this. I like this. Lightning adds to the game. Now, what's the probability of one of my guys getting hit by lightning in this game? I don't know. I don't know if we're ever going to witness that. All right, so we can now do a house. How many? How many people? Can this thing hold? Uh, provide shelter for uh, from elements. Okay, it doesn't say how many it holds, but maybe it will once I click on it. Okay, I think tab key connects this. One, two, three. Uh, rotate. One, two, three. All right, we'll go with that for now. And we'll drop the roads in. We'll go with that for now. But at some point, I should should consider making these a little nice curved roads because then it'll look a little bit more organic. Because I'm always used to like using the grid min max and. Trying to make sure I maximize every single piece of square. 
the land space. All right, what's this guy? What's this guy? Has no firewood. Okay. Right. Let's see here. How do I get firewood? Town center, market, graveyard. This is tier two. Obviously, we won't be able to get that. So that's building storehouse, root cellar, cart, stockyard. Where's the firewood? Basic well. Okay, firewood splinter. Okay. So let's um. Let's stick that down here somewhere. Do I do I rotate this? No. Well, I guess there's no in and output direction for this. All right, I'm gonna stick that right there. That's fine. Let's get this road going this way. And what's this? Red marker. Okay, housing count is eight, and I have twelve people. Okay, so these houses are probably supporting four people in them. Yeah, it looks like it's four right here, occupancy. All right, so we know houses are four. And, uh, and what is this? We're missing wood. I guess I do have to tag these things, huh? For chopping, clear. Is it C? I guess C. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my hotkey. C. Right, C. Clear. I guess they, they only auto chop whatever it is that you place the thing on top of. That's probably what it is. Okay, so there's so yeah. So the resources actually appear on the on the ground. Which is kinda cool. Okay, so we're no longer having a housing issue and then we're gonna actually build extra houses here with us. I think I need to put this on priority. And I don't know if it's a good idea to do this because that's basically doubling our housing. I probably should have just done three only because we might need that wood for something else okay so what else do we need here so we got our basics right or we're going to get our basics and then we need food right obviously in every game there's some sort of what is this greens uh more people await word to join your settlement amass a a four month supply of food and six houses. We just did six houses. Massive. Four month supply of food and six houses. So I just did six houses. Now I need four months worth of food. How am I going to do that? Usually in these games, there's like some berries or something. Is there a gather? Gather, right? Is there a button? I don't think there's a button. Okay, it's automatic. Okay, I do tag stuff for gathering. Which is not terribly bad. Okay, so when I click on this, it actually shows what's being gathered. What about this? Well, that's also being shown as clear. Huh, interesting. I don't know how the gather and the clear thing works, because it seems like it's it's using the same the same highlight. Do I give a do I assign a worker? I do sign a worker, right? Let's add another worker in here. So 
so we can get more. Okay, uh, well, we don't have any storage problems, right? So I still need firewood. That's this thing right here. I still need more wood. So this is, we're gonna have to clear more wood here, I think. Now let's go ahead and highlight all of this. Hang on, why is it not? There we go. Alright, so I'm aware of that. Alright, uh, and then we need food. Okay, uh, months of food lost to spoilage over time. Next month, 12. Oh man, we're losing food over time. Is there a way to store them? Stockpile. Storage cart. Hmm. Stockyard. Food production. Is there a granary or a food storage? Smokehouse. Smokehouse dries and cures meat, fish, greatly extends the, how long is food before spoiling. Okay. Okay, that. Okay, that's good. Hunter's cabin. Okay, that could be a good food source. Forger's shack. It's, uh, a place for forgers to store food. Items collected from the environment around the village. Forgers can provide essential resources like fruits to avoid scurvy or herbs. Okay, I don't know if that. If that is a. Um, it preserves it or not, but this here preserves the spoilage. Okay, well, let's go with Hunter's Cabin. Are there any um, animals around? I don't see any animals around. I don't see any animals around. So let's go. Let me see here. Let's try the uh, the forager thingy then. Okay, there is a radius <laughs> to this. Okay, so we'll put the we'll put the forager over here. And we'll prioritize that, and then. Fishing shack. Okay, we might need a fishing shack. So I don't. Smokehouse is. Well, okay. Smokehouse will go along with a fisherman's thingy. So. So why don't I do that? Just place this here. Actually, let me place the fisherman's thingy first. Oh, it's cool. It actually shows that he can actually reach those things. N key. There we go. Let's go with that. Okay, I think I also need a storage. Let's see here with a storage yard or stockyard. I don't think it has a in or out direction thing okay so I will just dump that right here I guess I'm 
sure. Let's stick there. I don't. Can I move this? No, I can't move this. It's a storage cart. Okay, so what's my wood situation? Let's see here. X or C? I think it's C, right? C. I highlight all this. And I click. Okay, seven people arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? Let's accept them. I have space. The only problem is I don't have food. We're running really low on food. I don't know how I'm going to solve this food problem. Oh, I can only have like one forager. Oh my goodness. Not, one is not going to support the whole village. Huh. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure that one is not going to be enough. I have this bad feeling that I actually might... might fail this first run. Because I don't know what the right build order is. Very, very bad feeling. Uh, uh, okay, bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town. Market stock houses and generate gold based on the number of houses in their their work area. Okay. Hmm. Do I have any gold? No, I don't have any gold. So I don't have anything to sell either. Right now I kind of need everything. Okay. Yeah. Food stocks are low. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I'm gonna add another one of these here. Forager. Add another there. Alright, I think we're gonna add another another fisherman thingy too. Cause I don't think one's gonna be enough. What is this? Patches of herbs. Eh. We don't need herbs right now. That's probably for medicine. I'm, I'm, well, I probably will need it at some point, but... Right now. What is this? Oh, they're gone. Okay, so gray is depleted. Oh my goodness. Maybe right there is not a good idea. Let me cancel construction. How do I cancel this? Yeah, let's delete this. I just realized this one gatherer actually gathered all of this already. Gray is depleted. So, what are my other options? Maybe over here. That's just not a whole, not a whole lot over there. There's some over here. So I'll do this area here for now. There's some here. It's not not great. And then. That's fine. Let's hopefully they just build that. We'll just curve it back into this. All 
All right, so we'll get some of this over here, I guess. So I think gray, or the grayed out is depleted. I think that how, see, it's yield zero. So we're, we're gonna have some issues, I guess. Months of food in public storage is five. So I have five months of food and three is going to spoil in the next 12 months. Wait, months of food lost to spoilage. Okay, so I'll lose three months to spoilage in the next 12 months. And then I'll have five months worth of food. Okay, so this is actually not how many food I have. It's just basically how much. Oh, okay, so I have 160 fruits in storage right now. Okay, so this little counter here at the top is based on months. This is happiness overall. Okay, what, what does this say? It needs water? It needs access to water. Okay, what's my water situation? I think it's I, right? And I need a well. Maybe we're gonna put a well over here somewhere. I think there's a well. Is there a well? No, I don't know. There's a well? Resources, maybe. Basic well, okay. So there we go. Let's stick one right over. Yeah, I guess I'll stick one right there in that corner. Put some roads towards this here. Mm. Yeah, I can only add one fisherman to this hut right here. I think we're good, right? What's this? I think it's health, right? Okay, no one's sick. Everyone's happy and we have enough wood. All right, so let's see here. I think I need to build a farm for food. There's like an option here for crop fields. So we'll do one over here. Is very fertile. I can choose a large size, right? Is there an optimal number? I don't think there's an optimal number. Well, you know what? Hmm. I'll just do this. Let's see how this goes. I might have to make it in smaller chunks to have different crop types. So I don't know. I don't know how this farm thing works. Because I know in other games you have to like make different grids, one for each type. So we'll see. This is red. I think red's just depleted, right? I think that's what it is. You can't live off of berries forever. What is this? Due to winter? Oh, really? Construction halted due to winter? Am I in the winter season? Oh, I am in the winter season. Okay. So I think the berries... I think that just means that they're not going to grow during the winter. I think that's what it is. And we have, what, three months worth of food, which which is this segment right over here. Hopefully the fishing will, will be enough. 
It doesn't say that there's no... It doesn't say the fish fish stuff is halted, so we should be fine. And there's a little fish icon over here. Where there was one. There was one right here. There was an icon over here for fishing. Okay. Oh shit. I think somehow I get the feeling we're gonna we're gonna starve out. We have fish, right? It says twenty-four. And the farming is not gonna work because that it's winter. I think next time I might have to like add two fish three fishermen. This is not I'm looking at this and I've got like what fifty fruits left and then twenty four fish. I think what I, I should have done was not accepted those seven guys. Because it's more mouths to feed. I might have to restart this, I don't know. This is brutal. I was expecting a cakewalk here. Oh, for some reason the roads didn't get added. From here to here. What is this? Clay? Okay, that's clay. Yeah. I think we're gonna fail. Oh, let me see if I can just add another fisherman right now. That might help. I'm a little worried about this. And we have, like, what, two months of winter left? And it says I only have enough food for one month. And the well, I think, dried up, too. That red icon. And I can't build anything because of winter, supposedly. So the only thing I can do is just fish. I don't know if fishing works in the winter. Maybe it does, because... These guys are still doing something. It looks like it's working in the winter. Okay, hopefully I don't I don't starve out my entire population. Wow, that was really fast how it went to straight to winter. Didn't really give me a whole lot of time to, to get this going, huh? Alright, so the hunter's cabin. Are there any animals here? I don't even know if it's worth adding this hunter's cabin yet. If I'm just wasting resources. It says requires. What's it saying? It says requires something. Oh, if you roll your mouse over, it actually shows what animals or what what if I meet the requirements which I don't yeah so there's no okay I'm looking at this and it says it shows like the various different animals and it's red 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 so that means that the, oh 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 here's something here <clears throat> oh, okay right here <clears throat> so right here seems to be a good spot for hunter's cabin Because I saw those green arrows going up. Uh oh. Where? Where? Villager attacked by predators. One of the villagers was attacked by predators. Did somebody die? Oh, there's an animal right here. Oh. <clears throat> 
Let's see if I can build a, a hunter's thing in here. No, you can't. There's nothing around here that's that's giving me a green light for the animals. What is this? Boar sided? Oh. Okay. Well, if a boar was sighted over here, I should stick one right here. And even though it doesn't light up, I think I, I can still play something here. Seven in that one. Okay. Or wait, no, no. I guess there's two left. One left needed on this one. Oh, hey, look. I, I survived winter. Oh. I survived winter. I got 82 fish. New year. Year number two. Great. Uh, what does it say? For, for Allah, said, uh, my dear, for Allah... We'll take cup of kindness yet for Allah's lang I don't know what the hell that means. So. Okay, what's this say? It's missing. No fishes in range. No fishes in range. Why? Why not? Oh, there we go. Now it's... Now it's got something. Okay. I'm living off of fishes. Okay, so this counter basically is how much is required. How much left is required. Alright, let's see here. Can I speed this game up a little bit? Where's it? Okay, here we go. Or sided. Hopefully we can get this here going. And that should solve our food problem. Yeah, I'm aware of this. This guy needs meat. Now what else can I do here? This game has no tutorials. Uh, it does not walk your, you know, hold your hand or anything or walk it through stuff. So that's kind of interesting. I have to like figure stuff out. It automatically assigns professions. All right, I don't, I don't need the graveyard just yet. Resources, what is this? Saw pit, firewood, produces planks. I haven't had the need for planks on anything so far, right? Whoa. Let me slow this down. Some predator. Oh, shit. There's, there's a predator over here. Oh, he's gonna get slaughtered. No, oh, he's gonna get killed. Come on, people. Help out. Oh, he's running for his life. And he's not happy. Just turn around and fight. Holy cow. Alright, well. At least the meat's like right at our door. Okay. Food. We have zero food. This guy's not happy. He's our fisherman too. Can I get another fisherman in place? Can I remove him? Let me add another guy. There we go. Alright, so hopefully we'll get some food off of these guys. Let 
me. There's no more berries to collect. There's some of no, there's no more berries to collect. They're all grayed out on the map. So the only thing that we can depend on is the the fish. Right? There's like a fish over here. How many is left over here? Yields four. Okay, so now we got two months worth of food again. And I guess they were eating greens? Greens. What is this? Bird's nest. Patch of herbs. I guess they're eating the greens off of this. The greens off of this. There's greens over here. Maybe I should just stick a forager like right here. To encompass this area here. So that's the only thing right now that's kind of feeding us are the greens. How much greens are over here? 16? Yeah, I need to build a forger over here. Forger, right? Go with this spot right here. Right now, hang on. I go with this spot. Let's go with this spot right here. And we're gonna get a road going back to town here. So I'm trying to not cut through this, but I, I don't think it I don't think that matters. I don't think it'll delete it. I don't know. Why is it curving around this? It's got this curve right there. Alright, cool. Let's try that. So we get some more greens. I think this guy is also gathering greens, right? He's gathering greens off of this. I think that's what they're living off of right now. I don't think you can eat herbs. Oh, he's pr he's actually produced quite a bit of meat all of a sudden. According to this. No, wait. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, he no, he hasn't. Items produced in this last year. Yeah, he's he's produced zero. I think it just says that what they will produce, but right now here shows they haven't produced anything. Well, that sucks. So I think we're just totally living off of the greens right now. Yeah, I think that's what it is. We're living off of greens and fish. Greens and fish. I don't know what the bird's nest provides. It might provide eggs, maybe. Food stocks are low? Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, that's still quite a lot of greens and fishes, so I don't... I don't think it's low anymore. Or is it still low? I guess it's still low. All right, well, we're, we're still working on this field here. I think it just needs one more log, right? I think it needs one more log. Or no, it yields logs. What's going on with those? What's this mean? Crop field. There's five, okay. It's it hasn't built the field yet. Okay. Cool. 
What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. I think they're just hoeing up the ground or something. I think that's what, what's going on. What are these things? Patches of herbs. Is my stockpile full? What's this? What the hell did I just do? What's this? Support, remove flag. Remove flag. What the hell did I just do? Is my storage capacity high? Okay, it is it is maxed out. Alright, so I need another storage. Storage house. Sure, I'll stick the one right there. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, our berries are back. Our berries are back. So that means we should be getting more food now. Yeah, we should be getting more food. Let's see here. Let me clear some of this out. Oh shit, I accidentally cleared the road. Clear that. All right. And then. I think these were tagged for clearing as well. here. I don't want to clear the road. Jesus Christ, cancel. Oh, no. It, it got the road. That's kind of annoying. Wait, why is it cancel? That's kind of annoying right there. It's just, yeah, this little highlight thing is kind of annoying. I'm not digging this little highlight. Hang on, it actually, it's going to clear the bird's nest too. Just these here, let's just do that one. Prioritize. Yeah, see the fishes aren't going in storage. That's the problem. I think they just, they're just piling the fishes on the floor. And it's going to rot in the next seven months. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bad. I need better storage for fishes or food. How do I do that? Granary. I need town level two. How do I get to town level two? How do I upgrade this? I need wood planks. I need a marketplace. I need a population of 30 to upgrade the, the town. Jesus Christ. I need eight shelters built. Okay, the marketplace I can probably do. Beasting? What the hell is this beasting? Localization, not found? Okay. Oh, localization. Um, okay, overall, it should be fine. So I think I need planks chop some of this down. Alright, let me take this guy off. I don't need that many firewood. We have so much firewood right now. Let's see here. What else can I do? Saw mill thingy. Oh, the desired desirability. Okay, so I need to go further away from my town for people to be okay with it. Yeah, no one wants a saw mill next to their house. Okay, let's go with that. So 
so we can get some of these planks here. And we're just waiting on this, right? Why are they not? Oh my goodness. I think they're just hoeing all this area up. It's slowly getting cleared. I think I shouldn't have made it so big. Yeah, I think I think I just needed to make it smaller. One one new villager immigrated, so we got went from nineteen to twenty. And we have a, a pile of fish here that has nowhere to go. Wow, this storage here is Okay, I have actually two thousand available. Oh no, actually storage capacity is not completely full. Why is the fish on the floor then? Oh, I guess that's where they drop it off. Oh, okay, I guess it just tells us. What is this? Stockyard. What's the difference between stockyard and storage house? A large storage structure used to store all items. A place for villagers to stockpile building materials such as logs, stone, and planks. Spoilage reduction. Uh, I don't have any barrels. Zero percent. Need barrels, I guess. Okay, so the fishes can't be stored in here, in this whole thing. I'm looking at this right here. So this is basically just resources. And then this here, I can store fishes. And this, this house, okay. I think I should have put the stockyard on this side over here. Yeah. Wait, why why do I have markers all of a sudden like this? What is this? Remove flag, yeah, remove flag. Why 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 do I have all these like markers all of a sudden? Like I didn't hit any keys. To get this. This is kinda of buggy. That's kind of weird. And everyone's happy, right? Yep, everyone's still happy. All right, we should be fine in food. No one's complaining about the food situation. We just gotta get this... This little farm set up. Why, why is this... I wonder if they actually will pick this up if we're just gonna sit there forever. I mean, I guess I can always clear it. What's this here? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. I think I might have to just cancel this construction and just reduce it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure how this farming thing works. Okay, there's a lot of berries over here too. If I'm desperate for for berries. Does this guy yield me anything? I bet he's just missing. Hunters haven't found any games for a while. 
or does the site consider moving their hunting ground to a new location? Okay, well that, that's bad. I think I should move the hunters thingy closer to here because I'm... But it says there was a boar sighted here, but I don't... There aren't any boars. Yeah, I don't know. It says that there's a boar sighted here. Do I choose what he, he gets or no? I don't think I can directly control this guy. No, I don't. Yeah. Can I? How do I move his hunting ground? Is there a way to move his hunting ground? Like a. Move his hunting ground to a new location. What is this? Retarget building work. Re oh, there we go. There we go. That's it. All right, hopefully that will do something. What's your situation? Oh, I don't have anyone in here. That's why. Let's go ahead and subtract this guy. I don't think he's... There's, we can't do any berries during this time, so let's tra subtract this guy here for now. So now we have, what, six months worth of food? And we haven't produced anything from this little... Uh, our farm field. I think I need to reduce this farm field size down. Uh, that might be what the problem is. It's too big. What's this mean? I guess I'll cancel this. Are you sure you want to delete this building site and reclaim it as a resource? Yes. And let's just make something really small for now. Minimum size is what? Five? Alright, so let's just do five. We'll do another one. Another five the size. Alright, let's see if that works. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't know if I choose something. I guess they have to finish the construction first before I choose anything, right? Food stock is low? Yeah. Tell me something I didn't know. So what do we have here for food? What do we have for food? We have berries and fishes and we have a few meat. Which is good. It's fine. These guys. What is this? Waste? Oh my god, they have waste. We need to do waste management or something. Is there is there waste management? Like maybe use that for for farming or something. Compost yard. Uh huh. What's what's that other little thingy? 
that icon, I think it's 30 workers or something? Or no, cost, what is cost 40 or 30? What is that 30 thing? I don't know what that 30 thing is. I think it might be manpower or something. Oh, I need, oh, I need gold. Monthly cost, I don't have a monthly cost. I don't have, no, so I can't produce this because I, I re it requires gold per month. Fletcher's building, oh. That could be useful for making the hunters thingy. All right, so I might need that. What is this, okay. I already got the saw pit. The tannery. Okay, I can produce clothes and shoes. Do I have? Do I have leather stuff? Villagers need food. Do I have any leather stuff in storage? No, right? Yeah, I don't have any leather. So I don't need the tannery right now. Let's see here. What else? I think I need that Fletcher's thingy. Yeah, because this might actually help me. Hmm. That might help me with my... That might help me with... Uh with my hunting. Oh my god, I have no food right now. Predator sighted. Oh, this guy's not gonna be happy. Well, he's got nothing to do here anyways. Let me remove this. have 30 fishes here. They just drop the fishes off, like, at weird places. There's like 30 right here. There's 30 right there. Why, why is it not? Hmm. It shows I don't have 30. Do I just need haulers? Maybe I need haulers. Okay, that guy is a hauler right there. He's bringing it back this way. I think what I should have done was put the storehouse right over here. Oh, yeah, let me see if I can put a storage house closer. And that way, all the stuff goes into this. Instead of like dumping it right over here. Oh man. I get this bad feeling. I'm probably gonna have to restart this. Not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Mm hmm. It's pretty brutal so far. Alright, so next time I should just not accept too many people. Focus on optimizing where my my storehouse is, or where the fishermen's are, and then get that running. Get the uh, the hunter's cabin up soon. Space out wherever I can for fruits and greens. Greens look like they're good for spring, I think, and then the berries are like summertime or something. And I need to figure out what's going on with this this farming. This guy's not happy for some reason. Yeah, all my happiness level's going down significantly. I mean, why is that? Immigration rate is causing unhappiness? 
What's this thingy here? What is this thingy? What, what else is... Birth rate? Oh, okay. Eh, they're not happy because... No, I don't need immigration rate and I don't need birth rate. That's bad. Okay. They're, I mean, they're generally unhappy because of the food situation, I think. Yeah, they're, see, they're, a little, they're unhappy because of food. So I'm looking at overall happiness, and the food icon is, like, really low. That's understandable. Oh, I think that I know what that icon, or that little thing is. I think it's manpower. How many hours spent working on that? I need, like, 1,128. <laughs> Manpower. And it's slowly going down. So I should probably not... I should disable construction on this. And put all my manpower on this. Well, actually, no. There should, be, there should be extra workers, so. Yeah. There should be extra workers. What's this say? Food loss of spoilage. 52 meat. Oh my god. I lost meat. How do I solve this spoilage problem? Oh shit, we got fire. No! Our house is on fire. Do we have a well right here? Do we have like a, a fire department? What's going on? Do we have a fire department? Amenities and service. Market, all right, I think we need a market. They were saying something about that earlier. Let's go ahead and stick a market here for now. <laughs> there might be a reason to space these houses out. I don't know, because of this fire situation. This guy is totally... Yeah, these guys are all fighting the fire. <laughs> At least the well is pretty near, so... I lost 52 meat, and that's a problem. I don't know how I'm going to solve that problem. Yeah, cobbler. No. What's this one? Basic well? No. Defenses? No. I don't need to worry about that right now. That's a tower. Walls and roads. Storage, right? Storage is the only thing I can play with. <laughs> Root cellar, a partially underground structure used to store food at a reliable temperature, reducing rate of spoilage. Oh. I should have done the root cellar earlier. Jesus. Oh. Root cellar. Oh, I don't have any wood. stones. Oh, I do have stones. I have 60 stones. All right, so next time when I start restart this, I need a root cellar. Oh, my goodness. That's what's, what's killing me was not having a way to prevent food from spoiling. I lost 52 meat. That was quite a lot of meat, too. put the root cellar next to the storage house. I don't know if that's like a thing. I 
Okay, so this is manpower. Wow, making a farm field is, is crazy. There's a lot of people there to work on this farm. Food stocks are low. Yeah, I'm aware of that. How's this? this guy still has food, which is nice. Okay, so the storehouse here is not going to be effective. What I needed was the root cellar. Yeah, I don't know why I ignored that earlier. I, I didn't read the text, so that was my bad. Partially underground structure used to store food at a reliable temperature, reducing rate of spoilage. Yeah, so the first thing I need to build is this. Yep, first thing I need to build in the game is, well, now the, the second thing, I guess. The second thing I need to build in the game is this. So I can move all my food into that. And then the third thing would be places to collect food. Or, yeah, the food collection. God, I lost fish here. All right, let me take this off. Let me take all this off. Or yeah, I guess I'll leave it on, but it should it should know to to store it, right? Is there a button here? Is there something I can do to? Relocate the oh that's kinda cool. I can relocate building. I didn't know that. It's usually in a lot of these games you have to like deconstruct the thing and then reconstruct it. Relocation is nice. So how do I prioritize them storing stuff in here? To prevent it from, from spoiling. What's this? Flattened terrain? No. This is clear? No. Harvest resources? No. Resources in storage. Empty items last. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. Show categories. I want food, right? Where's my food storage? How do I figure out how to change the food storage? Items at 25% or less, items at 50% or less. Here's food right here. How do I move this into spoilage or the root cellar? Oh wait, oh they did move it. Oh, okay, there we go. They did move it. What's it say? Oh, all the fishes got lost. Okay, that's not. Oops. Put this in there then. I'm gonna store the food in here. Now that I have a root cellar, I shouldn't store any of this in here. Oh man, all these. Alright, so I don't have any planks. These guys should be producing planks for me. Let me add another worker. Okay. Wow. Look, look how much. Let's see here. Can I add? I added more to this. Let me see here. Is there a way to add more 
more builders. This is taking forever. Builders. Oh, I don't have any builders. What does this guy do? What does this guy do? I need more builders. I need five builders. I guess I'll reduce some of this. Maybe we should reduce. Is there increase farmers? No, I can't increase the farmers. I just need more builders. Laborers. I got five, right? No, I just need five builders to finish up this this farming thingy. Let me disable this. Maybe that will help me reduce the number of farmers. I just need this. I just need this working. Or no, oh, he's running away. Shit. No. Okay, I'm going to increase this again then. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. What is this? What is this? This just this just popped up. I don't know what that is. Go, sir. Hey, Miss Panda. Good morning. Yeah, I'm fumbling around trying to figure out what's going on here. Good morning. How are, how are your kids? You, uh, they're all in school now, right? Are you less stressed? I think it's your the first week of school for them, right? Alright, so I have no idea how to get this farming thing going. And it's been like, what, three years now since I've gotten this working on this farm. This is terrible. It's been three years and this, this crop field still has not come up yet. And I'm struggling with food right now. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something with this whole farming thing. It says uh, like five builders, and I'm not. And there's not enough. I don't see five builders on this. And right now I have zero builders. I have laborers. How do I subtract the laborers? Maybe I just reduce some of this. Let's remove the Fletcher. Uh, They're at school now. I get I get up at five and six to get them ready, and then yes, it's so quite so quiet in my house now. Yeah. Sorry. Did you did you beat the second boss yet? <clears throat> core keeper. I don't know if you're still playing core keeper or not. Not yet. I laughed at at the comment you made about how you woke up the house with all the uh, when you beat after beating that first boss. It was exciting when you do the first time boss kill. Well, at least it was for me when I when I killed mine. But I just thought it was funny because Glurch is probably the easiest boss. <laughs> Market. I'm getting food spoilage in the market too. I don't know. Oh, I'm actually starting to get gold now. That means I can do a compost. Yeah, I can do a compost. Maybe my my farm needed the compost. That could have been it. That's probably what it was. 
All right, let me put that compost here and see. I'm thinking that that could be the case. I'm not quite sure. You can't wait to get this game. Yeah, if you like, I was saying earlier in the stream, if you have like the humble bundle choice monthly, like I do, you get a discount depending on how long you've been a choice member. So I actually picked this up for like 15% off. On Steam, they don't have the developers didn't put like a discount on Steam. So it's kind of nice having like that humble choice. The only thing is like the choice this month, I'm thinking of canceling. I'm waiting until my, my rebuild comes up. And I'm going to cancel this month because none of the choices this month are really good. And then usually like when you cancel, they offer you like, hey, instead of like canceling, what if we gave you like a $3 discount or a $5 discount? Will you still stay or something? So I might consider staying if they offer me a discount, but the choices this month are really horrible. None of those games are games I'd actually play. But so that's usually what I do is I pause my my humble choices. But but your first month you'll always get 10% discount on any products that you buy. So overall it's kind of like you know the what you're what you're paying in the the choice um and then your discount for any games that you buy, it kind of works out the same. But yeah, this game looks pretty pretty interesting. It's, I like the graphics. I like the the aesthetics. It looks pretty simple and straightforward for the most part. And right now it's just a matter of like figuring out the build order at the very start of the game and the mechanics because right now the mechanics I'm having to deal with is a spoilage thing which makes sense I mean food should spoil so that's the challenge right now is dealing with the food spoilage and then right now the other challenge is trying to get this farm going and it See, I think the farm thing is slightly, I guess, unbalanced. I think they need to speed this farm thing up a little faster. Because it took me like three seasons. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. It took me like three seasons to get this going, and I still haven't gotten a farm yet. It might be four seasons. Oh, no, four years. Four years. So I don't know what's up with that. And I just realized how to generate money. Which is this market thing. Because before I was I didn't build this compost because I'm thinking, okay, I, I don't know how to make gold. Because the compost requires gold upkeep. Which is weird, but okay. But yeah, I, I was actually looking forward to this game. Like I, I saw this like this game uh, being previewed like a couple of months ago. Aha! Uh -huh, they finally finished it. Alright, so how does this work? Uh, soil mixture. Do I have soil? I don't have any compost. I don't have soil yet. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> Add clay? I don't have clay and I don't have sand. Current soil bonus. Target soil bonus. All right, so let me click on this. So what do I want to grow? How does this work? <laughs> this is really complicated. Wow, how does this work? Which is the best crop to have right now for my situation? Frost tolerance is 10, which is good. Okay, so these are bad for frost tolerance. I think I just want carrots, right? Carrots and peas. Wheat, well, wheat, can't do anything with wheat, obviously, unless I get something to grind it. I'm, I mean, like, I'm guessing, I mean, almost every game you have to, like, process wheat. So I don't think I want to do wheat just yet. Right, yeah, I think this is also something I have to process. I think that produces beer or something. 
All right, so this one, cabbage. All right, that looks like the best, right? One, two, three, four, four green bars. Heat tolerance, right? I think cabbage is my best right now. It's heat tolerance. Okay, cabbage. Let's go with cabbage. Now, what's this add second crop? Cabbage again? I guess I can add a third crop, uh, a different crop. But I guess we'll do carrots. We'll just do carrots. Leek? Oh, leek. Oh, I should have just done leek. Let me, let me subtract. Let me subtract this. Let's do leek for that one. Wait, how do I, how do I remove this? There we go. All right, let's do that. Close this. I think I closed the window. And then this here should give us some um, some soil, right? All right, so now I can enable this again. Let's start working on that. All right, so I think the best thing to do is build the farms one at a time because it takes a lot of manpower. And I think it's just better to start with a small plot instead of trying to like make a large plot. Because last time I made this large plot right here, I think there is a tech to unlock that helps keep food longer, which is beneficial early game. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. The only thing that I was able to figure out was this root cellar. And I totally missed it earlier. So if I had to start the game over, the first thing I wanted, or the second thing besides housing, right? So housing is the first thing. The second thing is to to get this, well, hang on. Root cellar. It's the root cellar is what I wanted. And I didn't know that, right? But in terms of tech, like I, I think tech is based on on the building structures. And I can't go to level two because I think it requires Town Center 2, right? The granary, right? So it requires Town Center 2. And to get Town Center 2, I need my population to 30. And I need two more shelters. I guess I could try to go towards that. I already got my marketplace. Let's go ahead and add another... More, more housing, I guess. Hang on, let me see here. What's the radius on this one? It doesn't encompass that. All right, I think I'll just build my two houses here for now. We'll just do that for now. It does look like a good game with a bit of a learning curve. Yes, yes. So I was saying earlier was there's no tutorial in this game, which I, I like, you know, I like games that kind of, as long as the game is designed in such a way where it's intuitive enough for you to, like, figure out. Uh, I don't mind the, you know, the learning aspect of the game because that's the fun part, like, on, almost of the game is figuring out how to, how to play. Uh, it's great for me because like I make YouTube video content so I can at least make some guides especially like games that don't have like tutorials and then you know anyone who's interested in looking for for video guides they can actually look for that content you know what I mean but I I, I like games where you can kind of like figure things out so long as it's intuitive it's not like so obscure like buried somewhere um so, so far, I don't have, like, a major complaint. Alright, so here. So now I have compost. I just need to up my food situation. So I keep saying, like, I, I really have this bad feeling that my town is going to starve out. And I might have to restart this. Now that I know what the build order is. 
what not to do. It's usually fun. Like, the games where... Yeah, you, me too, unless there is one thing that isn't obvious and that I miss and it kind of breaks the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Like, if the game is just... If they do something where it's not obvious, it's so buried away, it's not intuitive, and it's some button that's just like, you gotta like click, click, click through a bunch of stuff to figure out, I'm like, okay. And if I have to do that on a regular basis, that puts me off. Like, I, I played, started playing this demo called Land of Vikings. It's a similar game to this, where you're like trying to build up like a Viking town. I'm like, how do I, how do I select a builder, you know, and I had to like go... I had to go manually hunt down like villagers individually and then choose the um, assign them to be a builder. I'm like, well, why don't you just give me like a UI like this? And then I can just choose what I want from this. And then you auto assign the villagers, right? I, why do I have to like manually click, click, click on every single villager to assign? That was a really bad UI, you know, and I, I was not. And I'm thinking, like, long term down the road, uh, for the game's lifetime, do I want to go through every single villager just to micromanage? Especially, like, if I get, like, a town of, like, 100 villagers, I'm like, okay, I need to make a builder. And then I have to, like, go through this village menu and try to f click on every single villager to find out who's not assigned to a task and convert them to a builder. That, that was just a terrible, terrible UI design. I mean, I can't, I can't bash that um, too much, only because it's, yeah, it's really bad. I mean, it, it is, it is a demo. The game's not released yet, so I did go on their forum and I, I gave my feedback on the demo, and uh, it was during the Steam Survival Fest demo last week. It's no longer available as a demo, so I went on the forum and I said, I said, look, your build menu thing. I was fumbling around trying to figure out how to get a builder. For like five minutes that was not intuitive and the developer says yes we are aware of the ui problem and we're working to fix that thank you for the the feedback so they're definitely aware of that problem and i was looking forward to playing that because it looked pretty cool laying the vikings but this game doesn't have that problem so that's that's good all right come on i, I have some food now i think i need to get this assigned again. I think I need to sign this again, right? Yeah, I, I like games like this too. I definitely like this. This is a little bit different. I mean, I recently bought Settle, I think Settlement Survival. I haven't had, had a chance to play that. I bought, like, I think Patreon. Patron. Patron. Uh... That was okay. It was mediocre. I have like Kingdoms Reborn. I actually liked Kingdoms Reborn, so that wasn't terribly bad. It's like a banished feel. Alright, come on. Okay, so, we got compost, right? We got soil. Do I choose this? No, I don't choose this, right? Okay. Splatter cat put a work field portion in one crop season. Not sure if that's necessary or not. Put a work field portion in one crop season. I'm not sure what you mean. Put a workforce field portion in one crop season. What does that mean? Workforce field in portion one crop field like this down here you mean oh you mean down here oh okay what's this icon here failed to be in planting what's this here what's this little icon here i think it's waiting all right you know what i'll try that let me see if i can switch this out and put a workforce here that might be a good idea actually What's this say? This field has empty crops this season. Okay, no, that's fine. We're in the winter season, so. 
what's this say? Expand crop field. Oh, there we go. Expand. All right. That's a useful feature, too. So I'm not completely stuck with the 5x5 grid, which is actually very useful. Because I know, like, in another game, I think it was Patron, I was, like, a lot of games, you're, like, stuck with, like, building a grid, and then, like, if you want another another farm, you had to, like, build a second grid. So actually, this here, I probably don't need to do this, then. Because I, I can slowly expand it. That's interesting. I don't know. I've already got, I've already got like a third into this already, but at least it's good to know that I can probably expand it this way and this way. So I'll probably expand it this direction. Because a lot of games where it's, you know, you had to like build, you make your grid, and it's like okay, if you want to make it bigger, you had to like build another grid. And then it's like in a lot of games where it's like, okay, well, I've got this tiny little strip here and it's, and I can't meet the minimum requirement for the grid. I had to like deconstruct my whole crop field just to, to, to take this grid section and then shift it over. And those are really annoying. So having games where it lets you like expand your crop field, that's kind of nice. Like you can expand the tiles over. So that's a very nice feature. I like that. All right, so now this guy here can collect the greens. And that will be our new food supply here for a little bit during the summer. Or, or spring, during the spring, yeah. So it looks like spring is greens. And I think summer, towards the end of the summer, towards the spring, or, or wait, hang on, is there summer? I think, yeah, there's like a summer season right here. I think the berry starts growing. Sign workers. You can't assign anymore. I don't want to get people in here. Do I choose anything? No, I don't choose anything. Well, according to this, I'm getting something soon at some point. It's just right here. It says this field has empty crops, crop seasons. So I don't know what that means. And my food's low. I'm already aware of that. Okay, this guy here is useless. I guess I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to relocate his building. To somewhere over here. Let's see if that will help with getting more meat. Okay, I guess I can. I need to get one more guy in here to build some some bows and arrows. So that might help with the hunting. Oh yeah, well right now a little early in the game for me to put I don't think I have any issues with the with the crop animals coming yet. Or, I mean, animals taking this. But, yeah, I did notice like, other uh, streamers started building walls and stuff around their base. And I could see later down the road that's something I might have to work towards is building, building like, walls to defend myself from raiders, bandits, or whatever. So I thought that was kind of a neat little concept is having to deal with um, actual hostiles. So I was, I was mentioning at the early part of the game, now let's test, let's test this out. Drag select walls to dismantle. How do I, do I, how do I click on walls? 
Well, I guess I, don't, I can't build wall technology yet, right? I think that's what it is. Or I can. Oh, I can build walls. Fences? Fence gate? Oh, I can't do walls yet, but I can do fences. Oh. Yeah, see, the thing I was saying earlier at the beginning of the game is that the, the, the game still has, like, a a corner. Okay. So, you know, like, how the, the, the roads can curve? So, when you select these roads, which I thought was very nice, a nice feature here in this game, is you can select a road. You don't actually have to, like, drag the road like this and drag the road like this. Right, this is not bad, right? How the road automatically curves and you only have to place two points. Well, the game graphics at the start shows walls curved. They have like the town with like a, uh, a circular wall surrounding the town. So here, I'm like thinking to myself, do they have that in this game? Well, it looks like they don't. It's, it's actually square corner walls. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, and, I, and maybe like developers can actually consider having the the wall system similar to the cur the the curved road system, right? Because otherwise, I have to manually do my walls like here to here, and then here to here, right, to get my curves. Let's cancel this out, actually. I don't want that. I don't want that there. Is there a... Oops. X, X the walls out. Cancel. Salvage. Salvage. There we go. I don't know. Maybe it is an unlo unlock. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. This is the first time I'm, I'm playing. All right, let me br brb here. Uh, can I pause this? Actually, I'll just leave it running. I need to feed my cat. She's like bugging me right now. So I'm gonna leave it on this, so we can watch. You guys can watch whether this gets built or not. All right, brb.
Okay, back. Our food, food supply has gone up, which is nice. I'm just noticing that. So yeah, I think the first thing you, or the second thing you want to build after the housing is the root cellar. That way you can transfer all your food, your starting food supply into this thing to store it. So that, I didn't figure this out until like really late, really, really late into the game. Until after all my food started spoiling like crazy. Now this here, I don't know why they have not planted this yet. I guess they only planted this. But I don't know what this what this delay thing means. This timer thing is. I don't know how this thing works. I don't think I choose, right? I don't think I choose anything. Wait, assign workers? No, I can't. I think that's the maximum number I can assign. Add sand? Well, I don't have any sand, right? Field status is infected? What? Where? Where, where are you seeing this? <clears throat> where, where, where are you seeing this? Current disease. Oh, you're right. You're right. Infected leaks. Infestation is 10%. Oh, man. This is really complicated. I, what am I doing? How do I avoid this? Ah, this is done now. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I'll do carrots for this one. And we'll just... Uh, Okay, we'll do this one. What is this? Clover? I don't need clover. What is this? Flax? I don't know what that does for me. Uh, turnips? Okay, let's throw that down and see what that does. I have no idea what some of these are. Alright, so I don't know what to do about the... The infected stuff yet. If there's anything I can do about that. So no idea what's going on. Yeah. Select crops that will stay in green zone for the field, I think, for the best results of less disease. Oh, I see. Is there a green zone? What green zone? Oh, I see. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, you can choose more stuff after that. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, can I slide? Oh, I can slide this back and forth. Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice that. Okay, interesting. So cabbage is decent. This is kind of decent as well, right? How do I change this? I think I need like sand somehow. Okay, that, wait, season progress? What? This crop plant is currently in progress and cannot be moved. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wish to remove them? No. No. Oh, I, oh, it's already in progress. Okay, so I can't move, I can't move that right now. They're actually working on it. Okay. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. Alright, so what about this other one then? I don't know what, what I'm doing with this one. So they're roughly in this, this yield area, so I just need to figure out 
no crop in this season. Why? Why is there no crop in the season? This turnip is probably because it's infected, right? Or infested. So I guess I'll remove it and add something else. Let's add. Can I add cabbage. What does this icon mean? Fail to begin planting. Let's see here. Can I? Let's take that out then. How about this? I think I was doing that already on the other one. Let's try something different. Um, how about this? I'm not. I'm not quite sure what this is right now. This is the current thing. This part is really tough to figure out. I'm not quite sure what this icon means. <clears throat> or as it says, failed it to plant, but I picked something and it's not... Well, it doesn't have a problem anymore. There's no icon giving me alert status. So... Something's being planted. Now this, what is this little thing here? Oh, so that only affects leaks, so I can't put leaks on this. But I don't know what this is. And I don't know what... I'm beyond the planting season. What's one and two and three or something? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this. I don't know what the sliding thing means. Do I choose? Is this something I know? I don't know what this is either. Now this thing is constantly moving. I. It's moving along with the season. You can have multiple crops in each year, year one, two, and three. So this is year one, two, and three. Is that how it works? Ah, okay. Okay, so I need to go back to this. And then see if I can add this to it, maybe. Shit, okay. How about, how about add... Add that one to it. I can't, right? Well, that's too small. <clears throat> Can I add anything else? Not enough room to add crops. Oh, okay, so let's add this guy. Can we add this guy? No. No, okay. Let's remove this then. Can I... Can't do that either. I can't extend it beyond this. <clears throat> looks like I can't extend it beyond this into the winter. Yeah, it looks like they won't do anything in the winter zone. <clears throat> so this one I got I got carrots going, but I can't I can't drag it into the winter area. Okay, alright, so I'll do that then. And then this one I'll do I'll do cabbage the first year. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. It's a little Tetris like. I can't move this, right? Yeah, I can't move that now since it's already it's already done. Alright, so that one will leave. This one, I guess since we're out of the zone, we can't do anything about it. Let me see if I can add carrots or cabbages on this one. Let me remove this guy then. I don't need to maintain this. I'll maintain him on the third year then. And then this one. I don't know. We'll add peas or something. Let's see if that works out. Alright, so how's how's my upgrade? So I need 30 people to upgrade this, so I'm almost there.
But yeah, this is a little complicated here. Whatever this is, whatever that's going on over here. All right, so I need to figure out how to get sand. I need to get sand so I can readjust that thingy then. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything here that does sand? None of those produces sand. Clay pit. Okay, I'm gonna eventually need the clay pit. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking for the the sand pit here. Okay, so sand pit. All right, so I need a tier two town center and a wagon shop. No, okay, so I need a wagon shop. Where's a wagon shop? Okay, that one. All right, storage. So I need to upgrade this first, which requires 30 people, which I don't have. Once I get 30 people, there we go. New village is born. And a new villager migrated. Okay, there we go. Now we can upgrade this. And how do I... Yeah, okay, I have enough. Okay, cool. So then I should be able to then... Once that upgrades, build this wagon shop, and then I can build my clay and my sand pit. So the, the next thing is trying to figure out where the, the sand stuff is coming from. The clay deposit. So I need to figure out where sand... Sand is... Okay, so sand over here. Sand is over there. So that will help me with my farming. All right, that's that's helpful. Right here, getting this. And how's my? And then I can probably build the granary, right? Store more food. This one, right? An above ground structure for food storage of wheat and other grains. Gran granary also makes it difficult for rats and other pests to steal food. Do you ever go back and watch your first playthrough to see how you've uh, how far you've come playing a game? Um, I don't usually watch my first playthrough because I knew I generally know how how it goes down. And my first playthrough is usually bad. <laughs> Cause I mean off the bat, like I know. Um, certain things I, I've made mistakes on or I take too long doing something. I don't need to watch it. I, I kind of already know how I failed and how far I've, I've come since since the first playthrough. Alright. How do I keep getting this little marker showing up all the time. Yeah. Right. So what are we doing? We're just waiting on... We're waiting on this, right? It needs eight more. Let me prioritize upgrading this. Alright, so we definitely have like a sand pit... or sand resource deposit over here. Scrolling around. A lot of times I, I I generally restart a game after I figure out like how how the game mechanics work. Cause I'm always I'm always about like trying to make a good run smooth as possible, like a really nice satisfying playthrough. Like I've 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 restarted like auction not included so many times when I first played, like my first playthrough. Ah, okay. Send mar explorers out to reveal the area. Okay, that's a good idea. I was wondering what those little markers mean. Let's do that actually. Now the question is, do I? 
do I assign explorers? Or do they just go automatically, depending on who's available? I don't know. I don't know if I have to assign an explorer or anything like that. Military guard soldiers, no, right? Services, healers, no. They just go? Okay. So if they just go out there, then that's fine. Then that's auto, that's good. Let's go ahead and hit the... Let's do that then. I guess it just adds it to, to the job list. Oh yeah, you're right. It is being revealed. There we go. Oh, and the markers go away. Okay, that's cool. So how are these guys doing? Okay, so he is producing meat. And he is also producing meat. This guy's lacking fish fishing stuff. Can I change the range? Oh, I can change the range. I just realized that. I'm this fishing guy too. Change this range here. Shift it over a little bit. Hopefully that will do something. So these food spoilage, I don't know. Oh my god, I lost like 78 meat. That's, Jesus Christ. That's terrible. How much did I lose? 30 fish? Oh man, I really need to figure out how to like better preserve my food. I think there was something about there was something about I think keeping the smokehouse. Oh, there we go, dude. I forgot to put the smokehouse down. Another another thing I forgot to do. The smokehouse! Oh boy! I think that could have saved me some more food from spoiling. Alright, I've learned something new again. Smokehouse. Alright, so let's say. Yeah, I know, right? It took me like six or seven, eight years, nine years to figure out the smokehouse. Jesus Christ. How many years have gone by since I placed the smokehouse? Smokehouse. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've wasted so much. Okay, was this by year or no? Is this four years? I think this is four years. I'm guessing this is years. So four years have gone by and I, I did not figure out the smokehouse. I'm thinking this is years, right? Population by years. It only makes sense by years. Unless it's for the last 12 months only. It's gotta be by years. I, I think this is this I think this number increases. It's years, right? Yeah. It stores all years, right? I think it's all years. Hopefully it's all years and not not past yeah, okay should be all years stocks are low god i feel like restarting now i've just had a bad start i get this feeling i'm gonna fail really hard just now discovering the smokehouse
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what's our okay? So now that we have this, we're what are we doing? We're we need to build a wagon. All right. Was it storage? I think it was storage. We need to build a wagon. So then we can work on this clay pit thingy over here. Wait, crops lost to wildlife? Uh, what? What? Where? Where? Who ate my stuff? What wildlife? What wildlife? Eat my wildlife? Oh my goodness. Alright, now. Okay, hmm. I think we're gonna have to build that wall or that fence now. Jesus. Alright. Oh man, alright, so I need to remove the. I need to remove the. I need to remove the roads. Can I remove the roads? How's this thing going? I guess X out the, the roads. We clear the roads, right? Let's clear that out. So I gotta put put like a fence around it. Mm. Okay. All right. Wow, I didn't realize the wildlife was gonna be that big of a problem early on. I need to make one of these fences, right? So I need to make a fence off of one of those. Or a uh, gate, gate, right? I think it's a gate. Yeah, there we go. They demolish and rebuild. There is a relocate move command. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do that. Oh man. I think what I needed to do was probably put the hunters thingy here. Right? I think I need to put the relocate this hunter thing here. Sh should use the fence for your fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. For sure. I just need my hunters thingy here for a little bit. I don't see any I don't see anything animal wise. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave my hunter's cabin there. There's no reason to do it right now. If I actually have a wall around this, we should be good. Damn, I lost all those food. Yep, you're right. I guess I should have gotten that fence up sooner than later. I'm learning definitely a lot of things now. And I'm so tempted to restart this. Well, I'm going to keep progressing because I'm sure there's other things I can pick up while playing this. Arm myself with more knowledge before restarting. Okay, the sawmill. Let's add another guy in here. Seems like my low on salt on wood. Well, it's okay. We all know they are going to starve soon enough. <laughs> yeah, I I'm pretty sure my guys are gonna starve. I keep saying that, and I've been saying that at the start of the stream. I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to restart because they're gonna all die off. Okay, this guy, they're sick. Jesus Christ. All right. Um. Is there medicine? Let's take a look here. Is there medicine?
medicines. Market already got the market. Healers, healers hut, right? Trading post, no. School, no. Don't need to worry about that. Pub, don't worry about that right now. Rat catchers, ooh, what the hell is that? I don't think I have that problem yet. Okay, let's do the healers hut. Let's go throw down this healers hut here. Okay. Wow, requires a hundred gold. I don't even have a hundred gold. Alright, hopefully I'll be able to do that. And then the fences. Come on, builders. My builders are all slacking. Oh my goodness. Come on, builders. Wait, why? Why is it not? Oh, a decrease. There we go. Right, hopefully that's good. 94 gold. Yeah, I'm running out of gold. See that? They just consumed all of it. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get my my bag of chips here. So I'm a little hungry here.
right back. Okay. Let's see here. What's the sun icon here? 74 crops lost to heat stress. Oh my god. Shit. Oh. That is bad. I shouldn't be planting peas during the summer. That's a bad idea. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Can I get rid of it? I should get rid of it. That was a bad idea. All right, so. I guess I should. Leaks, right? Let's, uh, it's too late now, right? Not enough room to add crops. Heat tolerance. Beans. I can add beans. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's eaten my wildlife, so I need the builders to hurry up. They still haven't finished this, huh? What's going on with that? Wait, oops. I need more builders to get rid of the wildlife. <laughs> yeah, all my peas died. Hmm. All right, so don't plant peas during the summer. That's the other thing. What's this barrel thing? What what, what is this? This building is storage is full. Oh, I need another smokehouse. Another smokehouse. Is it food production? There we go. All right, I'm still alive. I've got 17 months of food supply. That that's like what a year. Oh yeah, I think I should probably. I could probably add more houses now, right? Since I actually have a pretty good food supply. Good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Or can I, should I just upgrade? Or no, temporary shut, no. I wanna make sure I'm within this market range. And this well range. I don't know if this well has a range. Let's go ahead and add a house right, right here. Right, it's within the range right now. Yeah. Yeah, add another house like right over here. And that should be fine too. Let's see here. What was it? I think. Is it food? Is it what? Oh no, where's the well? Amenities, right? Amenities. Which one has the which one has the well? Okay, here we go. So that should cover this. Okay, I have to wait until this gets built. I think that should cover the what this house over here. Yeah, I I just noticed a population cap, so. Well, whoever had that that illness um, either died off or got healed because the healer healer spot hasn't been built yet. Oh, I need soap, huh? All right. Interesting. I'm trying to remember what I think it was Ano. Ano 1800 has soap. It just triggered my memory. It's like, okay, soap. Like, which other game can I think of that 
of his like needing soap. So I'm pretty sure it was Anno 1800 that that had the the soap requirement. Peas right here. Well, this is more towards the autumn season, so I don't think that I don't think I don't think that's gonna get affected by the heat. I guess in between. Okay. How am I doing with for food? <clears throat> I'm still living off of greens. Oh, I have some turnips. Look at that. I've got some turnips. Or is that just generic root vegetables? I think this is generic food. Root vegetables. I think I think uh this is cons this is considered root vegetables maybe. Okay. So what else can I work on here? <clears throat> so I got this cart here now. From foraging? No, the foraging shows up as greenery or berries. <laughs> Hang on, where's the... Where's my thing? Yeah, it shows up as greens. That's foraging. And this is foraging. Now this, I th root vegetables, I think that comes from... Something I grew, but I think it's just consolidation of all the different vegetable types. Because it's got a picture of carrots there. It's got a picture of turnips there. So those are considered root vegetables. Right, I think these are root vegetables. And these are the beans. Um, I don't know what this is considered as. Maybe this is considered root vegetables. I don't know. That's probably root vegetables. That may or may not be considered root vegetables. I don't know. Because I'm looking at that. Unless this is unless this falls under greens, right? Because the picture does show something that kind of looks like. Like the uh, the cabbages. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's the smoked smoked meat. Oh, nice, nice. Is this full? No, that's not full. We should be fine for now in terms of uh, food storage. Alright, let's go ahead and get the sand thing going. I think there's an arrow out or something. Yeah, there's no arrow out. Okay. And then I need a 
road towards that. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I need to get a road towards that somehow. None of these are green lines. Why can't I get a green line out? Sure, let's go with that for now. <laughs> it's kind of a weird curve. And then we need a clay pit. Have some line here, I guess. To that. Alright, hopefully that works out. Yeah, there's some dairy too. I don't I don't know how how that works. Cause I don't have any any cows. I can build some, like make some soap. It requires herbs and something else. Something else. I don't know what that thing icon is. It looks like it's what? Firewood? Herbs and something else. I don't know what that icon is. And we can probably figure that out from the storage. <coughs> Excuse me, tallow. I don't know where this tallow comes from. It's probably from the animals. Uh, do they build the roads? How do you place it? Or from town side out? What do you mean? They just automatically build the roads for whatever you, you, you drag it from. They do build it. They definitely build it. <clears throat> Which part of the road do they build first? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure. But they definitely build the roads because I, I noticed like when I placed it, they started building them. The healer's hut requires clay. I just noticed that. <laughs> so we actually had the gold. We just need the clay now. So I'm still alive for nine months, and my food spoilage has gone down to one, which is good. Before it was ex extremely high. Good thing I'm building that. Oh, the uh, yeah, good thing I'm building the uh, the clay pit. You mean? Yeah. Okay, so it needs wood. I think they seem to be just chopping the wood as as it goes along. I don't... I haven't had the need to clear any trees. I 
I think trees just regrow automatically. You don't need like a forester. Let me see if that's if that's true or not. Because usually like games like this, you have to have like a forester or something. Is there a forester in this? No, right? There's not even a, like a log guy. There's usually like a a lumberjack yard or whatever the hell. I think that's just automatic. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that says, like, Lumberjack or Forester. I guess that's a good thing, but I don't know. It's kind of weird not having a Forester, though. I mean, or sorry, a Lumberjack thingy, right? Like a place to... a logger's camp or whatever. Or at least, you know, a combination, like a forest forester with with like a log log cabin or whatever, or loggers camp. I don't know, it's just kinda weird that, that they don't have that. I mean I'm not complaining too much. I feel like that's kinda like more realistic, right? That if somebody's all in charge of the, the wood but it seems like right now it's just like, you know, everyone just goes out and gets wood whenever the hell they want. And there isn't like a stone depositor or like a quarry, like a, a guy. Oh, hang on, let me see. I do have a something, right? You have an arborist? That's kind of like a, a forester. Let's see here. Oh, hey, you're right. What is this? I can't... I can't assign it. It's not something you assign. So that means there, is, there has to be a building associated to it. Yeah, there has to be a building associated work camp. Oh, maybe it's the work camp. <clears throat> it's in foods? <clears throat> Hunter's cabin, no. Windmill. Bakery. Barn. Oh, oh, here we go. A building that employs an arbus uh, will work at this building and maintains and... Uh, this building and maintain and harvest fruit trees nearby. Well, we harp. Well, that's not the same though, right? You harvest fruit trees. I guess maintain means like he regrows the trees. I guess that's just, okay. I guess that's kind of like a forest forester. Yeah. Okay. But there's no one guy that actually chops trees. I think they're all they're all woodcutters. I think they're all woodcutters. So I'm gonna stick this guy out here then. Or no. I mean, this is really nice over here, right? It's very lush. Right? Yeah. Well, medium lush, right? Fertility, super green. Okay. No, I wanted to be over here, actually. Super green area. Let's go with this, I guess. I don't know if 
there's like an output. Is there an output arrow, arrow to that guy? I don't know. Let me look at this again. Okay, yeah, there's no output arrow, so I guess any any roads will do. I love building my Forester Woodcutter Sawmill supply lines. Yeah, see, I don't know. There isn't like a woodcutter. There's just no. Everyone is a woodcutter. Not that I mean. I I don't think there's a. I don't think there was a woodcutter. Woodcutter specifically, which is a workyard where s s uh, saw sawyers cut logs into planks. What is this? Oh no, that's that's tannery. Yeah, see, everybody, everybody can just chop trees. The only thing I can think of is work camps are used to continuously harvest wood and stone. Oh, okay. Work camp. That's probably what it is. Work camps are used to continuously harvest wood and stone. So it's automatic, I guess, when they need it. But this here is continuous. Sure, we have a lot of stone thingy here. So that that's kind of a like a logger. Yeah, I like the Settlers game. Yeah, I agree. Well, for the most part, I mean, I played the the recent beta that's coming out. It's too heavy on the RTS side. The old Settlers were fine. Like, I like the, the slow pace buildup of the military. Uh, I like the tower capture idea for the old Settlers, but the newer one that I beta tested recently, which they scrapped uh, or delayed... Because they they got really really bad feedbacks from the from the beta, and um, yeah, that's just that one particular the new the new one that one particular game. There is they cut out like a lot of the resource management, the whole supply thing. Like you literally didn't need to like get. Um, I think uh, yeah, you didn't even need like bread. I think bread, the whole bread thing was completely thrown out the window. You technically don't even need food uh, with the latest settlers. Because I remember complaining like food is not required for settlers, the latest build or the latest version. Food was only used for buffs. And the buffs were very specific, right? I think bread was like increase these. Bread was buffing the 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 housing to increase production or population. Um, I think it was like fish was increasing buffs for for the uh, the tree line, and then the berries was increased buffs for the uh, for something else. I can't remember what the berries were for, but um, I think it might have been for gold. I think berries, yeah, berries were, were used for gold, and then the uh, the meat was used to buff the the blacksmith. But you you don't need to actually use the buffs. That was my point. My point. So that that's why I like the new settlers is like it really just kills the whole need for like resource management. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, you should watch my you should watch my beta. My beta preview, let's play series, or, or not series, but it's 
it's my playtest for for settlers on my YouTube channel. I have a, I also have it on my um, my uploaded videos for Twitch. So in the in the highlight or video uploads or various I think it's my various play uh, various playthrough collection on Twitch or on my YouTube channel. It's easier to go to my YouTube channel. Uh, I guess I can give you a link. Let me see here. But no, they they totally botched the whole Settlers, which I'm very very disappointed with because I I'm really into the Settlers series. Oh, it was a huge disappointment playing it. Let me see here. I'm gonna share you the link. If you're not if you're not like subscribed to my YouTube channel, like yeah, please please subscribe. I'm trying to get partnered on YouTube. Yeah, like watch that and you'll see. You'll see. You'll you'll be like, what the hell? Like they, they even took pre orders and then they started canceling, but they recently started up pre orders again. And they did a technical test recently in in May or April. But no words no words yet about that. So I don't know what's going on with it. But I agree, I had high hopes for the game. Very, very disappointed. Okay, now we have... Okay, we're missing clay. We're missing clay. For this and this. Yeah, thanks for for the sub. Appreciate that. It didn't. It should go up. Just, I guess refresh. I don't know. It did for me. It said somebody somebody sub. Yeah, it showed it showed you sub. So I don't know. I guess refresh. Ah, thank you for that. Appreciate it, Force. Thank you for the sub. No, I meant to, I meant sub sub my YouTube channel. You don't have to sub the to the Twitch, but I appreciate the Twitch sub though. That's money for sure. Thank you so much. Twitch sub is, is actual money, so that's good. I was I, I meant the uh, YouTube sub. I'm trying to get partnered on YouTube. So right now, it's like I have so many watched hours on my YouTube channel. Like I have so many people watching, but 83% or 85% of the people watch and they actually come back watching my YouTube videos, but they don't hit the sub button. And and the, the crappy part is like I have so many watched hours and, and YouTube is making so much money off of me and I'm not seeing a single penny off of that. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I appreciate the sub, of course. Totally appreciate it. But yeah, if any of you guys are watching right now, just go to my YouTube channel and hit the sub button there because that will really help me out a lot. Because uh, I can't get partnered until YouTube, until I hit like a thousand sub on YouTube. It's frustrating because I watch my own videos just to verify that they, they work. And they'll like hit me up with an ad on my own videos. And I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. I can't even like verify my, my video is working or not without having to watch ads for my own videos. So yeah, huge bummer. All right, so we're waiting on, on this clay. Okay, we're getting some. That 20 counts now moved to 17, so we've got Got some clay here going. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Force. All right, so I should put this on priority, I think, right? 
for now. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I'll prioritize this just to get the healer going. Have you... Have we seen a wagon yet, or is it just that handcart? Uh, I, I built the... Wait, I think I built the... I built the wagon shop. I think this is it right here. This is the wagon right here. I think the hand... Uh, the storage cart's still here. So this is the wagon right here that's moving the, the clay back and forth. So this is it right here. Alright, so how's my food situation? Still pretty good, right? I've got 18 months of food. I've got lots of root, uh, root vegetables, and I've got the beans. I've got greens. I've got fruits. I think there's nuts over here too, right? No, the yield's zero, so it's not worth building anything there. I should probably get another forager here because look at all these berries and greens. Let's see here. Yeah, this is this is a very rich area here for, for food. Oh, and the other thing too is you can move these the circles around, so I'm not I'm actually totally locked into the into the zone. So let's just go ahead and do that right there. Yeah, let me rotate this. Let's drag it out into this. Oops. There we go. Population maxed out again? Okay. Let's see here. Can I increase this guy? What do I need to increase this guy? Location desirability? Wait, what? Herbs? Oh, I need to make this desirable for them to upgrade, huh? Okay, so I'm not worried about that yet. Let's see here. Let's get another house here. I don't know if that will work. I think I my planning is really bad. I think what I should have done was made sure that these guys don't necessarily... I, next time when I build this, I don't build it next to the town center. Because what what they need to be is around surrounding this here. I don't think I can relocate that either. So I think next time when I do this, or I mean, I could probably readjust this because there's like relocate buttons right now. Because they need to be around this guy, around the market as a center point. So the mistakes were made on that. Okay, the beautification, decorations, right? I'm pretty sure I can build decorations. Small garden. Mm, okay, let's see here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Alright, so planning wise, I think what I need to do is have the market as a center point. Have the houses go around the market and the well going around the, the market as well. And then not have this close to the residential area. Because then, then I can maximize 
put in a lot of houses by the market. Um, I'm clicking here. Can I redo this? And what's the F? What's the G key? G key. What's the I key? Irrigation, right? That's that's the water drain. Okay, let's take this I off. Can I re rearrange this? I'm thinking of rearranging this so that my residential is over here somewhere. Or over here, maybe. Oops, oh shit. Oh no. My E key. Remove. How do I keep hitting the E key? Oh I know why. It's because I it's my I'm always hitting the Q W E or Yeah, Q W E button. Q doesn't let me see if I can re redo the E out of the way, because I'm always hitting that E key accidentally. Because I'm trying to rotate the thing, and I'm so used to hitting E and the uh, E and Q to rotate. That's probably why I keep accidentally hitting that exploration flag. Now, uh, what's a good key here? Is T is T being taken care of by? T is flattened land. Let's see here. Y is there a Y? I don't think Y is being used. All right, let's, get, let's do this as Y key, so I don't accidentally hit that anymore. All right, so I'm thinking of rotating, or sorry, I'm thinking of um, relocating this to this spot here, and I can I can move this out of the way somewhere else. Because I just realized, you know, I actually don't need this. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Because I just realized that you can, you can, um, you can move these circles wherever the hell you want. All right. Because before I thought I was I was locked to that as my center point. So I don't need this. And so what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to build the, relocate the market over here and then place all my houses around the market. All right, the market is a, I think it's a, Four by four, and the houses are three by threes. Yeah, houses are three by threes. Market's four by four, and the well is like a, a one by one, right? Or, you know, I think it's the well is one by one. So I can put the well like right in the middle. Yeah, no, wells. Oh, uh, wells two by two. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm going to stick the well somewhere near the center. I have to figure out how, how I'm going to do the center thingy. Two by two. So what? This is four, five, six? Oh, yeah. So I can stick the well in, in the center. And then I have, like, what? A two by two left? So I can put some decorations, like, right in the middle. Right? I'm thinking here. That should work. Alright, so let's do that. So, we're getting rid of this. I 
gonna get rid of all the roads and everything. I'm gonna try to re-relocate re the marketplace. I'm gonna put all the houses around the marketplace. I'm gonna move the well next to the marketplace and do something beautiful in the center near the marketplace. Uh, and that should help. And then I'll put all the storage stuff around the uh, the town hall or town center. God, this clay thing is still nagging me, huh? I'm trying to get rid of this. So that is actually covered in that, huh? Is water? Is this guy getting water or no? Yeah, he has, he is getting water. I wish water had a range that I could tell if anyone's getting it. Two new villages migrate. Okay. Two new ones are born. Okay, so this is out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and relocate this market. Here. So this should be okay right here. Covers that guy. For some reason, it doesn't cover these guys over here. Why doesn't it cover these guys over here? It has to be like really dead center, huh? Because they're in the zone, but they're not. He's not showing up as covered. I don't know why that is. Okay, hold on. I think right here is where I want it. And we're gonna put we're gonna put roads from here to here out. No road from here, no, not there. It's a four by four. So I'm gonna put my well is right here. And then I'm gonna put some beautiful stuff around this edge here. And we're gonna move this guy here closer. to the spot. It's like right in front of the house. There's the thing. It's fine. These guys here should be covered. I don't know. We'll, we'll check once in a little bit. And then I can actually just decorate this area right here. That, I think, these two, I think I need to move as well. We'll find out once this once this gets relocated. Oh, people are complaining because they don't have any houses. <laughs> the blue area that is revealed while placing the well is where ideal spots to place because I've seen the wells run dry. Oh yeah 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 you're right you're right I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. 
shit. You're right. God oh, damn it. I think I should have shifted my... I should have probably shifted my... My marketplace over here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Well, the well right here so far is good. I think I might need to relocate the well on this side. Well, there's still blue areas here, right? So I think the well... The well is okay a little bit right there. I think maybe like right here is probably better. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't hurt to have multiple wells. That's true. It's true. You know what? I'll, I'll leave. I won't relocate this. Oh, man. I, I think I... How do I cancel relocation? I don't think I can. I think they've already started. I don't think I can relocate. <laughs> or cancel relocation. I've already started. I agree. It doesn't have hurt to have multiple wells. No, it's 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 absolutely good good call. It's just I can't cancel this right now, <laughs> um, because I think they've already started the relocation process. So once this gets placed, I'm gonna add another well somewhere. Housing storage, it's a shortage. I'm not paused, right? No, it's not, I'm not, I, was, I thought it was being paused. Right, let's prioritize this so we get some houses. And prioritize this so they can get their food. Hopefully they survive the winter. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. It's the worst time to actually relocate stuff. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We got things running. Alright, cool. Alright, so everyone here is covered, except for this guy here. And I think he's being relocated right here. Prioritize this. I should probably just build another one, actually. Right next to him. So that way, once this gets deconstructed, this switches over. All right, I think we're we're past the winter point. the number of workers. How's this going? Why is this like green green thingy? Wait, something happened. Something happened. Building attacked. Stricken with dehydration. Oh, because I moved the well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's because I moved the well. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. Well, let's let me make another well here. Mm, I think right here, somewhere near the blue, right? It was right here by the water. Well, no, let's, let's go with this blue right here. Or hang on, maybe like right now, that's going to eat into my crop area. Alright, let's do right here, I guess. Hmm, I'm thinking here. Will that, will that be a far walk? No, right. Sure, let's just stick it right there. Prioritize that. 
Okay, they got the well, so or at least the one right, right over here. And then I got I think I got attacked by something, right? Because the health on this is low. And something must have attacked this thing. I didn't read the notification here. There's it said something got attacked. So I think I need to like put up a wall along here to here, just in case. Where's my wall thingy? I need more wood too. Is there a message? Oh yeah, I don't know if there's a message history. It's good good call. Good question here. I don't know. No, there's no... I'd like to... Yeah, I'd like to know if there's a message history. No, there's no... Where's the, is there a message history? Because the message just popped up over here. Camera sent... No. Yeah, I don't know... I don't know uh, where to get the message history. If there is one. Which kind of sucks, actually. I got attacked by something. I don't know what it was. So I think a message history would be nice to have. It would make sense that I have a button here that says log history or message history. There's no... Hmm. Yeah, it's an oversight. Like, I, I definitely, like, a message history would be nice. Because it went by pretty fast, and I'm just like, okay, what just happened, and what do I need to do to fix that problem? Or to avoid that problem from happening again? I keep getting these problems here. Can I click on this? Okay. I need soap. What does this one say? Providing houses with soap. Yeah, I, I just need soap. Um, Alright, there was something about soap earlier. Soap shop, right? I have everything I need, I think, for this. I just need to put this away from the group. Because they're not happy if that's near me. All right, well, we'll stick you right over here, I guess. And we'll, um, we'll put a road into the, into the town there. Oh, somebody got cured. Nice. Villager cured. Nice. Okay. Do I not have a healer? Why do I not have a healer? Unfilled. Oh, I'm missing a person for healing. Let's see here, can I... Why, why am I missing a healer? I'm gonna reduce the number of miners. Oh yeah, I don't need to have that many people in the sawmill. Let me reduce this. What else can I reduce here? Pretty sure I could reduce the number of fishermen. Now that my food situation is looking pretty good. Alright, so now I could probably assign a healer, right? I don't need that many miners. Let me reduce the number of yeah. I don't need the number of that this many. Well, I guess I do need two on that one. You can't add that one, huh? Subtract one off of that one. You know, I'll just subtract one off of this one and then add a healer. I can't add a healer for some reason. 
No educated villagers available. Oh! Well, damn it. I need a... I need to get, like, a school or something going. Alright, so, note to self. Well, actually, no, they... Whoever got... They got cured, but they just don't have a healer. So I guess they went there looking for a cure. <laughs> But there was nobody in there. Oh, I guess having healers, they go get medicine from that. I think that's how it works. Because I did see somebody get cured, but but it, there was no healer in there. Alright, so anyways, I still need a, a school. Right? I still need a school. Oh, okay. The school needs to be near near people. Does the school have a range? Like, can I... I wonder if the school... I wonder if the school has a range thing that I could just choose. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess I will put the school in here, then. Raiders? Oh, oh, shit. I have raiders? Oh, shit. You're right. Oh my goodness. These guys are just... Where are they coming from? They're just like running to the water. Where are they going? They're coming from this area over here. They're going... They're coming from this area over here. All right, I need to figure out something about that. They stole my gold? What? Did they? I didn't even see that. I missed the message over here. Jesus Christ. Oh, they, you're right. My, well, no, the service is minus 34. Monthly gold income. Hmm. Add 30? Had 30. I wasn't paying attention. I, I, I was not paying attention to that at all. Okay, well. I need to figure out how to set up a wall on that side, too. Let's see here. What, what am I going to do here? This this guy needs water. I have a well here and I have a well here. Why does he still need water? Or is that... Oh, oh, never mind. He doesn't need water. It's just water got dropped on the ground. Okay, I know what that is. All right, so I'm going back to my school situation. It is a three by four. Do I build a school right here? Is rated again? Oh, it was rated. Was rated. It was raided. This is the leftover information. So they took 25 gold ingots. They took 11 bows, 180 arrows, and smoked smoked fish. And 40 pelts. Train guards and build towers to help fend off raiders and thieves from your town. Walls and gates are another valuable defense measure since guards alone may not always be enough. Okay. Well, I need to figure out how to train guards. But let me figure out how I'm going to place this village down. I guess not everybody needs to be trained, right? I only need to train a few. So I guess, I guess having this right here is good enough. So I'm going to place this right here. It only needs to cover a certain group of houses. So I guess this group here will be smart, and then this group over here will not be. Oh, yeah, you're right. It did cost 100 gold. I don't even have 100 gold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Defenses. Let's see here. That's... Defenses cost 250 gold. Jesus Christ. And a monthly income requirement. What's the income requirement for for the schools? 
There's no monthly requirement for the schools. Okay. Well, let's get some people educated first. Uh, and the only way I can make money is off of this market. Unless there's a way to raise taxes. Okay, there's, is there a tax button or no? Or I already know they need that. Right, let's, well, let's let's mm, let's get them their needs. I think it was like the shoes or something. We do have leather. Tannery? I think there was a tannery thing, right? Wasn't there a tannery? Oh, yeah, there we go. Tannery. Okay, yeah, tannery. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick this here somewhere. I don't think there's an arrow in or out. I'm gonna stick this right here. The trading post makes money, yeah. Okay. I really, really get the feeling I'm gonna start. My 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 village is gonna die off. Cause I'm learning stuff along the way here. Before, see, I'm reacting, and I'm not. I'm not like proactive, like for uh, I guess preventive. I'm not preventive. I'm actually reacting right now to things that's that's thrown at me. And I think that once I know how to play the game better, I'll at least be more preventive. Uh, where where the hell? They took all my my arrows too. Okay, so what was the other thing? Trading post, right? I think it was a trading post. I, I definitely am enjoying the game. There's there's no there's no question about that. I'm enjoying the game for sure. This is this is probably on a on a top list of games that I'm actually enjoying right now. Um but welcome back, Eon. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, where do I stick this? Trading post. That's a huge spot too. Um, I guess I'll stick my trading post over here. It doesn't really... Oh, it's, it's, it's all corners. Oh, okay. It's at any sides. Okay. There we go. That should be fine. It's like any of the sides. So hopefully this training post will... And it doesn't require being in a radius with people, right? Alright, so this here is going to educate people. And then... Uh, what's the other thing I need? I need money to train the, uh, the guards. Right? I think I need money to train the guards. The barracks. I need like 250 and need 10 per month. And lookout tower is going to require monthly gold income, which I don't have. Like I have a minus 22 right now. And taxes from the market. Can I raise taxes or no? Access out. Is there a way to raise taxes? No, right? Oops. No, no. I don't. I don't want that. Yeah, okay, so there's no way to raise taxes. Oh, Predator. Where? Oh, man. Alright, I definitely need to get, like, a, a wall defense going. Oh, one of my villagers died. That wolf just killed somebody. Okay. Hmm. I think we're gonna we're gonna lose to the wolves. Oh my god! He just killed another villager. Yeah, they they really need to add like a a message message history here. One of my villagers got cured. Oh, this guy's on a rampage. Come on, help him out. Kill, kill the wolf. There we go. Alright, I, I really almost feel like restarting this. There's just so many little details that I'm picking up. And 
I'm failing right now. It's so many different things. Okay, that's fine. Let's, let's keep going. I'll, I'm going to keep going until my town just wipes out. Okay, how's my food situation? I've got a lot of berries. I mean, I definitely have a lot of food for 28 months. And that's like what? Or 28 years, right? Or no. Months. 28 months. So I've got enough for like what? Two years? Three years worth? So food is not my problem anymore. All right, I don't need this anymore. Let me go ahead and salvage this. And then I'll move you around, I guess. Try that. And we're going to move you to some other spot over here. I see some fishes over here. Yeah, I, I should do that too. But I'm worried about, I guess I don't, I guess food is not my worry anymore, right? So I guess I should build up my population. Um, since food is not an issue. Let me add another house too. Right across the street from this guy. Well, I need I need to get I need to chop these trees down. Where's my I think I forgot to build that work yard. Oh wait no, I have a work yard. I think I had a work yard over here. It's not doing a good job of chopping the trees down, is it? I need more wood. Let's see if I can manually clear this myself. Hmm. Let's take out the buildings, take out the roads, take out the walls. I just want to clear out trees, right? There we go. I forgot to do this earlier because I kept I kept getting the roads inside my clear order. And now this makes more sense to uncheck the clear thingy. I need to get the the wood my wood count up. Well definitely I'm not having a food problem anymore. Wait, why is this not? So this is missing fishing, right? No fishing range. There's like a fish over here. I don't know. Oh, I think it's like way out there. It's probably off the the coast. This guy, no fishing range. I'm all over here. Mm, all right, I don't. That's not doing anything for me. How's the berry situation? I can always relocate the berries thingy, right? Let's check for this guy here for food. There we go. So that's definitely food there. And there's food potential here too. Okay, where where's where's all my food coming from right now? Fish? And meat, berries, greens, a little bit of the vegetables. So the farm is kind of meh. It's not doing a whole lot for me right now. Right, let's see. I could probably move this as well over here so I can pick up some of this. Oh, just I think the autumn just kicked in. Oh, no. The berries just went out of season, I think. Yeah, berries just went out of season. Alright, so I'm not worried about that. How's my log situation? I got 22. And I need more... I need planks for this. The illness? I've only got, like, one, right? 
I've only had like one or two, so it's not terribly bad. Oh, did the well just go out, or is that... This well's run dry. Build more wells or upgrade them to increase your water capacity and fill rate. Tree tree cover near wells can help improve ground water levels. Tree cover. Oh, oh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's see if I can take another well somewhere here. We'll do right here, right or no? I'll we'll just do it like right here. Yeah, okay, right here is good. That's a good spot right there. Okay, so no more fishes for now. I'm not too worried about the fish thing because we have a ton of food. This one is a little worry, worrisome. Worms? Jesus Christ. How do I get rid of worms? Some of your villagers are barefoot at the risk of increased energy. Okay, yeah, I already know that. Uh, I need to get... I need to make shoes. I need to make shoes. This guy doesn't have a uh, desirability problem. So we'll stick the shoes here, I guess. Or actually, no, I can probably do it right. Hang on. Ooh, 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 no, 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 no. Cancel. Cancel. I can do it like right here in this corner. Alright, yeah, perfect right here. There we go. And that's a perfect spot right there. Right next to the school. So that should help with the worms problem. Oh my goodness, my illness gone up. Two villagers are sick. Two villagers are beridden? Bedridden. Bedridden. Okay. So that means uh, they're not working. Alright, so two villagers are down. And I need to get this education thing going. I don't think the school, yeah, the school does not require like a monthly income, I, I don't think. Let me, let me check. I'm pretty sure school does not have like a monthly income requirement. It's the healer's hut. Yeah, schools does not have a monthly income. Uh, but you just got five new ones, so it's okay. Workers? Okay, yeah. Okay, one of the villagers cured. Cool. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Right click. Whoa, the well is already dried up? Come on. This well is doing pretty good over here for some reason. I just placed this and it dried up. And this is like right near a blue area too. Alright, blue is good, right? I think blue is good. Hmm. All right, I don't know what's going on with that water there. At least this one is, is okay. What is bonuses? Increased desirability? What is this one? Increases durability? Upgrade bonuses. Oh, okay. I need, uh, okay. I need iron to upgrade this. Town center. Tier 1. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, might might need another well. I don't know. It's kind of worrisome that all my my thing dried up. Now the question is, will that because it dried up, will it replenish? I don't know if it's going to replenish. That's my other question. Right? If I have to, like, rebuild another one somewhere else. Or this will replenish over time. I 
I, I, I don't know if it replenishes. If it doesn't replenish, I have to relocate it. So I won't know if it just sits there forever. All right, so I must, I guess I'm going to get a well somewhere near here, the water then. I mean, this is the brightest spot right here. Is there any other spot? I'm just gonna put it right here, I guess. No, 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 I can't do it right there. No, that right here is just good, it's just the same as that. Alright, we'll throw that down there and see if that helps. No. Let's increase this. And then this right here, I guess we'll add another worker. These guys take forever to saw up the planks. Alright, so what's this here? What's it saying? A traveling merchant has arrived with new goods to trade. Okay. So what do I... I guess I have fire... I have lots of firewood. Can I get rid of firewoods? I have like 700 of those. There's no firewood on this list. I think nobody wants firewood. What is that? Is that? I'm scrolling through this list and firewood is not showing up here at all. Okay, Trader 2? Trader 1. What can I trade with him? What do I have a lot of? I have sand. I have sand, right? Your inventory? Can I move? Can I move stuff here? No. How do I move stuff here? Transfer items? Move items to trading post. Okay. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Okay. I guess I'll change it to... I'll change it to 30, I guess, since I have 60. Let's do that. Confirm. Oh, well, it didn't go to 30, but that's fine. Whatever. What else do I have a lot of? I don't... What is this? Meat. Oh, I do have a lot of meat, huh? I should probably sell some of those before they go bad. Let's see here. I'll sell... I have a lot. I'll sell 30, maybe 34, whatever, roughly. I have to sell some of these fishes too. In case they go bad here. That should help me make some money. Because this is like, what? Three years worth almost? Oh, I think the well replenished. The wells do replenish. Okay, that's good. So I don't have to move the wells. Alright, so the thing I need now is to get the school running. Or this right here, I guess. I need 25 clay. Let's prioritize this. I just need the clay, get this running, and then the school. The school's missing gold, so I can't really do anything about that. And this guy here, he should start collecting the greens. So we're trying to get this. Did I reduce the number of clay or sand workers? Wait, bring out your dead. What just happened? Dead villagers left out to rot will attract vermin and diseases. Designate area to be used as graveyards to bury the dead and keep villagers happy and healthy. Did somebody die? I guess they somebody died of either old age or something. Huh, that was like a huge pop-up right there. Okay. 
graveyard. Where can I stick my graveyard? Well, graveyard, not only graveyard affects the fertility, or, or sorry, um, desirability, right? I don't know if graveyard affects that or not. Where do I want to put this graveyard? What's the minimum size? All right, let's do that then for now. Oh, I'm really doing a bad job planning this this town because I need to put think about also putting up a wall, keep things compact. Yeah, I need I need walls. Wait, how far does this go out? So probably up to this line right here. Alright, well, let's see here. Villagers. Okay. I got three on the wall building. I think last time they were raiding me from this side over here, so I need to figure out how to wall this section off as well. But yeah, the walls right now are cornered base, and it, and it would be nice if the, they did like curved walls. Because otherwise I have to manually do the curving myself. I think this guy, I probably need a, like a gate as well for this guy to leave. Oh, come on, what am I missing now? Okay, this is running. Okay, what does this say? What am I missing on this one? There are no fruit bearing trees within range. Oh shit! What do I do without the fruit? Be sure to sell items with the trader. Uh, with traders, they will stay in your town for a short time. Yeah, I think I did. I did sell off the food. All right. I think items in here. Twenty nine. Twenty-nine sand. Merchants buying this item. Merchants is not selling this item. Do I wait? Do I do I click on this? Oh, I have to manually do it. Okay. Well, shit. I have to manually do this. Huh? Sell. Do I sell? Let's sell all of this. Or no? Wait. I want to sell 29. Right, oh yeah, yeah, I want to sell all 29. There we go. Oh, it's a good call. Okay. So that means the food. Oh. Oh, they're not buying it though. They're not. Okay. These items are not interested in buying. Even though I have this. I guess what about this other guy? What's he interested in? Yeah, he's not interested in my food. Oh, he is interested in food. He's interested in my fish. Oh, he's interested in buying my fish. Or no, I, wait, I can't... I can't sell it to him, right? No. No, okay, I can't sell it to him. This is buy sell button. There's I think I think there's two traders, but I don't know what this means. I think he's 
I think this means that he's offering me. Oh, he's offering me fish. Oh, there we go. He's offering. This is the stuff that he's offering, so he's not obviously wanting to buy it from me. So that's, can I? I can't sell it to him. So that means he's not. This stuff he's not interested in. Yeah, he's not interested in my fish. So the top half he's interested in, the bottom half he's not. And then whatever he has in storage, that's that's stuff that's available to buy. And what he whatever he does not have. Um, he's interested in buying, right? So whatever he has, he's interested in selling, right? I think the, I think this is like the, what the arrows are, right? Buy and sell. So yeah, these green arrows mean he's interested in it, and these green arrows mean he's interested in selling. And I, I, I guess I can buy back the stuff I sold to him. I think that's what it means. Yeah, I wish I could rob him. He's got a lot of stuff. Jesus Christ, he does have a lot of stuff. What's this little arrow mean? It's far below average. Okay, below average at the cost. Okay, very interesting. All right, so my other problem is this pear thingy. How do I grow? Oh, I can plant them. Oh, I can plant the trees. That's not bad. I guess I can let me plant some some other trees here. What was the other one? Cherries, right? That was what? That was the peach tree. The apple tree. I don't know there's a bird's nest over here, but I don't know if, that, if that's going to affect anything. Let me cancel that. I don't know if it's going to affect the bird's nest. I don't even know what the bird's nest does for me either. Let me take this one off. Let's not wind up properly. Okay, I think that one's not lined up properly either, right? Oh, it's already planted. Oh. Okay, I'm not. All right, I'm not gonna fuss with that then. Okay, these are like work hours, right? 30 work hours. Okay. So now we just need the school running. So we get we can educate some of these villagers to be become a healer. And then how's the wall? Slowly coming along. Okay, okay. Alright, so we're not. Not too bad. I think, okay, so what I probably should have done is move this fisherman over here. That way we have a long. Oh no, he's actually, he is fishing that. Okay. Never mind. So we're good with that. We don't have to mess with that at all. Okay, berries. Berries. This guy's out to get the berries. Alright, so we're just waiting on the We're waiting on the gold. We're waiting on some clay. I don't know why it's taking so long to get its clay. Maybe I can increase the clay production a little bit. We only need one unit clay left. So 
what else am I having issues with? I should probably get more sand just so I can sell it. Oh, is there okay? What idle workers or no? I don't think I have idle workers. What is? Oh, I'm short workers. I'm short on a healer. Do I have idle workers or no? What does this mean? Labor. Work camp. Oh, I do have an extra worker here. So I do have one extra worker. Okay, that's fine. Can I increase the healer? I can't. Okay, this means I have idle workers or available workers. Well, I don't know what this number here means. Wait, where's my soap maker? Do I did I did I assign the soap maker or no? Yeah, I've got four soap two soap makers here. I've got two soap makers. And I got I got guy making shoes and a guy making clothes. I have two workers here available. And so once I get somebody educated and the healer will be here. I just need to increase my population. I don't know what this toggle thing does. Like I don't know what this six mean. I, is that six available builders and then I don't know what I don't know what that means. Those numbers. I'm assuming that this number here is my desired number of builders that I want. And it transfers it from this pool over here. I think that's what it's doing, is it's transferring from this pool over here. And so when there's there's nothing to build, I think they just go over here automatically. I think that's how it works. So I actually have two actual builders. I want five desirable builders. And then when there's none working, they just automatically go switch to laborers. I think that's how it works. All right, so we just need gold. Man, how do I upgrade this? This is the beauty thingy, right? So let's go ahead and increase this beauty thingy. Oh, it affects this guy over here. Interesting. I think what I should have done was put the well right here in the middle. Between here to here. Because then this here is along the edges. Okay, I need something that's a two. Medium garden. Here we go. And this one affects that guy over there. Actually, let me move the well over there. top of this. Oh, you know what? Oh, shit. I shouldn't have moved it. <laughs> I should have just built a new well and then deconstruct the other one. Because what's going to happen is they deconstruct that first and they won't have any water. That was a mistake. Can I cancel this? Can I cancel the construction? I don't know if I can cancel it. I don't know if I can. I wish I could cancel this order here. No. Yeah, I don't think I can cancel the construction order. Shit. Yeah, they needed like a cancel the construction order.
All right, I still need builders working on the the fence or the the wall, right? The wall. Why do I have like eight builders all the time? Hmm, I don't know what that's about. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another fancy item here. What is this one? Shrine? Oh, that's 50 gold. Eh, Jesus. They stay about for 50 days? Okay. What does this one do? Plaza? No, that's a that's a one. What's this one? Oak tree. Spruce. Oh, I guess I could plant trees. Tier two. What's this one? Small park. Oh god, look at how much money this. Jesus Christ. The money requirement. This is the cheapest. No. It's, I want a medium garden. Let's go with this medium garden here. It's 20 gold. That should make everyone happy on this. Do I accept them? What is this? Eight people have arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? I guess accept them, right? Researching how to make gold for you? Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, I guess I'll accept this, but then I need to make some room for them. Let me add that there, right? I guess I can do this right here. Right? Two, three, four. Sure, I mean. We'll just have a bunch of empty houses, but that's okay. At least that'll be... Why can't, I, why can't I build a road from here to here? I don't know why I can't build a road from there to there. What's causing the road? There we go. Okay. There we go. Alright. For some reason, that one... Maybe it needed to be a curved road or something. There you go. I, I don't know what's going on with that road spot right there. Another good tactic is the old supply demand method where you purchase material that's cheap from the marketplace, anything that's three or four per item, and wait for the demand to build and for it to rocket in price. If you hold out waiting, you can often pick up a tidy profit this way. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just buy all the stuff. Well, that sounds great, but I don't have any money to like buy out the inventory. I, first of all, I need money to be able to make that work. Okay. Well, I have new workers, and I think I need to start expanding either my farm or something, housing shortage. You gotta have money to make money, right? I think that's how it goes. Um... I mean, I could get, I could add another berries, like a forager or something. Over here. To offset the new, new workers, or the new, new people that I just got. Where's the food, right? It's food. Forger, right? Forger shack. So let's go ahead and stick one right here. And we'll, um...
hopefully that'll help increase the food to offset the the number of workers that we have or our I guess villagers what's this hazel hazelnut bush Right, let me see if I can straighten this road again. Yeah, it won't straighten out. It actually has to curve. Yeah, it won't. It has to curve for some reason. All right. Well, I guess that's fine. We'll leave it. It's a curved corner. So this, once this is built, we should be able to support that one guy. Prioritize this. Have you completed the sales with the trader? Yeah, I did. Like, I don't have anything else to sell to him. That's a thing. Oh, wait. I can probably add more of this. And sell more sand. It's not that much though. I'm selling sand for like three. I don't have any soap to sell them either. What's the other guy want? Yeah, so he's trying to sell me fish. So, I, so the only thing I can really make money off of is the first guy, which he, he wants sand. Right. Whoa. Raiders. Or no, predators. Hmm. Yeah, I need to I need to get that wall system set up too as soon as possible. So I need to, I guess I need to put walls around here to here around this corner here. Rabies or babies? You say, are you mean babies or rabies? <laughs> rabies or babies? Rabies. Am I getting rabies? No. Uh, I didn't say I'm getting rabies. Oh, I do have rabies. Oh my god, you're right. I am. Oh my god, I get. No, you're right. I just noticed that right there. It's not something I can cure, right? Oh, yeah, the guy just got... Well, rabies, I don't know. See, rabies don't seem to do anything in terms of bedridden. I think he's just walking around with rabies. Oh, he died of rabies, maybe. What does this guy die of? Oh, yeah, he died of rabies, so he's... I'm not worried about him anymore. Oh wait, no, he's just, I guess he's just on the ground. I thought he died. He didn't die. They just moved him in here. Okay, do I have anyone? Oh, there we go. I have an educated, I have an educated worker. That's probably because the guy that migrated was, was educated. Right? I think that whoever that migrated to my village, we got somebody that was educated. I think that's what happened right there. So now, let's see here. Do I need to finish building up this wall system over here? I keep getting random shit coming from this side. And I don't know how I'm gonna... You clear this notch, right? Let's salvage this. Let me delete this here. All right, so I need to put a wall up from here to here. How far can I? I wonder if they actually come from this corner here. If I if I seal it off, I need to go all the way over here. Yeah, 
and I guess I'll put a gate right there just to let the other guy out if he needs to go this way so I don't know if that's actually sealed or not that might just be like an open open spot and I might need to like a guard put a guard tower here or something And that, or I might actually have to put a bridge here too, or a, sorry, a gate here too, to let this guy in and out, if this is sealed. If this is not sealed, then I don't need the gate, which means I need to put like a guard tower here. Or I just put the villagers on the outside, <laughs> and then just put the gate around here. Or sorry, the fishing hut on the outside of the, the gate, basically. And so if he ever gets attacked, he'll just run into into the wall. Alright, well, we'll see how that works out. Who's sick right now? So long, thanks for all the fish. Yeah. All the fishes are gone. There's only this one right here, but this guy has to like walk there. See, according to this, it says no, no fish in range. What's he doing? I guess there is. He's able to fish that, but it says no fish in range for some reason on this. Even though there's some right here. So I don't know. I don't know if this is like a bug or not. This is no fishing range, but there is a range right here. Uh oh. He died. Somebody died. No, he probably died of the rabies. Yeah. All right. So we're still needing clay, and apparently this clay pit is not paying out. No, it says eight items in the last year. Okay. Well, this number did go down, so I guess that's fair. And I'm out of water. Holy shit. I guess during the winter, there's no... The, the water situation is bad during the winter. So I just need to throw down, like, a bunch of wells. Oh, this one right here is water. So I'll throw down a snow. That's too close to that one. I don't know if it's going to drain it or not. Right, let's do that down there. Let's see if that helps. Alright, well, oh, somebody else got sick too. Typhoid. What? What is this typhoid thing? How do I avoid that? Soap. Oh, soap. Come on, I have soap, right? Or no? Where's the soap maker? Soap maker, right? What do I need for soap? I got firewood. I need herbs and talent. I have it. Oh, so I need more herbs. Where can I get more herbs? And how, how do I get more herbs? There's herbs over here. Who picks up herbs? Resources. Who picks up herbs? I'm guessing it's a forager, but I don't know if the forager does herbs. Do the foragers do herbs or no? I don't know if the foragers do herbs. Yeah, they do herbs, right? Or no? No. Yeah, they do do herbs. 
Okay, well, I need a forager that gets me herbs. And that's this guy here. So we need to include this here to get the herbs. And then what else? Herbs are along the with the river here. Oh, what's this? It build a new school to set this town apart from other small villages. Schools will help train a more efficient workforce and attract more educated settlers. Okay, that's fine. I'm working on it, dude. I'm just, I'm just lacking money. I, I need the funding. Oh, okay. There we go. No wonder we're not getting herbs. We didn't have anyone working on this. Okay, so now we should get herbs to be able to get make more soap. So that way we can cut down on people getting sick. And then... I need funding for the... for the school. And I think I need to get my brickyard closer. Because this one right here is just... Oh, hey, I just got some new ones. So it's 53 in storage. So why are you not done yet? <laughs> I've got 53 in storage for, for clay. So I think that little wagon guy is really slow. His root cellar is maxed out, so I need to probably add another one. Yeah, so you look, my food count is spoiling. So I need another root cellar. I guess I'll stick one right here. Yeah, I can actually do some more beautiful stuff like along here. Like a small unit. Shrubs and it requires gold. Jesus Christ. It might be just better if I just plant trees. Oh, it still, you know, it still requires gold, but let's go ahead and plant some trees. Okay, I can't stick any there, right? Right there, in case that useful. What is this? Spoilage? Oh my god, I lost like 272 berries. That's a lot of food. Alright, so now I just need gold. And supposedly I have an income. Yeah, supposedly I have an income now. Can I sell? Can I sell here? Oops. All right, so what does this guy want? He wants stuff that I do not have. Yeah, he wants stuff that I do not have. Gold ore, beer, pottery, candles, and clothes. And then this guy here, I need to relocate him to the green stuff. There we go. And then this guy here, I need to relocate some of that closer to this. There we go. And then what about you? Right, so we can get some of the greens off of this. That is. Oh, it's rabbits. Can I encompass that? No, I can't encompass that. Alright, that's probably the best encompass right there. 
Alright, we got herbs over here. The healer's thingy, what's it say? Villagers are being treated for illness by the healer. One, oh, okay, cool. But we know the villager is working. We know the villager is working. So what's this one here? We just need, we need... This guy needs water. Maybe I need another well. Is the eye? I should probably stick a well like over here. Where's the well? And then we'll just build a road from here to here. Uh oh, I heard something. He's feeling worse. Oh shit. This healer's bad. Seeking medicine. Do I have I don't know if I I don't know if there's anything here that can help this guy. Or this healer. Monthly cost is 30 gold. It's probably because I'm not paying. I'm not paying enough for the healer. That's probably what it is. The healer's not getting paid enough. Because according to this, I don't have enough. But according to this, it says I'm not I'm not consuming anything. There's only like minus four for services. So I don't know what why this is off. Okay, well, whatever. So only one guy is sick, right? What is this? That's the guy that needs soap. I think the guy needs soap. So we need more herbs. New villagers born. Oh, we're also out of logs, too. Jesus. Alright, so let's clear some of this. Clear some of this. Cancel this clear? No, I don't want to cancel that, right? Does that cancel it? Because according to this, it actually remove as target. There we go, remove as target. So I don't want to accidentally clear these. Harvest resource. There we go. Hmm, that's weird. Interesting. That's with the UI is a little funky. I don't know if they're if that means they're deleting. I don't think they're yeah. So I don't know if it's that's that's just highlighted because it's targeted for for um for harvest or if it's actually being deleted. And that's that's the thing with the UI, it's kinda of hard to tell. I'm trying to get rid of the trees. So we can get more more wood right here. See we're we're lacking wood right here. Clear. Probably clear some of those too. So the thing about this is I'm afraid to like clear all the trees because then like we might not actually get get the animals. I don't know if like the animals are associated to the trees or not. This is not highlighted. 
I don't know why this is... Maybe I did highlight this already. Harvest, right? Harvest. Okay. Alright, our wall system is slowly... They were in Settlers? What do you mean? They were in Settlers? Oh, 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 yeah, like, in terms of... I think I know what you're talking about. In terms of, like, animals. Like, if you... If you have the trees, then you'll have animals. If you don't have trees, you don't have animals. I mean, that that would make sense. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming. I don't know if that's the case in this game or not. It's, I mean, it would just make logical sense is if you have trees, then you'll have animals to hunt. If you don't have any trees... There's nowhere for them to hide, right? Nowhere to live. Mm. Okay. I think I have my cellar thing right here. Root cellar. Because we're... we're we're losing food to spoilage right now. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this back to gather all the berries. And then this guy, let me move him over here. Do we have any? Oh yeah, there's there's herbs. So we should have soap. I don't know what what the situation is with the soap. We should start producing soap. I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Oh, we're idle most of the time, ninety percent of the time. That just means we don't have enough herbs. Hmm. Okay, somebody else is sick again. Somebody's always sick. That's because we don't have soap. Okay, what's this guy saying? He doesn't have any... any stones in his area. Let's go put it over here, I guess. So we're still low on wood. Because we need the wood right now to, to finish building up our, our fences, or our walls, I guess. Our wooden walls. It's just a... Okay, we're also low on gold. <laughs> well, at least the house, or the school, is up and running. We just need um, gold for some of this other junk over here. Let's prioritize this, because this is actually the most beautiful one. We actually spent like 20 gold on this, or 19, 18 gold already on this one. Okay, what else is going on here? We got this little grave. We got two guys in the graveyard. Or underground, I guess. Six feet under. Alright, so I need to corner that off and then corner or seal this off here. I mean, there's this, this section right here also needs walling, but. We'll, we'll get to that later. And I think uh, this whole whole section right here needs to be walled off. But we're not getting raided from that side, so we'll have to figure that out later. Can you manually close the gates? I don't know. I don't know how the gate system works. It's automatic. I think it's automatic, yeah. There's no open and close option for me. So it must be automatic for when they run through in and out, and I guess it automatically keeps out the the bad guys.
So my, my complaint for the game basically was just not having a message system. Like a history system. Four villagers not migrated. So I'm at 80 population. So I'm a little concerned about my population rate going up and, and not having enough food. So I think I need to expand this. But can I expand that beyond the... I don't think I can expand that beyond the thing. Beyond the gates. I might have to like redo my gates. Maybe in the widgets? What widgets? Is there a widget? Message? Message? History? Maybe in the widgets. What widget are you talking about? Top right? This here? This here. So I try to look for that here and it's not here. Maybe maybe I'm missing something. Toggle widgets. Where Where's toggle widgets? Oh, F2 and 3. Oh. I'm hitting F2. F2 hides the turns on and off this. F3 hides turns on and off people information. F4 hides on and off the the um I guess the resources. So those are the only widgets that I was that I went through. F two, three, and four. I've already I've already clicked on all of those. Yeah. So nope, no message history. That's really bad, huh? Right. Message history is probably my biggest complaint for this game. And, and and the walls not curving, <laughs> but that's not that's not a big deal. The walls not curving is not a big deal. The only other thing is like the question here I have is that is this is this sealed or not sealed? If it's not sealed, that means that I will have to reconsider putting stuff inside the fence, like maybe like the the fisherman's shack like inside the wall right and then have a gate to let them go in and out i think that's how it works so if that's the case i need to plan my walling system better yeah i mean it like the the very beginning of the the game the graphics design that they have for the opening of the game shows a village with curved walls around the, the town, right? It looks like it's like a circular wall around the town. So at, at the start of the game, I'm like, oh, hey, cool. We can build like circular walls. I mean, technically you can, right? I think you can because if you just do like, I'm guessing, like I'm assuming that you can just do, you can manually do it yourself like this. Right? You can manually do it yourself like this. But that's not as... It's not it's not attractive, right? You, It's still got the corners. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got these little weird corner edges. Yeah, it's not technically curved. Can I, can I highlight all this or no? Oh, I'll have to manually do it. <laughs> no. Alright, well, I'm not going to demonstrate that again, but you guys get the idea, right? It's just, it'll just have, like, little weird bumps off the edges. I mean, you kind of waste more resources that way, too, if you're trying to, like, curve the wall that way. So for every little indent spikes or, or corner edges, you're wasting a little wall piece. Because you have to put in, I think you have to put in two, right? Yeah. Well, I guess I yeah, no, you have to put in two. So, yeah. So that's a little disappointment, right? Not being able to have curved curved walls. So that's that those are all my only two complaints right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, the diagonal, right? Yeah, like diagonal. There's no diagonals right now, all right? It's basically, you have to have a corner. Yeah, there's, there's, you're, you're always having to have a corner, right? I'm pretty sure it's, yeah. See? It automatically draws it. It's always forcing you to have a corner. Unless you're on the same grid line. Yeah. Unless... The stone... Well, I, 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 I can't imagine the... The, um... Field, field stone walls? No. I mean, I'm guessing the fortified walls act just the same as, as these walls. There's no reason why this this may be curved and this is can't be curved right there's just no reason why that's the case cobblestones is kind of cool i don't have enough stones though so i think the only other thing here i i mean i've i've either read it in a review somewhere people were, somebody was complaining about how stones i think i read it in, in the steam review right yeah okay yeah the steam review so off the Steam review, because I was looking at the negative responses just to see what people are saying that's negative. Uh, I think I read somewhere that somebody complained about stones. There is no query. Like you can't, you can't get stones from anywhere. And the only way to get stones is by importing it after you've exhausted the map with stones. So that I think that's the only other possible complaint. To get more stones, you have to import stone. There's not a stone deposit anywhere in the game. Once you've once you've like mined all the stones here using this little work yard or work thingy, work camp, um, you can't get new stones. You have to buy it. I can't remember anything else that was like for import only. Maybe there is a way to get stones and it's a side of the mountain, but I think somebody said like that 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 is not the case. They thought that maybe that you could you could get stones on a on a mountain map. But I think the guy said something like you, you can't even get it from the mountains. Yeah, stone quarry is a must, right? So I, anyways, I, I I'm just pointing out like what I what I read. I I don't know. And I'm, I'm thinking that he's right because I'm looking around this map and I don't see like a stone deposit. And maybe that's just something they, it's an oversight. Maybe they haven't decided. Or it could just be a balance, like a reason why you need to work with the trader. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess, but it's kind of forcing it upon you, right? Like you, you have to rely on the trader for stones. I think that's the only thing. Yeah, I think that's the only thing. Is stone has to come from an outside source. Now, I don't see any any iron nodes on this map, and maybe I should start exploring the the map some more. I mean, it could just be this map that, that does not have iron. So I might also have to import iron. What is the resource you have 829 of? That's firewood. <laughs> and I can't sell firewood. You know what? You know, now that you, you've mentioned it, I'm just going to disable this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop making firewood. I can't sell firewood, and that's a thing. It's not on the list of traders, um, or in the uh, trading post. And I think I'm wasting, I'm wasting wood making firewood. So that's a good call. I'm, I'm just gonna disable this. Cause right now we're we're needing wood to to build the the wall. Right, yeah, we're needing wood to build a wall. And I think wood kind of just, I think the trees just regrow by itself over time, I think. Because this guy only grows fruit trees. I mean, technically we can probably chop the wood, the fruit trees. 
attacking them in. Alright, uh, anyways, it's, it's winter. We do have sufficient food supply. I'm short, like, what? I'm not at cap for housing. Yeah, we could add another house, but... Yeah, you know what? I'll just, just set up another house, just in case. We don't need to... I'll just set up one more house. It requires ten, though. Alright, so... Disabling this, I think, kind of helps. Yeah, I think that kind of helps. Okay. All right, so I got this section of the wall done. And I need this section of the wall still. And then once that's done, oh no, I'll get, oh, there's still more here to, to build off, huh? So I think what I'll do is I'll extend the wall this way. A wall off this. I guess this guy would be outside the wall. I don't know. So I don't know if I should like overextend myself with the walls. No, I mean I guess I could just wall this off over here and bring it all the way around like, like this, all the way over here. To this section right here and then back down this way. Cut through this here maybe. I just don't know if this is actually sealed considered considered sealed or not. And I might have to relocate my fishermen's inside the walls. But that's a lot that's a lot of wood to go around all the way to the edge. Yeah. I might just consider, like, doing the walls up to here, to here, cut it off, like, here. Alright, like, up, up across here, and then have everyone just go in and out of the, the gate. Back to their work area. slow now all the time. Well, I mean, production-wise is slow. Probably because of winter. I think that's what it is. Alright, I'm gonna use the bathroom then while we wait through this winter. Alright, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. And, uh, yeah, I read your message. Gold still is a bit of a concern. What is this? Wait, I don't need this going on, right? Let me just subtract that. Maxed out on on this guy. I wonder if I could sell some of my... Which houses are homesteads? Oh, hang on. I'll figure that out in a second. Uh, I can sell them shoes. Yeah, I can sell them like 12 shoes. Manually, okay, yeah, I'll sell, I'll sell them 12 shoes. I'll wait until the shoes gets delivered. So the homesteads, I guess I don't... I guess it is automatically. Oh yeah, it is enabled. So I do have homesteads automatically enabled. Or upgrades. I think they're all home homesteads. No, I mean, maybe not this one. I don't think this is, yeah, this is a shelter. I think it's missing herbs for this to actually upgrade. The homesteads? Well, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of gold right here. Homesteads, right? I have five homesteads. So. Right, let's go ahead and sell this. Sell 12, right? Or maybe, hang on, minus 12. I think that's how it works. Minus 12. There we go. Wow. That's like 300 so or 200 something gold. It sells for quite a bit, too. Look at that. 17? I've got one bar of soap that I can sell for 16. I don't, I, I don't, I'm going to keep my soap, though. I don't want to go through the soap just yet. Yeah, the wood just spiked because I disabled this fire log, or firewood sp uh, splinter. So I think that was draining all the wood. So yeah, let's. So I'm waiting for this side to be be sealed off. And I'm waiting for this to be built. And once that's done, then I'll I'll work on extending the the walls. All right. So these guys don't. This 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 guy doesn't want any clay, does he? He wants to sell me clay, I think. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, wait, there's a new guy coming in, I think. This guy's leaving, I think this guy's coming in. There we go, it's a new trader. This guy wants to buy stone from me. See, I don't think it's a good idea to sell him stones because over time I need to get, I need stones. This guy is willing to buy and sell herbs. I think that's how it works. Ooh, what's this? Weapons, huh? Costs a wow, costs a lot of money for weapons. So there's nothing I can sell to this guy. That, that I want to sell to, to him. I don't want to sell stones to him. Alright, so let me see here. I'm thinking of that. Well, I need to extend this fence because I want to extend my food production. So. Yeah, that's fences, right? Fences. I 
then I'm gonna tear this down and ex expand my my farm. Once this is finished, I'm gonna tear this down. So that should help us get more food. Hopefully the wolves spawn outside the walls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would make sense, but I don't know. I mean, I recently pl played uh, Pyra Pyramida and the skeletons do spawn within the walls of my base. And the mechanics for that is they, there's like a distance. If there's a building nearby, it won't spawn um, anywhere within the radius of the building. So if the wolves spawn like right here, that means I need to place a couple of buildings here, like maybe like a watchtower or something. Um, so it is possible for like stuff to spawn within the walls. Uh, it's based on like the radius of how far, how far your buildings are to the spawn point. So if I have like buildings like here, 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 then it shouldn't spawn within the walls. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, right? I, I think the way they have that in Pyramida makes sense. Because otherwise, you would just put walls all along the edge of the map, right? And that's like, oh, you're protected, which is not the case, right? So I'm thinking that that's, that's the reason why you might want to build walls a little bit close towards your base. Or close, close to your buildings. 14 graduates, what? Did I, did I get more? Did I miss, did I miss something? Graduates. 20, educated is 26%. I, God, I, I missed the message. Did it say like there, there was like 14 graduated or something or 14 people got educated? I think that's what it was. You're, you're my message history. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm not paying attention to the message, so. Okay, so what are we waiting for? We're waiting for my walls to be built, and I'm waiting for this fence to be be worked on, and then I'm going to extend my farm because my food situation is getting really bad. And I need to figure out... Oh, wait. My toggles. Shit, my toggles. There we go. I need to pay attention to the toggles. And relocate stuff. Relocate to this. I mean, what's this other guy? I think there's another guy right here, right? For the berries. Uh oh. Villager stricken with dehydration? Oh my god, really? Do I not have enough water? No, there's plenty of water here. How's he dehydrated? Oh, the guy up here. Oh. I need a well. I need a well. Somewhere over here. You were explaining spawning, so understandable that, that you missed the message. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... So hopefully we can get that well set up there, and then what else am I focusing on? Um, I relocated that. Maybe I need to relocate it to this so I get more berries from this side here. And then, how about down here? This guy needs to go this direction to pick up the berries from there. And this guy just needs to pick up the greens and the herbs in that area. And I don't think they, I don't think the fish is over there. I think I have to upgrade this guy somehow. Because it's not, there's a school of fish over here, but maybe it's, um, well, no, it is actually working. It's, it's not complaining about the radiance. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's overlapping, that's why. What's this? Well, it's not complaining there's no fishes in range. So I don't want to mess with that. I have a gold bank now? What? Do I have a gold bank? I don't know. Let's see here. Is, uh, let me, does, do I, can I make gold? Gold mine? No, I don't have a gold mine. One place over gold deposits. Sand pit. Uh, well, I still have one gold, so that's good. I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I guess net negative, which is bad. So I need to figure out how to get more gold. How do I, how do I make you happy? Herbs, right? I need herbs, basically. What is this? That's the beauty thingy, right? I think that's... Wait, is that beauty thingy? Yeah, that's the beauty thingy. Let's see here. I think it's G, right? G is desirability. So if I put some trees... I need to put some trees along the edges of this, I think. Yeah, I need to put some trees along here. Hmm. So, All right, so I need to put something here to make this these guys happy. And that way they'll upgrade. I guess what I'll do is I'll just make a, add a bunch of trees here. And that should convert these guys to homesteads. Can't you get herbs by clearing an area and selecting herbs? Or planting herbs, you mean? Well, there's herbs right here along the edges. And it's related to this guy here. Unless I can, can I choose? I don't think I can choose, right? I'm trying to increase priority for, for the herb picking. And I can't do that right now. So he's he's supposed to pick up the herbs. I mean, there's two... There's a couple herbs over here. And maybe I'd need a forager right over here just to pick up these herbs. Why don't I do that? Forager, right? You know how you clear trees by drawing boxes? Yeah. You think you think I can I can clear this with that? It's bushes, right? But there's no bushes here. It's just on, on the ground. So I'm looking at this here. So there's no there's no bushes here, that's a thing. And it's just on the ground, so I think the forager, I think the only way to do this is if I stick a forager here. Well, it's probably gonna get cleared anyways, once I, um, once I expand this, this farm. Right, yeah, it only works for berries. So my, my other worry is that, <laughs> The herbs are here, patches of herbs. If I expand the farm here, will I lose my herb replenishment? Do herbs regrow somewhere else? So I don't know if it's a good idea to like expand the farm this way. You know what I mean? It's yields herbs here this is like my herb node if i if i clear this will i still get herbs in this area and that's my concern 
And if that's my only source of herb, well, not only source, but I'm, not my, I'm losing my herb source. So that's my other thing here. Because I, I think the herbs were over here, right? And the herbs grow along the water. Unless there's a way to regrow herbs. Is there a way to regrow herbs? I don't think there's a way to regrow herbs. A garden? I don't know the garden, actually. A large garden plot provides a desirable, desirability bonus. No. Small garden, right? That's the same thing. It just provides shrubs. No, that's also desirability. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get more herbs. Well, maybe I'm missing something about the herbs. Hmm, wait, what? Does the healer? Maybe the healer thingy. Can she give me herbs? No, I don't think she makes, she gives me herbs. Alright, so that's the other question is how do I get more herbs if I clear out an area or destroy the herbs? So I'm not sure if I should destroy this area here. And the herbs seem to grow by the water. And this right here is also a fertile area. That's where the herbs are coming from. Where I hit the eye. Okay, hang on. It's F, right? For fertility, right? So herbs was grown by, by this area here naturally. And I don't know if that depletes or not. Or if I or if they regrow if I remove it. I'm guessing it I can only rely on herbs by the water. Let me move this and see if I can get more of the herbs here. I wish there was a way to like set the herbs as a priority. I can't choose any of this. Yeah, there's no there's no like herb priority. Well there's 25 right here. So, so it says there's 25, so I don't know why it's not growing. Maybe it's like I these are first required and then that's the fifth. I think that's that's probably how it goes. So my tax rate now is, or sorry, my, I think my gold went from negative 14 to negative 7, right? I think that's what happened there. It's still a shelter. Why, why are you not happy? Desirability is 16. Why are you not happy, though? Oh, it's probably because of this. That's medium garden. Let's have a medium garden right here. Why is it not... Why is the desirability here different than the one that's over here? Is it because I have, like, more houses? I think it's probably because they're lonely. Maybe if I add more houses, it might help. Might just be one of those, hey. I, I don't have any neighbors or something. So I don't know if that's the case. So that, let's find out if that actually improves my desirability. Still looking for herb information? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be great if you if you have some information on that. Otherwise, I have to like sit down and just Google that information myself. I'm fumbling around trying to figure this out, so. Hmm. 
All right, so if, if this desirability goes up because I add a hou added houses, then it actually has an impact. I think desirability, because I think I, I played another game where it's like you get like adjacency bonus, right? If you have like two houses, I think it was like Farlanders, right? Yeah, Farlanders had an increase in happiness when there's another house adjacent to it. So I'm wondering if this is also uses a similar mechanic. Can you move the herbs like the berry bushes? Can I move them? I don't know. I don't think I can. Yeah, see, I can't move them. Berry bushes can be moved? I don't think berry bushes can be moved. I can only harvest berry bushes. I can remove as target, but I don't. I think remove just means that they don't. They don't go to them. Yeah. So I can't move them. Oh my god. I'm low on water again. All these wells are all dried up all of a sudden. Alright, so I'm still I'm still needing more gold. Now I've maxed out also my population. Who's working and who's not working? I have 14 idle guys. Let me increase this then. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna... Yeah, see? The patches of herbs went down the yields. There was no... So it is seasonal. I think what I need to do is... I'm gonna build the the forager somewhere over here. Is it forager? It must be in food. Is it food? Under food, maybe. Forager. So I'm going to stick this here for now. And I might end up leaving this. And like have a gate here so they can actually come in and out. Right, hang on. That's a wall. I don't need a wall. I just need fences. Somehow I built walls. Yeah. Cancel this. Cancel this. Like what I need to do is just put like a, a fence, fence gate like right here. And we're gonna put the fence from here to here. From here to here. I need to remove all this. Manage walls. Drag select walls to manage. Hold shift to deselect. Hmm. Salvage, right? Salvage all that. There we go. So I'm going to see if I can just preserve this, and then I'm going to remove all this. I'm going to redo the, wa the walls too. We don't need walls inside our, inside our, our walls. Oh, read my previous message. Can you move the herbs like the the berry bushes? No, I already already mess. I already read that part. Still looking for herb information. Some of the berry bushes can be moved closer to your town. Click on the the bush and take a look at the top right. Okay, hang on. Let me see here. The top right. If you see a button that allows you to move it, you can 
bring it closer to your forger shack. Yeah, see, I don't, there's no, there's nothing here. So I clicked on the bush, there's nothing here that allows me to move it closer. So I don't, I don't see what you're talking about here. There's no option to move these closer to the forger. There's nothing here. Am I missing something? Is there another button to, to relocate? Flattened terrain. That's the only thing I have, flattened terrain. Some were movable, okay, yeah. Well, I, I've been clicking on some of these things. I don't, I don't see anything that's movable. Be nice to move the bushes around. That'd be a great thing. I can reorganize my bushes. That was a copy paste. Oh, you copied and paste the the information from somewhere. Right. Okay. Yep. None of my bushes. This game. Does game a vibe? <laughs> yes, this game is is pretty cool. It's fun. I, I am enjoying it. It has a nice vibe to it. Yeah, I'm still I'm still trying to find. Yeah, this does not. I, don't, I can't move any of these bushes. I'm clicking around and trying to find stuff that you, I can move. Maybe you're talking about like. Maybe these things can be moved. No, it's not. Okay, these can't be moved either. The howling wolves give a rabies vibe sometimes. Rabies. Right. Alright, so no, no moving. Like, I can't move any of this. I'm still looking for stuff to move. Yeah, there's nothing here I can move. That'd be really nice if I can actually move the bushes, because then I can just reorganize it. It's kind of like a don't starve together where you can just line up all your your berry bushes. No, nope, nothing here that can be moved. Can I? Can I? No, right? This is this is clear. No, hang on. Let me see if I. So let me see if I can let me, let me choose this and see if this does anything. No, it's a clear button, right? Yeah. So nope, that doesn't work either. I think they've they've they have the technology to dig up the move bushes. Oh, okay, maybe. That means I have to have to go to another tier. Candle shop, no, right? I'm looking around for something that lets me move the berry bushes. Services and entities? Healer's hut? Trading post? I already got one of those. Pub? No. Rat catcher? No. Theater? No. Decorations? No. I'm looking around to see if there's anything that allows me to relocate bushes. No, glass makers. None of these, right? I think I've already gone through all of the resources. Food production? Wait, turns medical robot honey but no. Cheese maker? No. Preservist building. Wait. Preservist build brings fruit and berries and root vegetables to this building to preserve and jar them and to preserve preserve goods. Oh no, that doesn't do it either. No, we already worked on that one. Nope, none of these guys allow me to move the berry bushes. Wait, what? What is this? 
Is there? No, I don't think. I don't think that generates me gold though. Yeah, no, nothing, right? All right, well, nothing here. Basically, yeah. So I don't know. There's nothing here that allows me to move berry bushes. So that is not a thing. I'm a well over here, and it's maybe I need maybe I need a second set up a second well somewhere over here. Like a little, there's like a little spot over here. I mean, there's a little bit of a spot right here. That's light blue. And there's a spot right here that's kind of light blue as well. Water bones. Water bones. Hmm. I should probably put one right here. 48% water bones. Some predator? Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> oh no. Where are we where are we being attacked? Oh, right here. Jesus Christ. Right here. Come on. Oh, look at all the everyone running after that. Oh, we got killed. Where's the um is it F2? F2, right? F2. So I needed that health bar thing. I was like, why am I not seeing a health bar? Alright, so we lost one guy. Maybe two. We lost one guy. Let's see here. How many people got buried? Two. Maybe three. <laughs> we'll be three soon. Wow, they just leave him there? Yeah, I don't know. It says, well, remaining capa I mean, my graveyard has has uh, 34 slots left, so we'll see. They, they, they did pick them up, so we'll see if they bury them or not. Oh, yeah, so I was in the middle of trying to add in another well. And I'm thinking right here is probably good, right? Change it like this. I guess I can go like this. That kind of encompasses everything on this side. And I'm going to change this guy's radius to be like right here. Alright, let's see here. What, what do you want? Do you want any of my sand? Do you want stone? He wants, oh, I can sell clay to him. Hmm. No, I can't. Sorry, no, no, I can't. He doesn't want clay. Never mind. Never mind. So he does not want clay. He wants my stones, which I'm not going to sell him. I can sell him some shirts, I guess. 15? I guess I can do that. I can give him, like, what, maybe 12? Let's give him 12. Sell minus twelve, right? Minus twelve. Well, I have to have some in stock first, so I'll wait till that's done. So we'll sell him twelve, and that should get us the gold we need. We're at a positive now. Two. Let's see your desirability. That's a G, right? Okay, did not increase. I thought it would have increased because of these. So that means I need to. I need to add something here to make these guys happy. How much of a desirability did this make? It's quite a radius, right? But why didn't why isn't this giving me a radius?
And see how like the desirability of this versus this. Let me close this out. Medium garden. That's a medium garden. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if these. I don't know if these things are helping or not. It's not showing up as desirables. Would a second market be a good or a bad thing? I don't know. Are are they happy because of the market? I'm guessing it's the market that's causing the. I'm guessing it's the market that's causing this desirability. Where it's all green. Give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, okay, maybe, I don't know. Let's see if this market makes a difference. Rat catcher. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's attacking me? Who's attacking me? Is it the predator? It's a predator. Something, okay. It's a bear. Oh. We're getting a bear attacking us. Come on, guys. Take care of the bear. Let's take a look at this graveyard. Did it actually go up? It did go up by one. Is the bear dead? Okay, the bear did die. I think the bear died. Yeah, the bear died. Oh wait, nine people have arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them into your village or turn them away? Mm. I mean, I have food that lasts for 16 months. I guess I can take them in. That wall is do <laughs> doing... That wall is doing a great job well I guess I need to expand this wall a little bit more hmm. yeah I need to expand this wall over here now that they're actually done so let me go ahead and do that I do have no I don't have any wood oh my goodness I'm also low on wood but yeah we'll we'll work on expand there's that bear running around too look at that I'm gonna span this. Let's see here. How far do I want to go? Alright, I guess I could put those guys on the outside for now. And I'm gonna put a. Uh, Oops, oh shit, 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 no, 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 no. No. I need to put that gate, like, right here. Gate out outward, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what am I gonna do about these other buildings that's outside of my gate territory. I don't have enough wood either. So we'll have to figure out the clearing of the wood. Wait, what? What is it? Oh, here we go. Wait, why is it not? Okay, clear. I guess these are bushes or something right here. Why is this not? Because it's not registering as trees. Or maybe it's too, it's too small, or it's not fully grown. No, I didn't build a temporary one outside yet. No. I pr I probably should because I read that temporary thing. Because it's probably causing them to take a long time to get back to base. I do need to to add also my housing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so let's see here. So 
So these actually kind of helped the little the trees that I've established over here. I'm not sure if it's because it's right next to the uh, to the town hall. And I don't know. Does the market add desirability? It does, right? It kind of, I mean, it must. Or does the market need de need desirability? I don't know if this means need desirability or provides desirability. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if it it's a need or or provides. Oh, it provides a little bit of desirability. See see how it's, the percentage does go up, but it, it only goes up like one percent. So it's not it's not necessarily something I need. It goes up by one percent. How about this? Jesus Christ, 150 gold? 500? Oh my goodness. So this actually provides desirability. Like it's got what? 1%? 1%. It's a 1% increase. This, it's 3% for this guy right here. That's because he's probably close to this. Uh, I guess the need is already filled. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to hit 30%, right? So I really need to like line up the edges here with a ton of this, which I don't have enough gold to go around for that. I mean, I can try to line this up with trees. It's cheaper that way, I think. Oh, okay, so it says desirability is a dash. Desirability is increase, right? This is like medium de desirability. This is four gold, not 15 gold. Garden trail along a narrow garden plot that provides desirability bonus for residents. Um, 15 is a lot. Small plaza. What is this? Okay. Well, that's. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll add that here. And you know what? I could probably replace this. This might be better to replace this right here. Can I chop this? Harvest? Remove? Harvest. Remove as target. Harvest, right? Yes, harvest. I'm, I'm trying to increase this guy to 30. Or you know what? I'll leave him there. Actually, you know, I'll leave him there. Let me see if I can just increase this corner right here. That might help. Which one? Which one was it? It's the medium or the plaza, right? It's 28. It should go up if I start placing another one of those here nearby. I don't know if it will. We'll see. We'll find out if that actually does anything. God, there's a lot of gold. All right, well, we'll find out. I'm trying to increase my my thing here. Desirability, so then that way I can upgrade to homestead. Now these guys, a little too far out. This one maybe I can try to work on. Maybe. My population is getting high and my food count just dropped. Alright, so now we've got these walls here. Let me go ahead and remove this. 
So I think there's a remove wall button, right? Salvage. Salvage. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna let's see if I can expand this to support more, more people. Hopefully that works. Because we need more food. Alright, I think we need more food because our population is getting really high. And we're still short 10 logs to get this building, these buildings here up. Let me move this now since we've already got that area. So we can get more of these over here. And then how how this one? Okay, let's get some greens in here. Right, let's take a look. Oh oh shit! Oh shit! I forgot to sell. Oh shit! I forgot to sell the clothes that I have in stock. Yep, we got to sell the clothes. Damn it. I wish they would just automatically do it. Right, because we have to store stuff and then we're... I think the thing is with the storage is like, hey, you know, should you flag those? Go ahead and sell it. Instead of like always have to like transfer it, have to like come back and check up on it. And then have to hit the sell button. So that's kind of annoying. I think that's my other complaint about the game is the the trading mechanics you have to move it to the to the trading post and then hit the sell button whereas in other games it's just kind of like hey if you sell it they automatically go pick it up and just give it to the guy so that's slightly annoying It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I guess the trading post is kind of like a secondary storage. Alright, so I'm still needing wood. Is my game paused or something? I don't feel like there's any activities going on. Oh, there we go. I guess it was paused. It's got arrows. I guess I'll add another one. Because we don't have any bows. Do we need bows right now? I don't know. If, I don't know if the bows are like a wear and tear item. I guess bows are kind of wear and tear. Let's see here with storage hands right now, sir. I have 10 bows. There's no reason I have a Fletcher running right now. I have 10 bows in storage. Alright, so here... Let's see here. I'm going to move this over here. Let's see if this guy ends up coming this direction or not. Because if he does come out this direction, then that means there's a gap right here. Which means I need to like put up a wall this direction and then move the Fletcher or the the fishermen's inside the wall. And then create like a like a, a gate this direction here. I'm going to assume that this is a gap. I'm gonna assume that's a gap. Alright, so let's take a look here. I'm still short on wood, significantly. Call for wood, right? Yeah. So this guy is kind of like my woodcutter 
or sorry, Forester. So he is a Forester, kind of. Cancel this. I don't know if that affects the um, the bird's nest thing. I don't know what this bird's nest thing do for me. You should be able to build walls out to one one in the water. Out one tile into the water. Let's find out. It's kind of stopped earlier. Yeah. See, I can't. It stopped right there. I can't. Obstructed by water. See that? It says obstructed by water. I tried earlier. It, it says obstructed by water. Yeah. So no, I can't. Unless I can, I can remove the ground. I think there was like a terraform or something, right? Flattened terrain. Obstructed by water. Nope. Can't do that either. I even watched the trader leave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did the trader leave through this corner or no? D do you know if the trader left through this corner? Maybe it did. I don't know. Let's see here. I guess I can build a. Yeah, I guess I guess I can build a road through there, huh? Yeah, but to make it clear that it's secure, they should make it extend into one tile to the water. Oh, I see what you're saying. But I don't know where the trader went. Okay, yeah. My guess is that this is actually a gap. So, I think it is, because I think I just saw the, the guy walk this way. I think he's going to get shoes or something. Alright, so I'm out of water over here in this spot. Oh man, I'm out of water everywhere. Except for this well right here. So these wells over here is not dried up. So the ones by the water is good. Alright, I'm still having gold issues. But at least I'm net positive on gold. Okay, this chick has nothing to do because I see her standing there idle. Let's see if I can change this radius so it kind of includes, includes one of the herbs. Just in case I forget to remove this or rearrange it. Okay, so let's rearrange this over here. Wow, my food spoil spoilage is 10 months. That's terrible. All right, so my guess is based on the see see like the dark spots, I think dark spots means there's a potential spawn like here. You see that? So my guess is that if I don't, if it's not, uh, if it's dark, then I think there could be a spawn point like in here. That's my, that's my guess. Uh, that's cool how it shows you what resources are in the work area. 
Um, what do you mean? For the forger? Oh yeah, I, I have to move it around though. Moving the circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's nice, uh, but I have to manually do it every time to change the circle around. I mean, that's nice because I don't actually have to move the building. Constantly moving the building around. All right, I think I'm gonna need to clear these trees over here. Clear, right? I don't know if harvest for resource means I'll also, if it leaves the tree behind. I don't know if this is the same as clearing. I think clearing chops the trees, right? So if I if I harvest this, I think I, I think I should leave it as harvest, right? Let's find out if if harvest is the same as I think harvest is not the same as clearing, so I should be able to just click all of this and say harvest. Okay, it, I'm guessing it doesn't chop the trees, it just harvests. So technically you don't need a forester. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking that's what it means. It just it just means like you highlight all all the things that you want. It'll harvest them for wood, but it won't chop them down. I think that's what the harvest thing means. So I'm not, yeah, I think that's what it means. All right, so I think that mystery is solved. Yeah, all right, we'll find out. It should regrow is my point. Like we'll get more like branches or whatever the hell. Otherwise, I actually probably have to go back and manually decorate, and spend one gold to rebuild the trees or something. So the conversion rate would have been like what one gold for wood? I don't think that's that's right. I don't think I should. Okay, so I shouldn't have done a clear on this, right? What the clearing thing on this means? I actually will lose trees, and I well, they could potentially regrow. I don't know. Okay. Why does that look so messy? It's got like all these little bushes or trees around this. Invalid location? Oh, I guess I can't build this along this area. Oh, it needs a minimum of five by five, so I can't re I can't expand this. Oh, I can't do a one by one under minimum size. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to expand into this. Cut into my herb patch. That might be a problem there.
Okay. Let's see if I can do more exploration here. Out this direction. Cut down the fences and expand it to the left? Oh yeah, I can do that. You're right, I can do that. You're right, I can do this. Go this direction here. I can go around this and then this. It requires an expansion of 5x5, five five, so I think that should be this, like, perfectly. So, let's see, let's clear the fences here, right? Salvage? Hmm. There we go. It's a five by six. And that leaves enough, just enough back there for another fence. Like right here to here. Right? Actually, no, I, you know what? Shit, let me read re this. Wait, this is five by five, right? One, two, three, four, five. I should, you know what? I could probably just, I don't know. Because then this chick can, can't leave unless I put like a, a, a wall here or a gate. I guess I, you know, that's fine. We'll just put another gate here then. Convert that to a gate. Or like a gate over here, maybe. Let's take this, make that a gate or something. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then that way she can actually walk out from this way. I think I had my other gate over there. Hmm. Little wolf. I think I my only thing is I, I feel like the, the season moves a little bit too fast. I would probably prefer the season to move slow down a little bit. Because I think that the seasons change pretty rapidly right now so I think this balancing here needs to slow down a little bit wow everyone's out of water all of a sudden in the winter you agree right yeah yeah so that's that's my other complaint is the seasons just move really 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 fast. So I need to like remember to like go on the forums and mention how this I think needs to slow down a bit. So what what is it? The three things we're complaining about, right? No message, no message history. This thing moves a little bit too fast. And what was the other thing that you had complaints about? Oh, the curved walls, right? The walls not being able to curve. So those are the feedbacks I, I would probably have for the game. I mean, the stone thing is not a big deal. Somebody complained about the stone thing, but... Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that's a big deal. I mean, it kind of forces you to buy it stones from from an outside source technically I didn't need this fence here 
Let me cancel those. Because it's already connected to the to the to the wall. Because I'm noticing it's it's causing the, uh, the wall graphics to to do something funky here. Why is this wall still kind of looking weird? Oh, there we go. We cleaned it up. Okay, there we go. So that one I want a fence. Man, I should probably should have expanded this further out by one, but whatever. I'm okay with that for now. And I'll I'll eventually remove this and turn it into a fencing system. Okay. All right. So we have 166 wood. This is amazing. So the only thing I need to worry about right now is the food count to support this. Okay, so we're still good on the st food storage, the cellar here. Okay, the trader did is coming in from this way. So I just got to remember to to sell him my my leather jacket or whatever the hell my my shirts but yeah I would have liked this to curve this wall to curve in the corners Okay, does this mean the tree is completely removed or no? If it's going to regrow. I don't know if it's going to regrow or not. I mean, they're harvesting it, but I don't know if it's going to regrow. But here I did a clear, and so there's no stumps left behind. Oh, no, there are stumps left behind on this one. Hmm. I really hope I don't have to like replant these trees. Okay, he's on the outside. <laughs> oh, that actually worked. All right, we stopped the bears from coming in, and I think he's looking to to attack my forager here. Oh yeah, the door does it, does, it totally blocks him out. So we don't need to open and close manually. Okay, all right, no, we're we're good. We're good. So my only my only concern here is I think I'm paying one gold for the trees. If this does not regrow, then yeah, we're paying one gold per tree. And the only other cheap way to get trees is from this guy here. Oh, yeah, the trees do get chopped. Oh, no. Yeah, the trees do get chopped. I 
That's okay. The shrubs actually give more desirability anyways. Even though it costs five gold. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the if you notice, like, if you want trees, it costs one gold. Desirability is like, meh. But the shrubs give, like, an increased desirability, but it costs five gold. So if you want to get more wood, you gotta pay to get the wood. The only other way to get wood then is through this through this other guy here. I think there's like a this guy or no. No, not that guy. The arborist tree uh, building or whatever. Is it this one? Is it this one? Or it's, maybe it's under food. Is this this right here? That gives you that plants trees for free, and then you can harvest the tree, the the, the fruit pl fruit trees for wood. So I think I might want to build more of this, because then I actually can get food and wood, right? And I want to build it into a bright green area. It's like ninety eight percent fertile, ninety five. So, so this is 79. So probably like around here is a good spot. It's 100% for, oh wow. 100% like right here. Okay, I'm thinking here, right here? I think probably right here. Well, the building doesn't have to be 90, 100%, right? I think the... Sure, I accept them. Sure, let's just place it right there. Oh, hey, let me see. What do you want? Oh, I have a lot of soap too, huh? Let's sell, let's sell some of these guys my soap. Let's sell 30 soaps. Oh yeah, I, already, I can't do anything about that. I mean, it's they're on their own. They're, they're well nearby. Oh, and this guy wants my... Oh yeah, this guy wants my, my sand. I sell all my sand. My inventory. Let me see. Transfer items into inventory. Let's um. Let's give him more of that. And this guy wants. Yeah, let me sell some of this too. So all that. Beautiful. And I, I'm selling my soap to this guy, right? Now, is there, is there a capacity limit to my gold? Because I know I have to, like, there's a thing that says build a bank. And I'm wondering if there is a, a gold capacity. Because if there's a gold capacity... Yeah, secure repository for the town's gold. I think I need to build... Wait. I don't have iron. Iron bars. Do all these guys selling iron bars? No, right? None of them are selling iron bars. The other trader left. There's only one trader here now. Wait, what, what's this other one? Soap, right? And sell more soap. Oh, I, oh no, mind. I don't have any in stock. I should, no, I should say I have 19, but. There we go. Wait, no. I don't have 19 there for some reason. Oh, well, whatever. That's. I think we should have plenty of gold. 
The vault, I think, protects it from the the bandits from stealing it from us. Alright, so the fire thing's not that big a video. What's this? Housing shortage? Oh my goodness. Where's my desirability? Wasn't there? I don't remember. Let's see here. Where, where's the marketplace going to? Like, I can build one right here. I should be okay with a building right here. I don't think that affects the berries. The berries on the outside. Mm -mm. So I need. Okay, so this guy needs to plant trees. Some apple trees here. That one corner right there. Okay, he can still plant there. I wonder if he can plant outside his radius. Oh, he can. He can build outside his radius. I need to fix this curve here later. that curve. That's good for now. We'll we'll leave it there. I could probably get rid of these bushes. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I don't have a housing shortage anymore, so why do you why are you still there? Why is this message? I can't right click off of this message. This, this this housing shortage thing is should just go away. It's sighted. Somebody got attacked. Oh, I think he's, it's dead now, right? Yeah. This. Oh my goodness. This this housing shortage thing here is bugging the hell out of me. I can't. I can't get rid of it. This I can right click and it'll, it'll go away. This right here, I can't right click this. This is bugged. Oh my god, this is gonna annoy me for forever. You see this this right here? It just won't go away. I'm right clicking it. And I don't have a housing shortage anymore. Let me see if I can save this and get that out of the way and reload it, maybe. All right, let me go back to main menu and then reload it. Oh my god, that message thing. So you really need to improve the messaging. Hopefully it goes away when I reload. If it doesn't, oh my goodness, that's going to annoy me. Sure. This one, right? Yeah, I think it's this one, right? Far left or far right? Which which one is the? I think it's the far left. Or no, I think it's the far right. Wait, no. That's not my. That's not my. That's not my. That's my. I think it's the far. It's the far left. Yeah, I think it's the far left. Or yeah, the far left. Yep, it's the far left. The far right is, is something I, I just launched the game. 
to um, to test to see if it worked. There was, there was barely any time spent on it. Because I was looking at the total hours played, I'm like, well, the one on the left says five hours, and the one on the right didn't even show any any hours on it. All right, hopefully this message thing goes away. Otherwise, that's going to drive me nuts. Please go away. Okay, that's gone. All right, woof. So that was kind of buggy. Oh my god, look how much food I lost. In this market right here, I lost all that food. That's a shit ton of food, too. 188 smoked meat? Oof. I hate wasting food. Alright, so. Desirability on this one went up quite a bit. This one, okay, that one just went up. This one, I don't know. That's still stuck at 28. I don't know how to improve this one. Besides maybe like replace, chop these trees down. Just, I guess put the uh, plaza right across the street. It's coal for wood. You know? Let's go ahead and cut this out. If I put like a, a plaza right here, I think that might actually go up to 30. Uh oh. Who's attacking me? A bear? Let me get rid of this G thing. Well, that guy is almost dead, too. Look at that. Oh, I think he just died. Did he die? I think he just died. I think he just died. Come on, where where are my fighters? Oh, he just ate somebody's. Oh, he just ate somebody's um. Food there. Oh, he ate the smoked meat on that one. Where? Why? Why is no one coming after this bear? Oh man. I need to seal off this somehow. Or either that or the bear spawned in this area right here. I think the bears... Oh, you know what? It's probably because also we don't have any... I need to get the Fletcher's Hut running. It's a, we're running out of... We're running out of arrows. Buildings being attacked. Oh my god, this bear is just running rampage. I think the bear might have spawned inside, or unless it came from from this gap right here. That's the only thing I can think of. Everyone's afraid of, of the bear. The hell? He's running inside his house. I don't think anyone died yet. I think they just went inside their house. I think the one guy that looked like he was almost dead, I think he went inside the house. Oh my goodness. These villagers are really scared, huh? I'm gonna get rid of this bear. I, don't, I, I think I need to build a militia. It cost me 250 gold. I don't even have that. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's see here. What's the plus 40? Or plus 3, plus 3 thing? What, what is all that? I guess I'll stick it over here. Let 
one of the towers. I, mean, I can build a tower too. Oh, you're right. It's like ten. Oh, yeah, you're right. The tower. Lookout tower defends the surrounding area against hostile threat. It must be manned by guards who do damage. So I kind of soldiers are trained in house in the barracks. I think I need. I still need this to be able to make this work. Right, because I don't know where I'm going to get guards. Unless a worker automatically becomes a guard. Hang on, let me see here. Is that a thing? Okay, may okay let's try this and see first. If it requires a soldier to be trained, then no. Did the bear go away? Did the bear go away or is he still Oh he's still there. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I'm just gonna put it right here, I guess. Right next to the thing. Oh no, he's out of the range. Or maybe I can move the range. I don't know. We'll see. I just want to stick it right here. Sure, why not? Let's stick it right here. Did it work? Did it get placed? No, it did not get a place. Shit. Let's place it down. There we go. Uh. By Rimmer Splatter, just uh, get his villagers to run around the tower while the archer shot from the tower. Oh, I see what you're saying, but... So, the, I guess they'll come towards the tower, is what you're saying. I don't know how you manually get the, the guy to go there, though. Because you can't control the villagers. I don't think you control the villagers. I don't think you can manually control them. Oh, you can get the... Oh, you can control the villagers. Oh, that's new information for me. You can micromanage the, the villagers. Oh. Can I get them to fight? No, I don't think I can get them to fight, right? Oh, you can. Look. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So you can't RTS this. Everybody, kill the bear! Oh, we don't need an art lookout tower. Oh, geez, that's that's easy then. No worries, I don't need a lookout tower. So you can RTS this. You can just drag this and just highlight a bunch of people and just yeah, bear problem sorted. No more bear problem. All right, so you learn something new every day. You can actually just micromanage all your villagers to go tell them to do stuff. Just drag, drag them in a in a square or hi, drag and highlight, and then just right click wherever the hell you want them to go, and right click over the bear. Yeah, I, I already saw that. Two guys are almost dead. Oh, I think they did die. No, wait, no. I see them. They're low health. There's like two guys that's got low health. But we got an army of, of villagers to attack. I probably could have micromanaged that better. Just basically, you know, the guys that got attacked just needs to move away. Alright. Well, we I guess we didn't need the, the lookout tower, but whatever. We'll build it. We have the gold. That's still pretty cool, though. All right, so here, I'm gonna see if I can increase the desirability of this plaza. And then maybe that might actually do something. Oh, 
That wolf sound. It's pretty eerie. So I don't know what is generating this. I think, I mean, it's probably just it's this, but something else is increasing the desirability, though. It's not just this, because it's more green, like, right here. And it can't just be this alone, because I have one on this side. So maybe, maybe the marketplace is on that corner? I don't know. Do you need to do any prep for the traders? Oh, 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 no, right? No, 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 I, I sold everything I needed. Or everything is stored right now. Everything is stored. I mean, I could increase more of the food. But no, I don't want to move the food. Because look, look how much, how low I am on food. So no, my prep is fine now, yeah. It's a good call though. I, I should I, I should check up on that regularly. Now this I don't. Okay, yeah, it's nine berries, so they didn't make compost out of the other ones. So I am a little worried about this. We're very low on food. What's this? There's no more stones in range. There we go. Crop is expanding, yeah. Let me take a look here. Yeah, there we go. We suddenly this is done now. This is done now. So we should we should start getting more food. I don't know why the second year is not showing up. Like, it only seems to work. I don't know what the crop rotation. So I'm still not quite sure why we're on level one or what the priority is. Oh, oh, okay. I, I get it. Crop rotation. So I think this moves up one. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is one, two, three. So what happens is the next year, I think this row moves up, and then this row moves up, and this goes to the bottom. Because I know, I remember this used to be at the bottom of the list, and this used to be at the top. Or sorry, yeah. Right? No, this used to be at the top, right? This used to be at the top. So it is. it does rotate. It's crop rotation. So it goes like this. First row, second row, third row. This bumps up. It goes to the bottom, this goes to the top. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Because I remember this guy was actually on the bottom row. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so why is this not built yet? Go ahead and... Well, I don't need to prioritize that, honestly. I'm not too worried. I think the only thing I need to worry about is the... the walls. And then maybe put a lookout tower in that corner. Maybe. I don't know. I was getting... I'm kind of getting nervous, though. We got six there. So we'll see. I don't know if that's a curve or not a curve. I don't know if that, we'll see. I might have to redo that. Oh, it is obstructed by road, okay. So, we do have to clear out this road. Oh my goodness, that road. Why do I do I delete that? Okay, I have to delete it. So let me hang on. Let me remove this. And then put the the wall back. This here. And 
and we're going to see if we can get that road to go through this wall. No, right? There we go. And that works. And then we're going to oops, continue the wall from here. Shit, I got that. I got that well right there, but I can always move the well, so that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let me move the well into this onto this side. There we go. We'll just move the well, and we're gonna we're probably gonna move the fishermen's inside the gate, and I can just wall this off this way. And I think I might move this fisherman's hut over here because it's closer to this guy here. So let me, oh, you know, I need to probably put a, uh, I need to cancel this here. And so I'll put a, a gate right here. So that way this guy also can come out to get the herbs. And then we're going to move the fisherman's hut here. Pretty sure I can just move him. He doesn't need to be by the... Yeah. Right by the thing. There we go. So that way he'll, he's closer towards this. And then I can just probably just do the, the roads from here to here. And then we'll, we'll figure out sorting this wall system here. Probably like from here to here, maybe, and then here to here, because we got this little clay thing there, and I probably want to make use of that. So I don't, I don't know how much stretch as well. I guess I'll corner this a little bit. I'll have like what three little corner spots, or for me like up to here, and then up to here like this. Well, I'll, I'll figure that out once we clean this up. Oh, I know, right? Food spoilage and five, right? We're we're losing on that. I don't know what's going on now. I'm at cap, but I don't I don't want to increase my population because we don't we don't have enough food to support the population. So I don't I don't know what's going on yet. Am I going to get enough food? Let's see here. Do I do I need to remove some of the reroute some of this? I think I need to reroute this to here. And I think I need to reroute this guy. No, I don't. Let's collect this and this, right? Crop had a question mark over it or exclamation mark? This one, right? I think this one had an exclamation mark over it. Failed to begin planting. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. I 
Hmm, I don't know. Field status infected? Oh. Well, that one doesn't affect anything that I'm growing. Except for maybe the carrots. And that affects the, the turnips, but I don't, I'm not growing turnips, so... That's not related to my thing. Oh, cabbages. Oh, it does affect cabbages. Yeah. Let me see if I, this helps. There we go. Let me add more sand. So, because we do have sand, we, we forgot to make use of the sand. Okay. All right. Well, it's basically the cabbages that I'm worried about. So that means I should probably remove this. So it might not be too late to remove this and start the carrots. Maybe there we go. Oof! Just in time too. So let's put let's put uh, carrots there. Oh, can I add anything else to that? Okay, there we go. We can add that. So we don't want cabbages because of this. But we could do... No, turnips and cabbages is bad, right? So this will have heat tolerance, so we want that. Let me move this closer in. All right. And then this one right here, what does this affect? Peas, carrots. So let me get rid of the carrots on this one. And then put in, put in turnips maybe. Wait, that's heat tolerance, right? This is, I gotta worry about the heat tolerance. All right, that's fine. Seven villagers graduated, cool. Our food count went up a little bit, went from five to six. Okay. Make sure all my circles are good, right? This guy's circle. Let me remove him. And get it closer to this area over here. And pick up some of this. I'm pretty sure this is a gap right here. Although I haven't seen it move this direction yet, so I don't know. Maybe maybe that's not a gap. Well, actually, I, now that I can control them, it is a gap. No, it's not a gap. Look, look. He can't walk there. So that is actually secure. Oh, it is secure. Because otherwise, like clicking like this, he would have gone this direction. So this wall here is actually secure. So that's good. So that means all this time I'm doing this, I don't I didn't need to. I didn't need to do that. Hmm. All that time. Hmm. Okay, that means. That means I could just kind of. Well, you know what? I'll leave it like that. I don't know if. If I need to worry about this corner here or not. It says it's too steep. All right, I think I think that should work, right there. That should work right there. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good thing. I, I thought I had to like put walls along this area. Well, so that means I need to put. I need to put a uh, a gate right here so he can come out. All right. I think yeah. I need a gate.
Because then, then they can actually get this. All right, well, that's good to know. I guess it won't curve to there, but that's okay. They don't need to. I'll just curve it out like this. In case the traders want to go go through this route. Okay. So this right here, I don't need this little little gap here anymore. I'll leave that there the way it is. That's fine. I'll fix all this up later, I guess. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so our food count went up a little bit, too. We went from six to seven, so that's a good thing. We have all of this. I should probably get another forager here in this area. Oh, it doesn't need to be well he, he well he doesn't need to be right there. I'll just go like this. What's the difference between that and that one? Well whatever, we'll just stick it right there. Once that's done, I'll relocate my circle. What's it say? Four sided? All right, well, at least knowing this is going up is good. All right, so what's what's the happiness situation? Why are they not happy? They're missing entertainment, and they're missing beer, but beer is not a huge demand. It's the entertainment is, is a need. All right, so what do I have for entertainment? Trading post, healer's hunt, school, pub? I don't know if this provides entertainment or not. Increases durability. Or desirability. Rat catchers. Alright, well maybe maybe I should put a pub over here somewhere. Maybe like in this corner here. My bear fights aren't entertaining enough. I know, right? Bear fights, come on. Well, this is increasing your desirability. Right, yeah, so right here should help. Something. So I'll stick it right here, I guess, in this corner. We'll do that, and then we'll add the roads. Go like here. I don't want to cut into that berry bush over there. And then I guess I can line this the back with something here. Some shrubs. Small garden, no, or just some shrubs. Actually, you know, well, I just took a plaza in the back, a little plaza here. There we go. Look at all the gold, the 48 gold that I have. Not there yet. I'm look. I'm I'm looking for a targeted. Oh wait. Oh, did the trader come yet? Or no? No. Okay. I'm I'm looking for like a. Well, how much did I have earlier? Well, how much was the pub? How much was that pub? 
50. Okay, 50. The pub's 50. So I had a lot. It just dropped down. It was like 98 or something, right? All right, so hopefully that will slightly resolve this here for entertainment. Because I don't know if there's any, what else I can do for entertainment. I mean, theater should provide entertainment. That's an obvious. Entertain villagers. See, it says entertain villagers are, are happy villagers. So the only way I can provide entertainment is with this. But I'm assuming that the pub is a could help as well. We'll see. If the pubs don't provide that entertainment, then that means I have to try to work towards tier three. So to get to tier three, what do I need here? I need five more village population. I need, oh my god, that's a lot. I don't know if I, 14? I need like 11 of those. And look how much gold I need. <laughs> that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, your villagers are unhappy because your town lacks entertainment venues. Construct buildings that provide entertainment. Well, obviously, that would be the theater, right? Unless the pub actually also provides entertainment. I think I, only, I can only have one. It's locked, so that means I can only have one. All right, so we'll find out if this thing here satisfies entertainment. If it doesn't, then, yeah, I have to work towards tier three. 1,200 gold. 1,200 gold. That's a lot of gold. Which is fine. I mean, I don't... I mean, I, I don't expect my village to be at that status yet, right? I'm still working on the... Oh, a thousand for the theaters. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're right. So I technically need, what, 2,200 gold to be able to get to that level. Okay, how's my food situation? I got the herbs. How about this guy? Oh yeah, let's move this back in this direction here. We got plenty of berries over there. That needs to be harvest. We got a little bit over here. You know what's going on with this one? This guy, right? What's going on with this guy? Well, he should be harvesting this. Make this closer, I guess. There we go. So I should get this and then whatever this is. Oh, we're gonna we're we're gonna need a little bit more firewood now. Our uh, firewood situation's gone down a little bit. <laughs> it's a good thing I caught that. Um, oh, hey, it actually says that over here, too. <laughs> I didn't even notice that on the right left side. Oh, no. Okay, good thing I clicked off of it. Okay, so the trick is to click off of it just to make sure that it does not stay on the screen. I know, winter is coming. Maybe I should double up on the firewood guy just to get that going. And we'll, we'll got to remind my myself to to take this off if we get too many. All right, so I think everything is good, right? All right, I, I'm, you know what? I think I'm gonna get rid of this pit here because we have. 
we have a clay pit within side of our district, and there's, I should take advantage of that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Um, hang on, let me remove. Let me add the road, I guess. From here to here. And we're gonna add. We're gonna add the. Oh wait, you know, I I just I can just relocate it. Duh. Relocate right. Oh, I can't relocate building. Why can't I relocate? Wait, I can't relocate building. Oh, I can't relocate building. Okay, so the pits can't be relocated, which is fine. I guess it's understandable. Wait, do, is there a... Wait, okay. Basically... Alright, let's just drop that there. And I'll just... Um, put the road here for you. And then we'll delete this after that gets constructed. So it's one less item or one less building on the outside of our wall. And the only one is this guy here. Technically, I should move him inside the thing. And I and then I can just move my yellow thing back and forth however I need to. So I should kind of move him here this way. So then that way only the, the sand pit is on the outside. Build a wall around them? Around this? I, I mean, I could build a wall around this, yeah. Oh, you mean around the whole thing like this? I could, yeah, I could do that too. Alright, well, my food count just went down. I think it went down from 7 down to 5 now. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to increase my population. Well, it should increase anyways, because once these guys, once the pub is done, these guys will increase to 30% and so well, they'll become homesteads, right? Although I need, what, 25 homesteads? Hmm. So I'll, I'll have the population once this goes up, but I don't know about the homestead. I might actually have to set up like a second market or something. I'm not quite sure. Because I need like 25 homesteads. And that means I need 11 more. So we'll see how that works. Anyways, I'm going to use the bathroom here. BRB.
come back. Let's see here. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. Back. And the pub got built. So let's take a look here. Did the entertainment go up? No, it did not. So that means we need we need to get the theater. So that is the cause of our unhappiness. Not having a theater. Well that kind of sucks. Trader check the trader and check the crops. Okay. Food stock is low. Oh man. We went down to three. Oh wow, we got a shit ton of herbs. No, I don't know if I want to sell all those herbs though. That's okay, I don't want to sell the herbs though. I'm not in a rush for that. Now, the food situation is bad. That's not terribly bad. I don't have anything that's. Nothing bad with the food. I got rid of the weed level. What's weed level? What, what does this mean? Fertility's good. Weed level is down by 100%. Down by 100%, right? So rockiness is down by 100%. That's good, right? These are good. No crop selected. Yield factors. Yield factors for crop. Yeah, okay, so no, we're, we're doing good. Right? We level down 100% is good, right? As long as my yield factor is good. Let me add a little bit more, more sand to that just to make... Oh, oh, this is bad right here. We're going to add more clay. To get this down a little bit right there. We want to be inside that range. Wait, what? Oh no, I got raiders. What? No! Oh shit! Well, they're trying to attack my walls. Well, good luck with that. The wall's not taking damage, right? So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, 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 shit! They're coming in this way. Oh, they, they, they broke in through the walls. Oh, they did break in through the walls from there. Oh my goodness. They, they did break into the walls. Or that was my, that was my gate. Oh, shit. Um... Alright, you guys, come, come this way. Everybody, come this way. Gather up! We're gonna kill all these guys. Okay, we're gonna take this guy out. He's gonna go somewhere else. Go hide. And then everybody else. Let's kill this guy here. Dumb raiders, come on. Wait, this guy here, you go home. Oh, we got one raider down. Oh no, a couple of people. Oh Jesus Christ, let's just go ahead and take everyone out of them. Go, kill him. Kill him. I see two over there. Or is this that one? That one. Everybody, no! Oh, he's running away. No mercy. Kill this guy. Oh no, kill this guy right here. He's running away. God. Dead. You. You. Yep, that's what you get for killing us. There's one guy this way. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try to go after this guy. 
There's this guy over here too. I wonder if he's bleeding out. I don't know if he's bleeding out. But I am going to try to attack that guy. Okay, let's see here. The south wall. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, the south wall just got wrecked. Alright, I'm gonna take half of this. Go after these guys here. Oh, come on, you. Oh, hey, look, I do have a guard to look out tower here. Alright, let's go take care of these guys here. Well, that guy died. Oh, come on, you guys right here. Take him out. We should be outnumbering them, so that shouldn't be an issue. There's another one over here, too. I think I should set up a guard tile like right here. Why why do you all have to micromanage this? Did you see that? Like they kill the one guy here and they just ignore the guy here. Come on, really? There's like a gangbang right here. Oh, I think one of my guys died. Yeah, one of my guys died. Come on, what is this? There's like more of you over here. How is it? You better run. Here, you can go back. Just go back to your thing. All right, so now I just need to fix up my walls. Oh wait, I think I, there's a repair button, right? I think there's a repair button. Rebuild. X. X. Rebuild. What is it? What's this? Is he alive? Oh, he's dead. Oh, she's dead. She is dead. Rebuild. Deceased villager? Oh, yeah. Or is this person down? Or is she... Or... I don't know if that. I don't know if that person's down or oh, I think that person's down. He's not dead yet. That person's not dead yet. Okay. Did I lose my gold? No, I didn't. Right? Did I? It'll, it should give me like a summary report. I should get like a summary report somewhere. So yeah, they didn't get anything. None. It says none. What popped up from zero? Oh my god, my food situation is really bad though. Oh my goodness. Sure, I'll accept people. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea if I I should accept people because because I have no food. Oh no. Oh no. All right, well, that should provide eight houses right there. Why can't I build a road right there? Oh, obstructed, that's why. Well, it went up by two, so I guess that's good. I'm 
Okay. I think what I need to do is curve this road this way and then utilize this, expand my crop here. Get rid of this. Right, what I should do is just move this this direction and then expand my crop to here. I don't know if it goes up to five. One, two. Hang on. I think it's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. My gold count just skyrocketed. All right, so I should be able to get like a a barracks going, right? I don't know if it's a good idea to have a barracks or just save all that up to upgrade. Because I know the upgrade is going to cost a lot. I don't know. So, so my decision point at this moment is, should I upgrade barracks or create a barracks? Or save up all my money for my town level three. So I'm leaning towards saving up my money for a town level three. Because it seems like the the barracks is not that big of a deal. And then as far as food goes, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move. The more money I have, the more raids I'll get. Hmm, you're right. You're right. That's that is a possibility too. So you're suggesting that I should probably have a barracks, train some soldiers, just to be on the safe side, because the soldiers will actually probably be more durable and they'll last longer. But I think the problem with soldiers is that I don't have an iron mine to build any weapons. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna need weapons, right? I'm looking around to see here. What's coal here used for? Can be used instead of... Uh, charcoal can be used instead of coal when needed. Well, I don't know what that does for me. See here. See, I need an armory. And it builds, it builds like, the shields and, and stuff. So I don't think I can get... And plus the armory costs, like, 300 gold to make, too. Jesus Christ. Uh, a workshop where potters shape wet clay, which is often used to make pottery. Okay. Weaver. Oh, that means I need to increase crop for that, too. Candles. I don't know. Mm. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to build here. They need clothes, so... All right, well, first things first. I'm going to see if I can expand the farm. And make this go this way instead. Right, right there. We're gonna remove this. And we'll remove this. I'm gonna remove this here. I'm gonna remove this here. And we're gonna I'll probably I'll probably build like another farm somewhere else. Um that's specific for for uh for clothing. And then So here we're just, we're gonna expand all this and turn it turn it into another crop field. I'm gonna leave this here because this is our herb thing, and I don't want to mess with that. So hang on, we're gonna clear this. There's like walls right here. Ugh, 
I'm just gonna manually do it. Screw these guns. I wonder if I can just hit. I have to manually hit yes. Okay, so 5 a.m. bedtime for you. I've been watching and learning with you. Catch you next time. Yeah, I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you for for hanging out and, and being my eyes and ears on the, my messaging system. But yeah, good night. I've been playing. I guess I've been playing for seven hours already. I'm still addicted to playing this right now. I'm not ready to, to quit for streaming yet. And I almost feel like restarting the whole thing, too. Just now because I've learned so much since I started playing. Um, yep, message history signing out. I'll see you. See you later. All right, so here I'm gonna expand this crop field. Five by five, right? Yeah. We'll do that. And we'll we'll redo the the fences from here to here. And there we go. So we can get a little bit more crops here. I might build a separate farm somewhere for for the uh, let me see the fertility. Hmm. I need to find another spot here. I think over here is a good area, actually. Like over here, maybe. Very good spot right here for the uh, flax. I think I need to. I need to grow flax so that I can. Um... What's going on with this? I need to grow flax to make to make clothes or shirts. So food production. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. No, what's this? I think that's just tree, right? What is that? Hang on. What I think that's just a tree that's kind of starting to grow. All right, so I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go from here to here. I'll remove. I'll relocate the other guy. I just want a big crop field here. 9 by 10? 9 by 11? Hmm. Let me re relocate him first. Get him out of the way. Yeah, I guess I'll put him right here. Sure, I'll stick it right there. I'll move it over here, then I actually can get a bigger spot here to to do my farming. Alright, so at least the food is actually increasing a little bit. Which is good. So what do I need? I need I need more five more homesteads. It shouldn't be too hard. I just need to save up money to get the to get to level three. So which which there's like a button that shows. Well, I guess this is fine. So I need to increase my I need to increase by five. One, maybe two. One, two, I need three more. 
I guess maybe if I figure out how to get this section here, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I need something along here to, to maybe increase the desirability of that. What can I do for desirability? Large park? Oh my god, this is really expensive. Maybe a small park. Will a small park help? No. Okay, the small park can actually increase desirability. I can get three up. One, two, three. I'm seeing... I'm seeing three things is getting changed. All right, so the small park changes three things, and I need to upgrade. So something else over here, maybe like a. Okay, so right here could help that guy out. So we'll put a small park down here. It costs 150. That's the only way I'm gonna get like what three homesteads up. And then I need two more homesteads up. Right. So let's drop this down for now. I need to run this out this way. So this should become homestead. And then I need something else around here to increase these two. Right? Or these two, maybe. Like, no, these three right here is getting it. So I need something right here to get these two up. Firewood's low. Yeah. Give it all you got. I don't know if I need to build another one. We should be fine. So over here, I just relocated a guy, right? So now we're gonna check out the food, the crop thingy, right? I should probably just remove this as well. Let's redo the sit for roads. Connection here. Nope, I guess not. And this one, oops. Nope, shit. Let's take that out. How about this? To this? There we go. Right, so now I can actually probably do a crop like right here. Probably do it like right here, right? I need 10. 10 by 10. Let's do 10 by 10. Alright, so now we just fence this off. Yeah, so we'll fence this off. And we'll fence this off. And then we'll, we'll put a fence. We'll put a, um, a fence gate right here. There we go. And then we're gonna go like this. And that way, this whole area will be the farm. For uh, for food or flocks, flocks. I 
actually. I feel like I should probably do two strips of this. Let me oh, cancel this. Because it's like a 10 by 10. So what I'll do is I'll do a, a 10 by 5 and a 10 by 5. That way I have more flexibility for the crop rotation. Food stocks low? Oh, yeah. I think I need to pay attention to, to where I set my markers. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I guess that's fine. We'll leave it like that. That's fine. Yeah, the markers seem to be okay. So we'll leave that there. Yeah. Food stocks low, fire stocks low. Goodness. Firewood is low. I might actually have to add another firewood splitter, huh? Yeah, I'm shit. I do have to add another firewood splitter. Um, firewood splitter. Okay, let's stick it right here. One well is dried up right here. I don't know if the well provides any desirability. No, it does not. It's okay. Well, this has to be built first before that. Before we get any, any new homesteads. I forgot to relocate this. That was my fault. That might have been our food source problem. The firewood's low? Yeah, I'm aware of that. There's a wagon. Let's add another guy to the wagon. This one we can actually salvage, right? I don't leave that there anymore. Because I can't relocate them, so it's just not, not doing anything for me. Wait, what just happened? Dirt road here. And that guy, I can probably just relocate him inside the thing. So it's not a big deal. This I can probably relocate as well. There's like water right here. It's a little bit more blue over here, right? It's more blue right here. Yeah, 
I should do that. That's fine. Okay, we have no food spoilage problem. And then the only thing right now is is this I need to worry about. Just increasing this. What's this guy's oh okay, he's got no more stones. Okay, so we're good on that. Let's leave it like that. All right, so our food count is going down. It's kind of bad. Tax collected. Nice. Got a wagon coming in. Or sorry, a trader coming in. You get this built as soon as possible. All right, so so far so good. We just need to increase our food count a little bit. Hmm. What's this? Clay? I don't know if he wants clay. He might not want clay though. Oh, he no, he doesn't want clay. He wants planks? Hmm. Yeah, but it's under market value, so it's not worth selling it to him. No, there's nothing really I can sell to him that's worth anything. Yeah, there's nothing that I can sell them. I mean, I can buy... No, I don't need to buy anything from him. I can't buy anything that's worth... I can buy clothes from him, but that's that's overpriced for buying clothes. Nope, there's nothing here off of that guy. I mean, does he, get, does he sell food? I don't know if he sells food. No, he doesn't sell any food. Beer is not food. Maybe beer is food. I don't know. Beer, no. Beer is not food. No. All right. Well, I need to worry about my food food situation. Technically, I don't need this curve around here. Yeah. What am I doing with that curve? Doesn't do anything for me. Because this guy is facing this direction. So that's not really that important. There we go. My food situation is looking really, really bad. I have five guys that died so far. How's the food here? Fertility is good. Fertility is way off the charts on this one. Actually, how do I remove this? Or backtrack this? Oh shit, I asked. How do I cancel this? No oh, shit, no. How do I cancel this? Yeah, I, I don't know how to cancel this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. 
lost my food situation on this. And then you, you want the greens over here. Let's get those greens. Yeah, my food situation is really, really bad. All right, what's this guy's deal? There's no more. He needs to track this. I don't need that many planks actually. I need to track this. Okay, so food is still the biggest problem right now. Within range. I don't, know, I don't know if that maintenance thing is important, but whatever. I just need to get this running. So we have a second food source here, and then this one will just do that as flocks or flax. I think I was going to redo this to fix it up. Maybe like relocate this? Can I relocate this? Yeah, I can. I should relocate that. Because that, that doesn't provide any desirability anymore. Okay, so now I need to do something to increase the desirability of this. Maybe another park, I don't know. I don't know if another park is going to help. Nope, okay. How about small park? Large park, small park. Nope, it's not helping. No, it's not helping. It's only going up by one. I don't think it stacks very well. Okay. Well, I guess they don't want me to have too many parks, right? That one, a large park, would help a lot right here. You see that? It would get me to the 31% I need. medium garden oh wow look the medium gardens getting it worked right there in that corner and that one too okay I should be able to get it with a medium garden all right so we'll do right one right here and then this one should also increase after that one's done right That one will work for sure. So that's 30%. And this one right here, I need to figure out something for that one. That will definitely upgrade and that will upgrade. Maybe this might upgrade when both of these are upgraded. So we'll see. If that does not, then I'll throw something back. That should be fine. And then this guy here, I might need to move his alignment out of the way. To like maybe across, like over here maybe. Let's see if we can do that. Let's stick it right there. Or I can fix this up a little bit and stick it right there in that corner. And 
wonder if it's better to stick them right here. The trading post. No, right? It does. Oh yeah, it does fit right there. You know what? I'll, I'll do that. Stick the trading post right here. Because then the storehouse and all that stuff it can be moved to it easily. And then that way I can redo the the road here. And then replant all the trees around this. Alright, so our food count went up a little bit, four, so that's not terribly bad. No one's sick. That's good. So food stock's a little low. Yeah. It's, it's went up to four. It's not terribly bad. Okay. Still doing good. Still doing good. So this road right here, I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove this road right here. I'm going to remove this little road right here. And then, uh, and, and then this guy, we're going to plant some more apples. Right here. Here. Okay, I guess I can run the road right through those. I need to move this over by one, but that's okay. Wait, hang on. Is that the input? I don't know if that was the input. Well, I'm not too worried about that right now. Crops ready for assignment? Nice. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Let's get add some of this to get that into there. Uh, what do I need here? I guess I'll do cabbages? No. No, the first first section here is what I don't know what the season is on this one right here. I'm guessing this is like a partial winter. Moderate, okay. I guess I can grow peas right there, right? Yeah, I can grow peas first. Turnips. Okay, so let's do turnips on that first chunk. Uh, turnips again. What What's good for heat tolerance? What's good for heat tolerance? This cabbage is good for heat tolerance. Peas? No, peas is not. Peas doesn't have good heat tolerance. Oh, well, apparently. Apparently it's growing it, so. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that's very good to have. Heat tolerance is zero. No, let's cancel. I think I should have gotten that one instead. This one is bad. Oh my god. Okay, well, down here, I think that's probably 
Hang on. That's good. Heat tolerance is more the tailing. No, I can't take out there. Shit. How about removal? What can I do here? Can we do carrots? Let's do carrots? No, it's still shortened. Tur turnips? Yeah, turnips, right? Yeah, okay, that works. Um, I guess I'll, no, leak. Leak is good, right? Leak is, ooh, it's a huge chunk here. I don't know what this does. Oh, no, I don't, don't want to mess with that. What does this one do? Clover? I don't want to mess with that. All right, let's throw this guy down there, and then we'll do leaks. There we go. All right, so hopefully that that should solve that problem. And then this here, we'll we'll use that for for the uh, clothing, All right? And this curve here, let's go ahead and remove this. And I'm just going to go like this to this. Like that. Okay, that's fine. And then here, we're going to plant some more, more apples. run the road through this. I mean, I'll lose the berries if I run it through this. That's the only problem. I'm not quite sure if I want to do that. Okay, am I missing... Am I missing anything? Okay, so this guy right here... I'm relocate to this. To pick up the berries. And you, and you should be able to pick up the berries from there too. And how's this doing? Oh yeah, let's move this back this way. There's berries over here. Because we're almost done with this. That's spoilage. Okay, hang on. Did we did we move anything into this? No, okay. We're, we're still good on that. Alright, so I'm gonna decrease, I'm gonna remove this. Or you know what, I'll leave that there, I guess. And then we'll just subtract this guy by one. Alright. And see your desirability. Oh hey, they did go up by So now I should have enough. Perfect. I should be able to upgrade. Oh okay, so now I just need money. I just need money. And this will automatically upgrade. Alright, that's good enough, right? Two parks. Medium garden, medium garden. So everyone's happy here. I should probably add another. Well, I don't know if I should add another housing over here. I mean, I could add another house, a couple of housings over here. I just don't know if I should. I 
props ready for assignment. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're going to add this little flox thing in here, right? Heat tolerance is good. Can I do two of them? Yes, I can, right? I wonder if I should rotate this, the crops. Well, let's do two seeds in these. It'll just back, it'll just go back and forth between those for now. But technically, I don't need this because it'll just automatically use this one, right? I don't know if, it, if I need to add another one. I don't know if I need to add any of these other ones too. Does this rot? I don't know if this rots. Wheat? I don't think. Well, maybe it does. Wheat requires fertile soil, and diseases can cause significant crop losses. Yeah, yeah. What's this do? Fuck wheat. Yields grain, which must be milled into flour. It's not related to wheat or even a grass. And so is not affected by disease or other grain. Buckwheat does not typically yield as much grain as wheat or rye. It is not frost tolerant, but it has a short growing period. Does not need fertile soil and can improve fertile soil quality. Oh. Okay. Let me go ahead and add this, increase this. I'm thinking I need to add this buckwheat thing in here. At least add it into the first section. And then add the worker here. Okay, this this looks interesting. Can I stick anything else in here or no? Nothing else fits in there. Oh. What's this do? Okay, I can do turnips in that one. That's fine. We'll go with that. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Okay, this is no more stones in that area. Maybe there's a little bit of stone over here. Mm. Okay. Alright, so I just need 1,200 gold. Let's upgrade this. So we'll be tier three. And water is gone over here. I think I might need to put a well over here somewhere. Maybe over here in this corner here. Yeah, let's stick one right here, I guess. Um, I... Alright, let's stick one right there, that's fine. As good as any. Well, technically, I don't need this road right there. So let me redo this. I just only need to go straight up from here to here. Right, so that just goes straight down this way. Take a well, like right here. Is that that's kind of near the, the blue area? 
All right, so all I gotta do is just wait for for my money to kick in. Terribly off. Food five is good. It's not bad. It's not great, but at least we're alive. So we'll last for like five months. So long as we last at least three or higher, right, through the winter season. I think that's the targeted goal is three or higher. That, that would be ideal. Uh, fruit produced last 12 months is four. Lifespan is it's quite a lot. Look at that. Production capacity is 14%. I don't know. That might be bad. How about you? Apple trees. Peach trees. Oh, look at that. I should probably be making more peach trees. But that's because the maturity level is high, right? The trees, these aren't aren't mature enough. That might just be the maturity level related. Yeah. I should probably grow something beyond the... Oh! June to August. June to August. September, October. Okay. So I should be doing more peach trees. Hmm. Interesting. Change the radius of this? I think I can, right? Yeah, I can. Cool. So, peach trees. Right there would remove the bush. Or no, the bush is like right in the pathway. I think that is on the outside right now. Right, so we'll do that for now. See how that goes. Is food stocks low? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Well, at least I'm, I'm getting like a, a net positive of 15. I don't know if that is. I think that's a monthly report, right? So in a year, I don't know how many years it's going to take me to get the money I need to upgrade my town hall. It's probably going to take a long time. Um, so that means I need to rely on selling stuff to the trader to bump that up faster. Because otherwise it's going to be, what, 15? 10 months? That's per month, right? 10 months is 12 months is... Well, let's say 10 average, like 10, 12. So 10 months is 1,500. 12 months is... Is a thousand three, a thousand thirty. Hmm. So in one year, no, in one year I'll get like a thousand or one hundred eighty, right? One hundred eighty gold a year. That's not a lot. 
Yeah, if, I'm, if my math is right, I'm getting like 180 per year. So I need to sell. I need to sell more, more sand to the trader. If I can, or food, I guess, uh, clothes? Clothes. I need more food, I need more luxury. I don't have anything regarding, as far as luxury, uh, what is luxury stuff? Resources. What's considered luxury items? I think pottery might be considered a luxury item. Clay and firewood, right? It produces... I think pottery is considered luxury items. What's considered... What is considered luxury items? Try building a pot... Yeah, pottery, right? Glassmaker or furniture? Okay, so if I build this... Oops, is it this one? No, this one. That should increase my luxury. This this is for honey. That's food. I don't have a coal mine. I don't have a weaver gets clothes right. Candles. Is candles considered pottery? I don't know. Or luxury. I don't know if can candles considered luxury. I don't know what candles are used for. Alright, so this one... Crops lost a frost. Uh-oh. Which one? Oh. Which one got lost a frost? Maybe that one. Maybe that one got lost a frost. It doesn't tell me. Flox has been lost due to unexpected frost spells. Okay. So I can't double up on this. That's bad. That's bad. I think. It's currently cold right now, right? Okay. I need to move this out of the frost area. Okay, so this right here is fine. Because this area right here is cold. So, heat tolerance. Shit. I guess I'll throw cabbages on this row right here. That's the only thing I can. That's pretty good heat. I mean, can I squeeze in? I can't squeeze in that. Turnips? I guess I'll do cabbages on that one. Alright, well, let's try this and see. Okay. I don't need that info anymore. I guess at the very beginning, there's there is coldness. Yeah, so this first section right here is cold. I can't grow anything from here to here anyways. It's not terribly bad. Oh, hey, I got a trader here. What can I sell him? I can't sell him anything. Well, apparently, I have weapons to sell him. <laughs> That's probably the weapons from the um, from the uh, the raiders. And he'll take sixty-five. Hmm, you know what? Maybe I should sell him this. I don't know.
I'm guessing I got the weapons from the Raiders. And it, it actually, they'll help actually pay quite a bit for those, too. It's a little undervalued, but low average, but. Or do I want to keep the weapons for myself? Now let's go ahead and sell them the weapons. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> let's just do. So let's just sell them the two. All right, let's just sell them the two. I could buy meat as well, though, but I don't know if I want to spend money for the meat. That's the other thing. I'm trying to save up money to upgrade my town center. This is a four has been sighted, so I don't know if that. Hmm. Well, let me see here. Let me move this over here. So, this is according to this, there's a boar sighted in this area here. So, let's go ahead and go like this. Let's see if that helps. So where are you? I'm getting the greens off of that one. Okay, here we're just gonna change this for the herbs. Okay, and then you gonna change this for the greens. I should have more money now. I think I already sold it. So I already got my money. So I got 414. Ugh, it's not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot. Hmm. Alright, so our food supply is going up a little bit. I've got five months worth. And then the fishing guy. Yeah, we're actually getting some fishes over there. I don't know, has this guy been giving us... Okay, he actually has been producing fishes. Right, so I'm wondering if I should add another, another fishing hut. Just to cover this area over here. Yeah, so that might actually increase my my uh, food situation. All right, I think I'll do that. Add another fishing shack. Wait, do I? What? What about my smoke thing? Smoke thing is not full. My, is it full? I think it just does it and doesn't really. There's not a fullness. It just moves it to my thing. All right, so I let me go ahead and add a fishing thing. So we're gonna do. I just do it like over here. Oh, 
and then just manually move it. Mm. That's fine, I'll stick it right here. I mean, there's plenty of space here. That coverage right there is fine. Okay, we're gonna move this guy over a little bit. I mean, he can always leave too. And that guy will just make a move a little, a little bit over there. So that should kind of help us with our food situation. Okay, who's sick? What are they sick with? Fractured bone. Eh, that's nothing. So this one, we're going to change the radius over here. And this one right here is fine, right? He's, let's go ahead and pick up some of this. Oh shit, crops lost a heat. What? Which crop? Wait, which one which one got lost to heat? What this one is. Oh really? Oh well carrots is heat tolerant? Or is not heat tolerant. Carrot is carrots are not heat tolerant. Clovers are. Where's buckwheat? I think buckwheat is heat tolerant, right? I think I should stick buckwheat in the middle. But I need to do something about the buckwheat, like a mill or something, right? Okay. So let me go ahead and remove this. Put the buckwheat in there. See if that helps. And then I need to probably process buckwheat. I have a mill thingy, right? Wait, what, what? What's the thing that says about buckwheat? Something about okay. Buckwheat yields grain, which must be milled into flour. Despite its name, is not related to wheat or even grass. So wait. So. Can this still work or no? Yeah, I don't know if that still maybe that still works. I don't know. Grinds wheat into mill. I mean, what's it say? Which must be milled into flour. And this says Grinds wheat into flour. Okay, well, I guess I'll stick this in there. Sure, I'll stick that in there. Wait, what's it say? Heavy tools. Do I not have heavy tools? Oh, shit. I don't have heavy tools. Oh no. I don't I don't have heavy tools. It requires heavy tools. I don't know if I can make I don't think I can make heavy tools. Produces produces. Oh did I make did I throw down a pot pottery thingy? I don't know if I threw down a pottery thingy. I don't think I threw this down yet. No, I didn't. This doesn't have an arrow out, right? There's no arrow out. I don't think I have anything thrown down for this. Sure, let's just stick that there then. Right, or, or do I stick it over here? I know, I can't stick it over here. 
I guess I'll stick it right here then. Just do that then. So I can't build this, so let me just cancel this. There's no reason to have it. Cause I, I don't I don't have the way to make the heavy tools. None of these produces heavy tools. How do I get heavy tools? It's a tier two. It's a tier two thingy too. Right? This is like a tier two, and it requires heavy tools. But none of these things. None of these things produces heavy tools. And that requires metal. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. Something here has to give me tools, right? And that's plank. That's an iron mine, but I don't have an iron mine. Basket shop, no. What produces... To make heavy tools, they are T3, and you have to trade for them to make to make one first. Yeah, so... Okay, so what doesn't make sense here is why would this be on a Tier 2 when I require a Tier 3 item? You know what I mean? To make heavy tools, they are Tier 3, and you have to trade for them to make the first one. So... That and oh, you're saying it's to make the to even make the the first the first item too, right? The blacksmith. Oh yeah, it does make tools. You're right. You're right. To make the blacksmith forge, I have to trade for the tools to be able to even make tools. All right. Well, that's fine. I, that's fine, I guess. I understand. So I guess the only other way to get the the mill is if I trade for it. So the next time I catch one of these traders, I need... So far, I haven't had any traders come by offering, offering me tools. So, alright, well, that's fine. I'll just wait. At least we'll get some pottery going. My food count's gone up significantly now. So that's good. I have a 400 pop and have only used three of them and I traded I I traded all of them. And you've only used three tools and you traded all, all of them? Oh, you traded for them, right? Not traded off. What is this one? The carrots. Oh, yeah, I should have moved the carrots. What's this one? Well, this, this is peas, right? They have zero heat tolerance. Oh, my God. Okay, this is bad. Let's remove this one. I don't know why that I have that one there. Uh, I need something else here. Oh shit! Oh shit! I removed the. Oh fuck. Okay. So carrots should be on that side, and then heat tolerance. What can I do for heat tolerance? Peas, right? Peas are good for heat tolerance. I have nothing for cabbages, don't know. So I kind of screwed this up a little bit. I have way too many carrots. I should probably do turnips. Let me remove this. Let me remove this. Put turnips in there. To add another turnip? No, I can't, right? Yeah, let's do this. 
Okay. So you traded for your your tools. Did you even have to make any or no? I guess you just traded for them and just not even worry about making tools after that. All right. So my other problem is right now I don't have a an iron mine. I need to scout this more. I've made one and have not used it. Oh, you made one and have not used it. Okay. So it's just better to, just to trade for all of it and then and not even worry about the heavy tools. All right, I need to, I need to get out here and see if there's any any iron mines nearby. They got this giant lake right here. I think that's the edge of the map. I don't know if I can go further than that. Oh, maybe I can. I, I forgot if I actually selected large map or medium map. Oh my god. Crops died to frost. Which one? Beans? Really? Oh, shit. I need to scoot this down this way then. Wait, crops died to what? To frost spells? Oh, come on, really? We're not, it's not that cold. Oh, the temperature is pretty cold here, huh? Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think I should shift it more this direction then. All right, at least I'm up by nine. All right, so what's my resource thingy right now? Do I have a lot of blocks? Let me take a look at this. This will help me tell what I'll have a shit ton of. Grain, I have grain. I can't I can't process the grain, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the grain. I don't know if they'll eat the grain directly either. I don't think they'll eat the grain directly. Wait, if I have grain No wait, it has to be processed into flour. Right? I think grain goes into flour. Um No, I haven't gotten any flox yet, right? Or flax? Flax, that's it's flax. It's pronounced flax. Uh, I can't tell where the flax is on this list. Wait, is there another is there another thing that shows me my resources? Wait, there's another resource menu or something, right? I'm looking for something that helps me determine if I have enough to produce. Press R? Okay. R. Ah, uh, the R key. Okay. Town info. How did I get... Besides the R key, where would this pop up normally? Oh, I guess I can click it from this. Then hit show all. Is there a show all button? Hang on. Resources, right? Resources. Flax, right? I, I want flax. I don't have any flax then. Okay. Show show uh, categories. Show empty lines? No. So inline categories? I don't know what this means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what the, what the difference is between that and the other one. Oh, oh, okay, inline. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. Um, so I don't have any flax. Oh, it rotated. Should, I should have some. It's got a check mark here. But I don't have any storage. I don't, well, okay. Um, 
you need something to produce the the clothes, right? Flax is weaver. I think I think it was like weaver, right? Here we go, weaver's building. The weaver's building. Oh man, I guess if I can do it on this weird little. Yeah, let's stick that right there. That's fine. So I'm trying to get some clothes, and we should have luxury now, right? Or no? Where's where's my? Is this not working? We produced eight this year. Firewood. Okay. Yeah. So we should we should get some soon. All right, so now I just gotta sit around and wait for the thousand two hundred gold. So I gotta wait for the trader to come. I have wheat, or sorry, I have grain, but I don't have any any way to process that into flour. See if I can plant an alert. Plant right here. No, that's out of my range. Is it out of my range? No, I already have something. It is out of my range. It is out of my range. That's okay. How about this guy? How's he doing? I'm not sure if that's out of his range or not. Because then I got shifted over. Oh hey, look, we got some we got a fish right here. Nice. Some fishies started spawning. Nice, nice, nice. So we should start getting getting more food in this next season. What is this now? Crops died from frost. How did this die from frost? Oh. Okay, well. As long as we harvest it, 205 crops, Jesus. That's a lot of crops. They need to harvest that faster. I don't know how to solve that problem. It's heat tolerance. I guess I can just move that towards there then. I don't know if that, that's a lot of crops that I lost. I need to figure out how to do the um, the farming thing better. They use it fast. I do three fields, and what I do is order the season one. I get order one, two, three fields. Get two, get order two, three, and then I'm not quite sure what you mean. They use it fast. I do three field, and what I do is order the season like one, get order one, field two, get order two, three, four, and field three gets order three, two, three, one, two. I'm not, I'm not following what that means. I don't, I don't understand what what you mean by that. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll increase this a little bit. Let me increase this a little bit with sand. Uh, mess with this? Oh yeah, I do need to mess with this. Okay, put some clay in there. Okay, my food count went up actually, I just noticed that. Alright, so I just gotta wait for the trader to come. My compost is full. Well, 
What's this guy? What's this guy? Haven't found any games in the area. What? No. I'm out here. Wait, it's this guy that hasn't found anything, right? What about this guy? Hey, this guy is this one right here, right? So let me move. Actually, no, this guy goes here. And then this guy over here. Let's see if that does anything. It's this guy that hasn't found anyone. Alright. Well, so far so good. I, I've got food storage of six. So I'm not completely dead yet. And I just need to be able to sell stuff to the trader and figure out buying that that heavy tool thing. Oh, and this guy right here, I need to move him around. Nothing there? Hmm. Nothing here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. I think I cleared everything that's that's stone related. All right. Let's relocate this building then. Let's all stick more right over. Oh, he's. Uh oh. Oh, that creates negative negative effect. Maybe over here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, this doesn't have a arrow direction, right? So I guess I can stick them right there. All right, the fields are three-year rotation. So I use it. I use three fields. They all grow the same thing. But what I grow in season one, a field one will be season two, a field two, and season three, a field three, and repeat. For the other two seasons. I'm trying to think about that. Let me reread re what you're saying. So I use three fields. They all grow the same thing, but when I grow in season one, a field one will be. Uh, I grow in season one, a field one will be season two, a field two, and season three, a field three, and repeat for the other two seasons. So uh, I do three fields. What I do is I order them. Season one gets one, two, three. Field two, gets two three four and field three gets three two three one two okay I'm trying to figure out how that applies to this so what would you do here on this this is one two three right these are these are your three year rotations one two three and they all grow the same thing but I what I grow in season one of field one will be of season two of field two. Oh shit. What just what just oh my goodness, what just lost? I think it was a buckwheat. Yeah, I think I lost a buckwheat over there. Okay, let's let's remove this so then I understand what you're saying. So you're saying they all grow the same thing. So the field, okay, so in season one, I grow field one. How are you managing to fit in three different things? I don't know how, how you manage to fit in three different things. Okay, so you're saying like this. Right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I can't fit in anymore. And then season three is 
three of three whatever and a field three repeat for the other two seasons. So if you grow the same thing two years in a row on the same field, it will get rot. So I do different crops each year. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I, so, so what I need to do is rotate this. I need to rotate it basically. So I guess I'll throw this in here then. So I need to ship this out, I guess, a little bit, isn't it? And I need I need to do the peas or something else. Something else that's got heat tolerance. We'll do, we'll do cabbage on on this one, right? Or can I? There we go. So I. So you're saying is I want to do different things, spread it, spread it around, rotate it, so that way my my soil doesn't rot. Okay. So this right here is kind of bad, right? It's a bad idea to have that there. And you have something else right here, basically. What does this do? Okay, so I can probably stick that there then, yeah? Yeah, let's go like this. Alright, let's try that and see if that works. Hopefully I don't get any more rotation thing problems. So the buckwheat right here is bad. So here, what I need to do is, I need to remove this. What is the turnip? Heat tolerance, okay, so turnip, no, I can't. I can do the turnip like right here. I'll go like this. Slight, well, it's slight overlap, but that's okay. Unless I put cabbage. I guess I can put cabbage in there. Let me move that. There we go. So that should rotate it, right? There we go. In that diagram. Okay, and watch the fertility rate. Some are negative and some are positive. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. Oh, God, this little farming thing is a little complex. There's got to be a min max solution. So I'm sure somebody has like a min max solution to that. I'll have to think about it more. If I can figure out like a really good solution, then I'll make a guide for it. But right now, I have to understand it first. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. So we got a trader here. All right. So what can you sell me? Oh, he can sell me cows, huh? Ooh. Oh my God. Cows cost 481. No. That's a shit ton. All right. So he he can't sell me any, or he's not currently selling any heavy heavy tools, which is unfortunate. Yeah, he's not selling me. Uh, he's not. I'm looking for that. All right. So what can I sell to him? Oh, he just left. Oh, damn it! I missed it. What is he wanting? Oh, he wanted clay. Oh, I saw him wanting clay. All right. I should probably put some clay here just in case. Let's load up some clay over here. In case he comes by next time. And wants clay off of me. Alright, I kind of screwed that one up. Alright, and then you. You can move this over here. A building's on fire? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. 
I just need to increase this. I got I went from six to seven, right? Let me move this over here. Actually, I'm gonna move this over here. Is this, this? Yeah, okay, that okay, that's part of the, the gathering process. Okay, that greenery is in here. So we're fine. Okay. Oh, hey, I could probably move this guy to the nuts over there. So I can get some more nuts over there. So that should help with food. Alright. Huh, do I want nine people coming in? That just means I just have to build more houses for them. Wait, I need two more houses. Or one, actually. Well, no, two more houses, right? Two more houses. At least two more houses. And then, so if I stick one right there, that might work, right? Is that... Which direction is it? Okay, right there. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, that's within range. Okay, cool. Because that should increase. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to add another house. I don't know if that will become a homestead or not. It should, though. It should. Because these right here is 33, right? So that should become a homestead. If not, I might have to just add another house right here. Hmm, I should be able to add another house like right here. Do a little alleyway this way. So hang on. They're always curved around this way. Let me remove this. Try this again. Let me just put this here for now. I'm going to add another house right here. There. And we'll see how that works out. So that should be enough. Alright, all right, I'm aware of that. Alright, so we still need to kind of increase food though. Housing shortage, I'm aware of that. And the berries? No berries. Yeah, there we go, berries. Let me shift this over a little bit. Like that. And this guy here. All the greens in it. Okay, and then you, you're still getting nuts, right? Yeah, you're getting nuts. And then this guy over here, he's still okay. That guy's fine. Okay, so here we're going to add another, another uh, set of trees here. Pears? I guess we'll make some pears. Sure, if that's in the in the, the zone.
Wait, why is that not in the zone? Wait, why? Why is that different? I don't know why that's different. Well, I guess they're they're not perfectly aligned, huh? Oh yeah, they're not aligned. That's okay. And watch the fertility rate. Uh, some are negative, some are positive. If you do not match the two fields, you will start to fail. So then pass. And so so bean and peas, clover are plus. Most are things are negative. Okay. So now we got some berries over here. This guy is on that, right? Yeah, he should be able to pick up some berries there. Let me shift this over a little bit. So we include that over there. And I feel like I need to get another gatherer over here for this. That way I don't have to constantly shift these ovals. Yeah, you know what, I'll do that. Let me, let me add another gatherer. I need to put a gate here too, don't I? Is that... Is that blocking it or no? This berry bush is like right there. It's a large berry bush. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can just do a road along this path here. This. Well, no, I don't need to worry about that. I guess I could just turn this into a gate right here. Throw this one into a gate. You deconstruct this. And add the gate right here. And that way they can. And get like another forger. Forger, right? To hang out right here. And then we'll do the. We'll do this out this direction. For now. I guess it's fine. We'll leave it. And that should help us get a little bit more food. Alright, so you... What, what's the radius on this one? Okay, yeah. That's within our circle, so we're good. So hopefully all the apples and pear trees and peach trees pay out and we'll be fine we're slowly getting there we're trying to hit a thousand two hundred gold so I can upgrade this the desirability here is off a little bit desirability right here might actually be let's see here if I can get another House here, it might actually work. I don't know if the desirability right there is going to be enough. We'll see. If not, I'll just fill up this area here with, with stuff to make it desirable. This is off, right? This, these two are off. I mean, I could stick in stuff along here. Like a garden or something in the back here. Or one over here, maybe. And that should help increase this and this. Let's find out. A large park? Small park. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to spend that much money, though. There we go. This one. This is not bad for the price.
Right, right here, actually. Increases one, right? Two. Increases two. So let me stick that there, then. That's fine. And we'll stick a little road. Let's take a road through this. That's not going to kill my bush, right? I'm trying to avoid killing that bush. I don't think it's going to kill that bush. We'll see. I don't want to clear the bush, is what I'm saying. So we'll see how that works out. That should increase the, the desirability for the homestead increase. Okay, I need clothes. Jesus. Weaver's shop. Work rate is really slow. It has not produced anything. Oh my goodness. That's because we haven't had any flax in a while. Oh, okay. Let me remove this. I've been doing this wrong. Yeah, hopefully that works. Well, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll leave this. I'll just put cabbages or something. There we go. That might that might be okay. Impending blizzard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, that's that's kind of worrisome, right? You should probably harvest some of these. So we want to harvest. That one's not fully grown yet. I'll, I'll wait, I guess, on that one. What's this one? Seven? Yeah, I'll harvest this. For some reason, that, okay, here we go. This one, right? Let's harvest that one. So we'll let, okay, this one you can probably harvest, right? No. That's four. I need more wood. And there's a blizzard coming. I mean, I have nine. I can last for nine months, but I might lose four over that time frame. What about this one? That's seven, right? That's hard as this one. That's seven as well. The fire thing is kind of worrisome. I'm going to increase another worker for fire. I don't have any wood, though. That's the problem. I guess I'll turn this down. I don't need a saw maker. Or planks. I don't need planks right now. Yeah, firewood's low. Uh-oh, come on. This one, did I harvest this one? I don't know if I clicked on this one for harvest. Where's my mouse? For some reason my mouse disappeared. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's nothing. How about this one? No, I already targeted that one. Oh no! Shit. <laughs> the firewood's killing me. New villagers born? No, we don't need new villagers. 
firewood's a problem. Blizzard just went away. Huh. That was pretty quick. Harvest resource. Harvest resource. Harvest resource. How's this one? Harvest resource. Harvest resource. Come on. You can't there no, it's only got four. I want to do it when it's like seven. It makes more sense that way. To maximize my yield. No, that's not it. How about this one? No, that's already targeted. Nope, that's already targeted. Nope. Okay. How about this one? Harvest resource. How about this one? No. No. I should look beyond the fence too, but none of the the areas beyond the fence doesn't look like or anything. Okay. So we're just gonna wait on the firewood, I guess. Or the, yeah, we just have to wait for the firewood. We targeted a few of them already for harvesting. I guess everybody is a woodcutter, huh? Automa everyone's an automatic woodcutter. I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm used to the games where you have like a lumber guy and then you have a forester guy. But you know, it's okay. Everyone's a. Everyone is a woodcutter. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got a little bit more wood now. It should be it should be okay. How's this be doing? No. I think I just need more oh, wow, look at how much food I have. This is crazy. I think what I should do is just add more more apple trees and peach trees or whatever the hell and then uh and then call them for for wood but look look how much wood i just got so i think i'm, I'm gonna be okay let's see the fertility rate here So right here is actually a really good spot to also grow some trees. And this one right, this corner right here is also a very good spot to grow some trees. That corner right there. Okay, so this spot right here, let me first take care of that. I think it's this guy, right? No, it's this guy. No? Where's the... No, it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. No? What am I... Am I missing something? No, right? Food production. I think it's under food production. Here we go. So I'm gonna probably place it somewhere near here. Or actually, I don't need to be on that, right? Me I don't need to be on it. I'm gonna move that there. Well, that area is really good, so I don't know if I want to mess with that area.
Hmm. I guess I'll stick it right here, that's fine. Or no. Hmm. The play pit's right there. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. Um, like this. So once this is done, I'll start planting trees all over here. Like all over here. Let's take this fertility away. Okay, so we have we have eight eighty four. Firewood should be kicking in. We're not not worried about that. Smallpox? Okay, how do I fix the smallpox problem? Okay, yeah, it's just it's a matter of having soap. I have soap though, right? I have soap. Oh wait, R key, right? R key is resource. I guess I don't have soap. Huh, I don't have any soap. Okay, where's my soap maker? What, what have I been missing? I guess it's the Talon or something. Tallow. Tallow is what I've been missing. This. No, that doesn't do anything for me. New village is born? Yeah, that's great. New year? Yeah, that's great. And this guy right here? Let me change this. To be over here. This right here is fine, but whatever. No, that's fine. That's fine too. Okay. What about you? I'm still on the outside. Let me change this a little bit to be on the inside. Okay. I mean, there's more green on this side. Let me re reroute this guy a little bit. I guess I'll wait until this is done, and then we'll switch it over. All right, another year. I got 741 tax or gold. I guess it's not bad. Wow, that's a lot of water in there. Huh? I was thinking of relocating that just to. So so I can get this road connected, but the fact that it's got that much water there, I don't know if I should remove it. Just to make this connect. You know what, I guess I can just do a road like this, right? For now. Won't connect to that. Oops, shit. Yeah, but that will cut through the bushes. Oh, there we go. I think that'll work. That should work. Hopefully that doesn't remove my, my berry bush. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't remove the berry bush. I mean, it kind of works around it. I don't know. It, it cuts diagonally, so at the corner of it, I think we should be fine. Yeah, I just don't. I, oh, it did remove the berry bush. Oh, damn it! <laughs> that kind of sucks. There goes my food source. Yep, it did remove my berry bush. Alright, 
Well, I'm, I'm going to use the bathroom here, so BRB.
Okay, back. Let's take a look here. Oh, hey, we got somebody to trade with. Oh, and he wants pottery, too. Interesting. Okay, he's not selling anything I really want. So I get, okay, let me see if I can transfer some of those pottery. Get some of that to him. Because if I can sell some of that, I mean, that would be great. Far above the average price, right? So he's willing to pay a lot, is my understanding. And then everyone's unhappy because what? They're not getting entertainment. They actually have luxury. It's like 100% luxury. So they need clothes and they need entertainment. Oh, they need beer. Oh, no, no, your villagers are not concerned about this yet. Okay. If I can sell all this to them, that would be great. Sell so, iron. Um, wait, did I sell it? Well, I sold whatever I could. Twenty-three raiders sighted. Oh shit! Oh shit! Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from the north side, huh? Yeah, they're coming from the north side. All right. Let me drag all my guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go greet them. Say hello. Oh, they just killed one of my. They killed my fisherman. There's some on the north side too. Oh, they just broke in. Oh, this guy's. Oh, these guys just broke in too. Come on, everybody, come here. Gather around, gather around. Okay, these guys can probably intercept these guys here. I feel like we're gonna lose people though. Come on, fight that one there. Oh my goodness. Villagers! Fight! Oh my god, these guys here just slaughtered all my villagers. Stop chasing that one guy. Looks like a large chunk of my villagers died to that one. Oh no! I'm getting slaughtered! Oh my god, half my population got destroyed. Oh, damn it. I kind of want to kill these guys off. Oh, they're just running away. Shit. There's no way to... Stop them, huh? Shit. All right. Well, I lost a good chunk of my villagers. <laughs> so, I don't think food is going to be an issue anymore. Well, shit. Did they steal gold? I think they did steal some gold. Because I think I had like 800 something. Uh, yeah, I think they stole some gold. Well, shit. Wagon. Hmm, I lost a good chunk of my workers. Yep. All right, okay, so that one, I guess I can add another guy. Fill that one in. Fill that one in. Fill that one in. You probably don't need to fill that one. 
kill that one. I'm sure hang on. Plus one, right? There we go. Shit, we lost like a large chunk of our population. Is there an option to rebuild this? Rebuild. Rebuild. Two villagers got cured. Oh, my happiness level dropped significantly. Why are they unhappy? Clothes. Okay, it's probably clothes. I have no clothes. Okay, what died? What crop? What crop got removed? I don't know what this arrow means. Late harvest. Oh, it's probably because I I didn't uh, I didn't have a farmer in there. Like, damn, how many people died? A shit ton died. I think my graveyard is going to get filled up fast. I might need to expand the graveyard. Can I expand this? No. Crops lost, yeah, rot, uh, damn it. He died for moon, yeah. Yeah, five villagers here, yeah. Well, on the bright side, I have a ton of food. So I'm not worried about that. I need to figure out how to get get uh, better equipment. Like an iron thingy. I need like a an iron deposit so I can get that blacksmith thing running. I don't even know if the planes map has a iron deposit. So I pick planes. I can't place anything there. Alright, well. I mean, this is a hill right here. Maybe there's something here. I need an iron deposit if I'm going to be able to make some weapons. Alright, I think I can. Coal mine, I need a coal mine too. I'm guessing a coal mine's needed to make the weapons. Wait. No. Defense now can't be defense. This one right here, armory. I need armory, and to get that it requires iron. I can build an armory, but I need iron. I don't. I don't think I need. Is there? I don't think it. Uh, I don't think there's an in-between, right? I think it just produces iron and I'm set, right? Unless I'm supposed to like produce, convert iron ores to, to iron bars. I'm looking for something that's in-between, if there's an in-between. I think you just get this and boom, you get this. Yeah, I don't think there's a...
Yeah, it's an automatic thing. There's no iron ores, I don't think. No, there is iron ores. Never mind. There is iron ore. So. Can place some gold deposit to harvest gold ores. That's, is there a smelter then? There's got to be a smelter. There has to be a smelter then. Where's the smelter? Food production? It can't be food production. It's tier T. Oh! T3. Okay. Alright, so. Oh. Oh. Foundry. Okay. So it's pointless to make this here. Why would that why would that be there if I like need iron bars? Like this is ridiculous. Why well, would have iron bar this should not be here. It should actually be on this bar here. I guess I mean you could technically buy iron bars and still produce this. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of lopsided. Alright, so I lost a shit ton of money, didn't I? Oh, 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 I'm going negative. Oh, that's because I don't have enough people to tax. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. That's probably why I'm negative. There's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not taxing enough. All right, shit. That, that kind of sucks. What's this do? I need. Oh, I need somebody to fill this up. Well, in the mountain map, I think the strat is to mine the iron because there's so much and sell it to the trader for food. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to like buy iron bars because there's no reason. I can't get, well, this is the edge of the map. This is the edge of the map. So this might not, I might not even need that foundry if I can't, uh, if I can't mine anything. And I think the rest of the, the rest of the game re re relies on me buying iron bars or iron ores there's gotta be something wrong well so far I, I haven't seen any iron ore deposits it's a huge map. Did I, did I pick huge or did I pick medium? I think I might have left it on medium. I forgot what my... I need to go back and watch the beginning of the stream if I selected medium or large. I, I talked about wanting to do large, but I don't think I selected large. So I don't know. I need to go back and watch the beginning of the VOD. If anyone wants to like skip back and or let me know. It's like the first first like two or three minutes of the stream or five minutes of the stream where I, I created the map. I can't tell if this map is large or medium is, is what I'm saying. Okay, so I think I'm back here. That's probably because my market got yeah, there wasn't a market worker. That's probably why I was net negative. Yeah, see, no market taxes, that's why. Well, it was because I didn't have a guy working there. What is the heat, right? That's heat tolerant, slightly heat tolerant. So I don't know, we'll see. What's this one? Okay, 44 is not terribly bad. 
34 loss. Okay, so we're gonna do some pear trees, I guess. Let's do some peach trees in, the, in addition to that. And that probably would just grow. Actually, hang on. This one I don't. I can't do that. I'm just going to glue the roads all the way out this way. And then we're gonna do more of the, the planting here. Oops. I don't wanna break the berry the berry bush there. So I guess I'll throw in a couple more like apples here. Yeah. The idea is I just want a bunch of bunch of trees in case I need to start chopping them all down. I think gr the trees just kind of grow randomly by themselves. Pretty sure they just kind of regrow by themselves. All right, so I'm kind of building up money again. I just need my population to re regrow. All right, I think I need it get like a tower set up. At least a defense tower. These edges here. I think one over here somewhere, right? And then I need to go from here to this. The tower right here. Oh, I should probably put a tower over here, too. Because we'll get some more raids from the edges of the map. And, like, maybe, like, one over here. I kind of have one already here, so that should be fine. And maybe, like, one over here in this corner. Works out, I guess. So, 14 food. My root cellar is fine, right? So, why am I getting nine spoilage? I don't know. It's probably because I, I'm not consuming them fast enough. I think that's what it is. I'm not consuming them fast enough.
Okay, I can speed it this up a little bit now, right? Yeah. So I can't upgrade yet. Oh, I got my population also has to reach 125. I need one 1,200 gold. Oh, these towers also cost 10 gold too. Hmm. That's okay. I kind of do need the towers though, just in case we get more raiders. I think that's my only defense right now is just the towers. food anymore. For some reason I have tons of wood. I guess that's not a bad thing. Tree maturity. Just gotta wait for all the trees and finish growing. I think once all my fruit trees fully grow, I'll have a shit ton of food. Village is stricken with typhoid, no. Yearly tax collected, yeah, whatever. Not worried about that. Yeah, I'm not worried about food right now. Yeah, I'm like short of two. It's good thing I have a second graveyard there. I think the only other thing I need to worry about is what? The clothes? Yeah, clothes is still off. Well, 51% in clothing. If I produce estimated yield, right? Flocks. Have I produced enough? Okay, it did produce some last year. I just don't have enough of it. Let me see if I can add the flocks. Flocks into my rotation. Yeah, let me see if I can add this flax into my rotation. I guess I'll take the beans out. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Firewood's low? Yeah. Alright, I'll add a guy. Alright, we should, should be fine. We got nine months. I think people are scouting now, right? They don't have any iron deposits. Wait, what is that? I have a coal deposit right here, I think. Yeah, coal deposit. Just no iron deposit. Foot wound. You would think there would be iron along here, right? You would think there'd be iron along here. Once I finish exploring the rest of the map, there could be iron over here somewhere. Wow, it keeps on going this way. This map is huge. If this is medium, this is pretty pretty big for a medium. I can't imagine how 
large. If I if I had selected medium, this map is pretty huge for medium. Wait, this is iron, right? No, that's coal. Feeling worse? Somebody's sick. Alright, I'm not too worried about that. Throw this all. Yes, let's accept them. We need new people. Wait, is this iron? No, it's fish. I'm trying to find some iron here. Is this iron? No. It's not iron. It's kind of hard to, to find stuff around here. I wish there was like a locator. That's well, coal. I don't know what's I mean. That's a lot of coal. It's really far away from my camp too, huh? I mean, I can I can put like a road to here to there, and then work, put a temporary. Press F four. Oh, okay. What is this? F4. It's 124. Okay, I don't see any... I don't see anything here. Predator sighted? Where? Oh, they're just... Okay, that's just because they're wandering around. Okay, that's coal. Yeah, I don't see any other iron. That's also coal right there, 120. I think what I could also do is try to do that temporary um, temporary housing and try to get some coal. I'm not quite sure what I need, what I can do with the coal though. I think it's only it's only used for for the smithy. I don't think coal is a substitution for firewood. What is this? A little bush, okay. That's clay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any iron on this map. <laughs> or at least none that I've found. Somebody's keep keep getting sick here. It's probably because they're wandering around exploring without proper shoes. Okay. Well let's where's the Where's the command for centering on the Where's that thing that was telling me where the There's a thing earlier that's like center on. There we go. Move camera. Center on the village is what? There's supposed to be like a button that centers on the village. I forgot what that is. Instead of having me to scroll around all over the screen looking for my village, I think there's supposed to be like a hotkey that jumps back to the middle. Oh well, whatever. Let me slow this down. Okay, what's this? Missing melee weapon. Do I need a melee weapon? Do I need a melee weapon? I sold all my melee weapons.
Okay. I mean, as long as I have arrows, we're good. Hide coat. Yeah, I probably will have to. Well, I sold my melee weapons. I don't. I, mean, I, I didn't kill like very many, many raiders because I think the reason I got, I got weapons last time was because I killed a bunch of raiders. All right, so we're we're still good on food. I still I need wood though. I need more wood. Wait, I'm trying to click click on this. There we are. Harvest resource. I'm trying to hunt for all the, the sevens. Come on. Why are you, why are you being so difficult? F4. Yeah, F4 doesn't doesn't include the trees. Hang on. What's my other overlay? F3? No, F3 is the people. What's F2? What's F2? Okay, F2 is the building. F3 is the people, and F4 is the resources. That does not include the trees. So I'd have to, like, manually target these trees somehow. I'm only trying to get the ones that's, that's seven or high, or seven or higher, right? Because otherwise, I'm not maxi maximizing their their growth. Okay, I see what you're saying. If I get a work camp. So let me do that, actually. A good call. So is there a work camp? Where's the work camp? I think it's resources, right? Where's the work camp? Shit, where's the work camp? Okay, here we go. Work camp. Where, where do I want to sit this work camp? It doesn't even really matter, right? But I, I can always re. I can always move the. Uh, the circle around. So we need to stick it there. We can always move the circle around. Okay, that's good to know. Work camp automatically removes trees seven or higher. Okay, that one's complaining about the sword. Maybe I shouldn't have sold my swords. Well, either that or I just need to kill a bunch of raiders to get swords. So that could work too. So now I'm just waiting on on my uh, trader to come by. See if I can get rid of crap. And then let's take a look here. All right, so no, yeah, no iron deposits there. 
There are still no iron deposits. Alright, this map does not have any iron deposits, I don't think. Planes, yeah, I, I picked planes. I can't imagine, you know, I don't think... Oh, here's... Oh, here we go. Iron deposit, like, right here. I found some. Wow, that's all really far out, too. Okay, so I need a temporary shop. Or a temporary camp. How far is that from my base? Oof, that's really far out. Okay, so let's see here. If I do an iron... Iron deposit, like, right here. Wait, what, why is it saying no iron? No, oh, that's coal. Wait, where's the iron deposit? Oh, over here. Here we go. I get, I get iron. That's good, right? Right here is good. And I need a, uh, a temporary housing. Temporary shelter that can be stocked with food and supplies that our workers are far from their residence to work longer before returning home. So let's stick this here. We're gonna go... I'm just gonna drag this back to my village. Somehow. Okay, that's not working out. I thought it would auto do it for me, but. Where's my base? really far out. Hopefully that will work. <laughs> Hopefully that's going to work. I don't know if I need a well here or not. That's the other thing. And I'm probably going to need also the coal thingy too. Right here. So we'll see how that plays out. That's really, really far out. But it's limited, though. There's only, like, what, 120? So eventually... Eventually I'll get rid of all the 107 and then 120. So it shouldn't take too long. I'm guessing. It's temporary, right? Hopefully we don't get raided in that corner. Alright, so... We just need, what, five more? Four more people? To get to 125? And then we need the 1,200. So that goes up to like 400. 400 more gold, roughly. Alright, let's speed this up. Because there's nothing else for me to do. Predator sighting? Where are you at? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, look, how, look at everyone running back to the village. Oh, come on. Stop running. We could have just killed that guy easily. Jesus. Or either that or they're just running home to eat. That could be it, too. They could just be running home to eat. Yeah.
Okay. That's what's our happiness level. I mean, they're not sad. It's mediocre. Yeah, it's just kind of mediocre right now. What's this other button right here? Birth rate. Oh, okay, they're just... I think the only reason why they're sad is because... The lack of entertainment. I mean, my cloth. I mean... Clothing is fulfilled. For the most part. Well, for the most part. Rate is really bad though. There's two in storage. Why are they not producing any? Why are they just idle? Oh, it requires five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. We only have two. That guy's idle. Alright, so the bear thing that was. I don't know why it says boar sighted there and he's not. He still has not found anything. Okay, how's this coming along? It's almost there. It needs planks and it just needs wood. So once we drain those, then we should be good. All right, do we have any more iron somewhere else? Like, uh, let me see here. Let me look around a little bit more here. I don't think there's any more iron. That's coal over there. Those are berries. I think that's gold, right, or no? Oh yeah, we do have gold in this map. Oh, there's iron right here too. Nice, nice. Explore this a little bit more. All right, so gold and iron is kind of right there. So nothing along this. Yeah, it's nothing along this. You can't place anything down. I think they've, res they've explored everything they can there. I don't see anything else over here. Wait, what's this? That's coal. Okay, so I've already I've already looked at everything along this corner here, or this side of the mountain. All right, so we did find another iron deposit, and we also found a gold deposit, which is not bad. Mm. Okay, so there might be more this direction, though. I'm not going to roll that out. There might be more along here. Wow, there's a huge gap here, huh? Wow, there's like a lot, a lot of unexplored area here. Okay, so there, there could be potentially stuff in there. So we'll see. One thing at a time. Let's milk this one first. We just need to milk this deposit. One, there should be one around this area here. 
This guy hasn't found anything for a while. So why are you not... I mean, it says there's one around here. Consider moving the hunting ground to a new location? Well, there's one boar sighted right here, but I don't know what's going on with this. Boar compass. I don't know what this does. Maybe that's bugged. I mean, it's, it says there's one sided there, but it hasn't. It has not removed that for some time now. Oh, did he? Did my guy die? Oh, my guy just died. Jesus. I think he died while scouting. Yeah. Fractured bone and I don't think I'm worried about food yet. Okay, so why why are you Okay, that's weak. Is it the frost? How's it frost? Which one is this? This is a leak, right? It should be immune to frost, so I don't know how that was the case. That's that's a that's one, so it's not that big deal. What about you? I think they're both the same on the same timeline. No, they're not on the same time. This one. Which one was that? Oh, that's really bad. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't like that on frost. Heat tolerant. Okay, so what I should have done was let me remove this. Let me remove let me move this over. No, I'll put that there. Yeah. Maybe that'll be better. Okay. And then what are you? 989? What are you? Why are you? Frost resistant? How about you? It's frost resistant. I, I don't know why that died. <laughs> what does this say? Failed to begin planting? I don't know what that is. Increase this a little bit. Like that. That's right on the nose. That's right on the nose as well. Okay. So we're just sitting around waiting for money? Predator sighted again? See, there's the bear right there. This guy should be going after this. There we go. I'm gonna move this over this direction. Maybe he'll remove the the bear. Is this bear giving me anything or no? I can't click on it. It says coccus right there. Carcass. So. Forger shack. Oh. Oh. Something like this. I shouldn't have moved that guy. <laughs> we, should, we should be fine like that. It's fine, we'll leave it like that. 
Alright, so we have enough. We've completed that requirement. We just need the the gold. Well, that's gonna take a long time. I need to max out on the food or the clothing. I don't know if I should add. I don't know if that was, that was a good idea. I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> and we're gonna add in this. See if that helps. So we can actually make more clothes. According to this, I have like a ton of materials. I guess I just need to add another worker. Maybe that, that might help. Okay. That should help a little bit with the clothes situation. Yeah, it's going up a little bit now. And uh, the shoes, I think the, I think there's a shoe shop over here, right? Or no. There's a shoe shop somewhere over here. I think it's this one, right? Oh! I didn't have anyone in the shoe shop before. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why. Does this rot? I don't know if this rots. Pelts. I don't know if pelts rot. Okay. Alright, let's remove that. Why, why is this not... Storage is empty. There should be a reason why. Can I increase the priority on this or no? Uh -huh. Do I, let's see here, do I have enough laborers to move stuff around? I have a shit ton of laborers. <laughs> yeah, I have a shit ton of those. Okay. I guess I can increase the farmers. I don't know what the pelican thing is. There. I think that should be good. I think everybody else is just delivering stuff, right? this little path in right here. Do we have a wagon thingy? I think it, there should be like a wagon thingy. Do I not have a wagon person? I do have a wagon person. Driving wagon? Okay, let me add another wagon there. That should help a little bit. Okay, so these guys right here is having some fishing problems. That guy is not having fishing problems, right? Mm, so that's fine. We'll leave it like that. We do have a lot of wood now, all of a sudden. Which is great. So how's our shoes situation? I can't tell. 
No, it hasn't changed yet. I think I think the the thing did, did not get delivered. It needs it needs to deliver. Okay, okay. So it did produce two. We just there's just not enough pelts to go around. Alright, so I guess I can increase one here. And get more planks going. Okay, so we're just waiting also for these trees to grow. Cool. How's this coming along? 86? Okay. But yeah, I'm just increasing my guys. Stuff is going along. Why are they not? Why are they just not? Unfilled. Hmm. I think I might need to remove two, because this only takes house to four. I don't know if this guy is just going to be running back or not. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm starting to reach back to my 144 cap again. Alright, so I'm waiting for the trader to come by. And I'm at 720. I'm still very... Oh, I'm at a negative 17. Ooh, that's terribly bad. I'm losing gold over time. Why am I losing gold over time? Oh, it's probably because of the... Uh, of the gold mines. Or the uh, the iron mines. Uh, I think to manage this... I think this requires an upkeep. Or no, this requires an upkeep. Doesn't it? I don't, no, apparently it's not requiring upkeep. What? What is my... Can I click on this? Oh, man. I wish I knew what the... Um, I wish I'd, I what the, the actual service says. That's draining me right now. What is draining my my gold my gold supply right now? It says services. Soldier training. Oh. Okay, let me remove this. That's probably what it is. I think that's what it is. It's causing my my upkeep problem. I'll leave that one in the corner. Soldier training minus fifty eight. I think that's what it is. Oh wait, maybe, maybe the tower itself. Oh, the tower itself is causing it. Shit. All right, let me remove this then. Now I know what it is. That's eight coins off. Okay. Hmm. I understand now. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna remove this one. Then. That's why. 
regardless of whether somebody's in there or not, it's it still costs me eight gold monthly. Yeah. I think what I need to do is just put a to one tower here for the two of these. Okay. I think I know what what's draining me now. It's the it's this it's the super towers. With eight times eight is sixteen. So I'm still not a net net positive. I need to probably get more people. Oh no. Wait, hang on. What's my radiance? I don't know if I can support anyone in that corner. Oh, the bush, the bush got removed. Alright, well... What is in that radius? I guess I can try to remove... Relocate this? Let's be right here. And then we're gonna... I'm gonna go like this. Hang on. Okay. No, shit. Let me remove this. I'm just straighten this road out. Like that. And just put another building here. Hopefully that works. Desirability, right? Okay, that used to be 30%, I think. I think that went down. But that should go up. I don't know, we'll see. That should go up because I have this here. Yeah, I could stick another one like right here. Let's see here. Decorations? What is this? Small park? Medium garden. Desirability. Yeah, there we go. That should. That should also now go up once I finish this. Yeah, this one and this one should go up once this is done. Okay. Anything else along here? I mean, yeah, there's this area here that I could probably work on increasing that. I guess I could like stick a park right here, maybe. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Though. I'm okay with the current count that I have. So more people should mean more, more taxes. Wait, why do I have minus forty-eight still? What's what is? I think it's workers, right? Guards. What says? Why does it still say like soldier training minus forty eight? I've already removed the towers, so we got one tower, two towers. Oh, wait, this tower's gone, right? Oh no, wait, one tower, two tower, three tower. Four tower, four times eight. No, four times. Four times eight is thirty-two. 
So technically, soldier training should say minus 32. I don't know why that is still saying minus 48. Yeah, I don't know why it says minus 48. Because I've only got four towers, right? Two in the back over here. And then one here and one there. One to the left and one to the bottom. So I don't know what that minus 48 means. Or is that associated to? Because according to this, monthly cost is eight. Unless this counts as services. So where am I getting the 48 soldier training from? Because I don't have any soldiers. If I if you click on this. Right, I don't have soldiers. Village profession. Come on, change that. Yeah, so you don't have any soldiers. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know where that's coming from. And, and the month has gone by already, and I've already taken out my tower, so that minus 48 should go away, which has not gone away. One time refund? I get a refund of 10? The recurring soldier training is minus 48. Why am I getting minus 48? This guy's not costing me anything, is he? He's a guard. Let me take it. Make me take that away and see if that makes a difference. Let me take this one away too. See if that makes a difference. Alright. There's no one in that tower. Alright, so I just gotta wait till the next month to pass to see what's going on with that. And soldier training is... I don't know if that's bugged or not. Let me see if I can reload. Save and reload. I wonder if that is... That is a bug item. Or a bug, bug graphics display. Yeah. Soldier training. I just need to know what what that itemized list is. Oh come on. Okay, confirm. Raidersville. Yeah, confirm. Now, if that does get fixed, then yeah, it's probably just a simple save and reload. Similar to that that message bug that I had earlier. Come on. Come on. Crude weapons sold by merchants are better than nothing when you're starting out. Okay, thanks for that tip. Maybe I should buy some crude weapons. That might help against the uh, thing. Now it's still showing minus 48, so I don't know what the hell that's about. But suddenly you have like all these waste now showing up on the screen. Wait, why can't I move my... I can't move anything. I can't move. There we go. 
Oh, there we go. Finally, it can move. That's weird. This building is currently not providing any entertainment. How do I provide entertainment? For some reason, that icon was not there before the... And this was not there either. Residents are complaining of incident to build a compost yard to help clean up the waste. I have a compost yard. Oh, I need more. Jesus. Okay, I need more compost yards. Rat catcher. The resources? Compost yard, okay. Wow, it's going to cost me four a month. Uh, they're not going to be happy either. I need to stick this somewhere over here. I don't want this as an input, right? Yeah. Sure, let's go to that one right there. Okay. Go this way. Now, why? Why is this? What can I do to get rid of all this compost? What do I do with that? It says ready, but I, I don't know what I do with it. I don't know what I do with this. I don't know if that just goes into the fertilizer or not. Rockiness is... The building's on fire. Okay, well, there's a well right there, so I'm not worried about that. Fertilizer, what's it say? Remove, decrease this down a little bit, I guess. Okay, so, oh look, okay, so I'm at plus two now. The soldier training went down to 32. Okay, that, I think, so 32 matches up with eight times, eight times four. Right? 8 times 4. So that does match up. I have, I have 4 towers. Alright, I guess I'll destroy this. I need to get a, a positive. So technically, if that tower goes away, it should be like, what, 8 times 3? Which is 24. Yeah, 8 times 3 is 24. I need other ways to make more money. Alright, so let's see here. How, what, what, can, what can I do with a beer? Can I produce beer? Bakery is no. Flowers. Barn? No. Oh, no. I how do I produce beer? Smokehouse, forger, hunting cabin. No, see, barn is. If I had a cow. Requires one of those. I should still build a barn, anyways. Just in case, because if I kill something, or if I get like a, I can buy a cow off of one of the traders. Now I don't know where the how to produce beer. Resources, maybe resources. Okay, that's honey. I can pottery. Sand, no. Weave, no. Candles. I don't know what candles is for. 
Yeah, I don't know what the candle is for, but... Beer. Oh, it's tier three. And it requires honey. Okay, at least I know what honey is used for. So I don't have... I don't, I don't need to rush making honey in it. Okay. Now what's this basket for? That's the other question. What can basket do? Increase the efficiency of your village by allowing them to carry more. Oh! Okay, I should make baskets then. Now what, what is the requirement for basket? What is this? It requires something. I don't know what that requirement is. What that icon is. Let me see what that icon is. I think it's just hay, right? Willow. Oh, it requires willow. Uh, so I need willow to make baskets. So I saw some willow over here. Like here, right? So if I harvest this, I can get basket. Right here. Willow bush. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so I need to get this guy to go out there to harvest the willows. There we go. So now I should be able to get basket, and then my guys should be able to carry more faster. Right, and those are greenery stuff. Greens. What's going on with us? We should be collecting greens. I don't know why they haven't been collecting greens. Yeah, this guy is collecting the greens over here. I really need to move it onto this side because there's more on this side. right here. That's the hunting thing. That's the willow guy, okay. And then you. Yeah, you're the herbs and the greens there. Okay, so we're... Our food situation is getting bad again. <laughs> so... That's because we maxed out at 48. Oh my god! We have rats too! Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness, I gotta get a rat catcher now. What's a rat catcher? Monthly cost is 12? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, where do I want to see this rat catcher? Oh, it's it's got a radius too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to stick it right in the middle of this whole thing. Well, actually, no. I can always move the uh, the arrow, right? I think I can move the... Yeah, let me build that, and then I can move the, um, the circle however I want. Okay, well... It cost me 12 a month to maintain the Rat Catcher's building. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna get come up with enough money for that. I can't even upgrade this yet. Jesus Christ. So my problem is trying to make more money. The rat catcher is gonna give me a negative ten. That means I have to get rid of more of the soldier towers. Right, I think I have to get rid of the soldier sound. Shit. Yeah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, wait, wait, we should be, we, okay. 
I have three towers, so three times three times eight is twenty-four. That means I should be positive by ten. I will have exactly enough for everything. So I'll be net zero. I guess if I take out one of these towers, I'll be I'll be positive eight. I'm wondering if it's because I don't know what the rat catcher will do for me. Like, do I make money if if I clear all this out? Will the rat catcher produce anything for me? It's monthly cost. It doesn't produce anything for me. I guess it just makes people happy. Wait, this one right here. Compost. Okay, and then this one right here. I've not produced any money. I've not produced any beer. What's for the pub input? Is there an input for the pub or no? No, it, doesn't, it, just, it just consumes the beer. Okay. Jesus Christ, the healer's thing is the one that's draining me the most money right now. How do I pause this thing from... This is the biggest drain right now, is the 30, the 30 coins per month. I'm starting to feel like selling snake oil. This guy's terrible. Let me get rid of him. He's selling snake oil. That was a shady healer. Oh, wait, here we go. What can I sell here? Oh, man, I should transfer more of this over there. Burn. Building being attacked. Who's attacking my building? Who's attacking my building? Oh, shit. Who's attacking my building? It's just one guy, right? I think it's just one guy. Oh, shit. There's a whole army coming at me. Oh, shit. This is really bad. All right, rally. Get over here. The wall's been breached, guys. Come on, everybody, go attack him. Go, you can do it, you can do it. Wait, is it F2? What is it? Hotkey. There we go. Come on. We need more people. We need more people. Rally here. Kill that guy over there. Oh no! All my people died. Oh shit! Everyone died. Oh my god, they're going after my gold. No! What is this? Oh no.
I think they're trying to get my gold. Oh, my tower is down. Oh, no. My market income is bad. Oh, I got raided really hard. Oh, no. I think this is the end of me here. I think this is the end of me here. And I think they just took a bunch of gold. Oh, shit. I think a bunch of villagers just are wounded, right? Oh, no. Yeah, they're not dead yet, but they're wounded, right? I got like 14 guys wounded on the floor here. These little guys are carting out to, to heal them. Shit. Well, shit. I think I should have made a barracks, but I don't know if that was... If a barracks would have helped me or not. Because I think uh, I still need the, to get, like, the, um, I don't know if a barracks would have helped me or not. Alright, I guess I can turn this off. Well, that kind of stinks. I didn't know about this thing. This is the first time I've actually used that belt option. There we go. Now it should solve my rat problem. Okay, oh yeah. Cannot be traded without traders present. Oh. I need to add a trader. There we go. Let me sell all this. What else can I sell? Okay, I need to transfer more of this over. Get rid of all that if I can. Yeah, I was raided. I lost 10 gold. That's not terribly bad. I lost pottery, which is not bad. That's eh, that's a lot of pottery I could have that I could be selling. So that's kind of bad. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I actually lost a lot of people. I probably should have just let them raid me. I I think that might have been better. Because I lost a lot of people. I'm trying to defend that last spot. It kind of sucks. Wait, large amounts of crops have rotted. Do you wish to save the game and log information for debug purposes? Large amounts? Sure. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. The game says I lost a large amount and they, they're trying to track whether uh, that's a bug or not. Just go repopulate all of these people. Mm. I don't know what that night soil thing is. Oh, I don't have enough workers. Well, shit. I need a smoker, too. I don't know what this is. 
Oh, well, that's probably the wagon guy. Um. Shit. What do I need more of? Smoker, right? I need the smoker. Forger? I guess I can go down one. More of the, the tree map, tree guy. I have no farmers. I think I got minus one is the, the wounded people. I think that's what it is, the wounded guy. Oh, let's subtract miners. I don't need that many miners. What does this do? I don't know. What, oh, that's pro, that's the shoemaker. Tanner? I guess I'll, I'll have a weaver. I, I need a trader. Oh, the trader went away. What is this? This room has has room for more workers. Okay, yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay. Wow. We lost a good large chunk of our population. Well, that kind of sucks. Is this still cost me anything? No, right? Or, sorry, no. Does this still cost me anything? I think that is still costing me eight gold a month. That's okay. Or at least we're net positive still, right? Yeah. So I need to do something about the the, the services. Like we went up. Oh yeah, it's probably because of this. The compost thing. Actually, I probably don't need this. Because it's already filled. I need a fisherman's hut. To get some fish, right? No. I don't know if that's what I need or not. No, I need. I still need people delivering stuff, right? I think. I need deliverers. Yeah, I only have like three laborers. Let me go down with one. Forager. Four, yeah. What does this mean? This one. What is this one? What is this guy? What is this guy? Oh, he's the guy that works in the, in the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the market guy. Look at that, that one right there. Okay. Alright, this guy's out of stone. Oh, I don't even know why I have, I have too many of these. Let me get rid of all that. I have more stones than I need right now. Oh, let me get rid of the firewood too. Holy shit. So this is the firewood. I don't need that. Let me turn this off. I have like 947 firewood. Alright, so what else do I need more of? That's more smoker, right? Just make sure our food doesn't rot. Building attack again? Who's attacking me? Oh, it's probably the bear or whatever it is. Yeah, it's probably whoever. Uh... I don't need to rebuild that right now.
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this. That's not helping me right now. So I, want, I, I want to be able to make more money. This one might help me, but I, I don't want to rebuild it just yet. Rat catcher, what's going on with you? There we go. Okay. Where where is this happening? Where's this predator? I don't see this predator. I don't see the predator. Somebody's going around getting attacked. All right, well, that's that's fine. Okay. Do we have a weaver? I think or a basket maker thingy. Let's see here. Where's our basket maker? There we go. We want one basket maker. Soap maker, tannery, hunter, forger, fisherman, farmer, miner. I guess we can decrease the miner. Fletcher, I need a Fletcher. We need to make some arrows, bow and arrows. Let me subtract this. I don't need this. Clay. Okay, I definitely want to accept people. Okay, let me see if I can subtract the sand thing. Yeah, I don't need sand. There we go. And what about this? Over here. Okay, I do want one guy here. And there's one guy there. That's fine. We'll go with that. Where where is this predator? I don't see the predator. Unless they're talking about the rats. Oh, I do see the predator. Oh. There's that one bear here. Everyone. Go attack this bear. Oh, he's getting it. Oh no. Let me get this guy out. Run. Oh no. No. Hopefully there those were not any any important workers. Let's take a look here. Miner, soy no saw Sawyer, right? Trader? Okay, we do need a trader. I think I think the guy died that might have been a traitor. I think, I think that's it. All right. I could add another miner. Let's see here, what else can I add? What does this do? Oh, this is the cart guy, yeah, let's add that in there. Um pottery? No, I don't need two potteries. I don't need two tanners. Forger? Yeah, let's add more foragers for food. And let's add another farmer. Let's, add, let's ship the builder. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, what is this? Your villagers are grieving over loss of dead ones? Yeah, we need more soap thingy. We need entertainment. Oh, I don't have any luxury items. Alright, let's see if I can get more pottery going. There we go. Alright, so that should work. So we're all right. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna be okay now. We have 
plenty of food. It's just they're not happy because somebody died or a bunch of people died. I think it's just related to the to all those people that died. Yeah, I think I think it's because a bunch of people died. Uh which means I need to probably make a bigger grave. Well, the animals, let's see here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And how's this cop come along? All right, we just need to get rid of the poop. Yeah, we just need to get rid of the poop. So that should be okay. Okay, so they're not super depressed anymore. They're at they're at a decent happiness level. Right, so my other problem then is getting rid of the poop, rebuilding the walls. How's this coming along? Okay, I just need to rebuild the walls. So I don't know what to do about the raiders right now. Like I, I don't have enough money to go to tier three, and I don't have any means to like build the armor and weapons. Oh my god! Look at all this dead body here. Does the graveyard need anybody or no? I guess I just need more people to. To cart the dead. Is there anything here in the services right now? Yeah, there's nothing here that. I think it's just uh, the laborers basically carting the dead back and forth. Right now, oh my god, look at all the rats over here. Is it hot? There's all the rats swarming over here. I don't think this area is a good area to be walking around in. Okay, we're still we're getting new villagers. So that helps. I guess I'll add this. Unable to work, idling. What's this compost? I guess I'll take them away because it's not really doing anything. Monthly cost is four for the compost yard. Why? Why did it say it was monthly cost twelve? Oh, monthly cost is four. What was twelve then? Something was twelve. Something was twelve earlier. Can't remember what was twelve. Something was costing me twelve. Wait, rat catcher. Oh, the rat catcher is twelve. Jesus. Yeah, this, this is kind of, this is costing me. Well, there's nothing for him or her to, to work on. I wonder if I should just subtract this now. If there's no rats. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. 
Alright, so I have a lot of... Okay, I, mean, I guess I should upgrade the, the roads here. It makes more sense. And then this right here. I should probably just... Um, do a road from here to here. And maybe that might improve this here. Hmm. This road seems to be pretty active. Let me upgrade this road then. So this road right here, I'm going to upgrade. Everywhere by the, uh, the market. Sure, let's upgrade that. Okay, that looks like a good road up right here. How's this gonna, yeah? So, road right here. Okay, that's upgraded. Okay. So, people should be moving a little faster now, right? Okay, hang on. I think I forgot to draw that here to this. There we go. So I just have to deal with this compost thing. And then all the dead people over here. I think our graveyard is going to need to be bigger. Yeah. Okay, what's it saying? Crops lost to rot? Not too worried about that right now. So we're slowly getting rid of this compost. Or the 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 poop. And how's this coming along? You see your F4, right? Okay, there's 49 left. Once that's gone, I'll trash that. This doesn't look like it's moving here. Still 107 for quite a long time. Let's see here. R is my resource, right? So have we gotten any ores yet? Well, we did get some ores, huh? For some reason, it's still sitting at 107. Iron ingots moved up a little bit. Okay, isn't there something that uses the pelt? What was using the pelt? I forgot. Something was used. I think it was the shoes, right? I think it was the shoes. I think that was using the, the pelt. That's being upgraded. Now what's this one? That's a soap shop. Okay. Let's upgrade that too. Is this being upgraded? Yeah, it's being upgraded. Right, hang on. That means we need we need more workers, right? Or builders. There we go. 
Right, and you are okay. You're you're still getting our greenery. And then you, yeah, you should be getting some green as well. There's like 109 of those sitting there. Work camp, okay. Let's move this over here. It's missing stone. But stone shouldn't be the only thing he's working on, right? He's producing wood, which is fine. Resource ratio, more of this, and no stones. There we go, that works. I guess I can add one more guy for the stone. Alright, so we still have poop here. I don't know what's going on with this poop situation. There's a radius. There's no radius in this. What's this do? Toggle building production. I don't know what that does. I didn't do anything. I mean, it's full, so I can't really do anything. What's this say? Compost is ready to be spread on crop fields. Okay. Yield factor, no crop selected. The carrots? Okay, let me increase this a little bit. Okay, so poop is still a big problem. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, hey, we got a uh, trader here. So what does he want to buy from me? Oh, let me sell all of this. So wait, I just sold a bunch of this. Why did my gold count not go up? Unless it takes a while to transfer that over. Oh, Jesus Christ, this weapon is like 175. Oh, look at this. I can tr oh, no. It's 419. Jesus Christ, what is this? Man, all those are ridiculously expensive. So why did not my, why did I get like a large chunk? I had like a hundred and something and it didn't actually go up by that much. I should have gotten at least what, 200 increase. Unless it's taking a while to transfer the gold. I don't know. I mean, it should be instantaneous. Right, I gave him 112. And 112 times 13 should have should have been like a thousand something. Yeah, I don't know why the I don't know why that didn't go up. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that should have gone up like to a thousand. I sold like a hundred something. 112 times 13? Yeah, I should have at least a thousand gold. So unless this guy is like screwing me over somehow. I guess I'll add another one here. See, according to this, oh! Transfer gold. Oh my god, all this time I had like a 3,289 gold. Jesus Christ. I had all that gold in my trading post. Oh my god. 
I just realized what's going on. Oh no. Oh my god. I could have upgraded this a long time ago. I just realized what was happening. So the goal basically goes here. So that means I actually have money to spend. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna buy one. Buy in stock. Okay, I guess I'll buy some of these crude weapons too. Buy and transfer. Let's uh let's get twenty of these. We're buying stock, right? Do I have enough gold? I should have enough gold, right? It didn't tell me, like... Here we go. So I want 20... I guess I want... Wait, 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 what just happened? What just happened? Oh, he went away. One of the traders went away. Oh, yeah, the trader went away. So I can't buy any more from him. What's going on with this? Okay, he doesn't want to... So I have soap here. What else can I... Oh, okay, I don't want any of this stuff off him. Alright, well, anyways, I just figured it out. Basically, I had a shit ton of gold from selling, but it doesn't get transferred to my base. Unless I click on this button right over here. My god. All this time. So now I just need to get my villager count up. And I need my wood plank. I guess my, my wood count needs to go up. The plank count, right? I need 100 planks. Alright, so I actually have enough money to build a military thingy. Right, yeah, I do have enough money to build a military thingy. I'll stick them over here. I don't know what that if that circle thing. I don't know what that circle thing is. The well is over there. Alright, let's go with that, I guess, for now. I'll go like this. I don't know if that circle thing means I can actually change it. Or if it just automatically everybody in this area. I don't know what's going on with this thing here. But we'll find out. But I, I definitely have a lot of gold. God, I feel so dumb now. I had... I was sitting around waiting for this to go up to 1,200, and I keep selling shit to the trader, and I didn't realize the building storage is full. Okay. Well, what do I do to, to make it not full? I don't know how to make it not fall. I guess I can transfer these items back out. Oh, 
I guess I can cancel this. Let me just take cancel this. Like I don't know what this checkbox is. Keep on. I don't know what these checkboxes mean. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I guess I'll take some of this back out. Bring it down a little bit. Cause this thing is full for some reason. Yeah, it's full. Oh man. I can't believe all this time I had money and I didn't know about it. I had so much money. Compost is still. It's my grave? I think my grave is yeah, full. Yeah, it's full of shit. Oops, oh shit. No, 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 no. How do I, how do I unpause this? There we go. Alright, so I need 125 villagers again. Hmm. Alright, let's start putting the guy in here for food. Forager, let's go ahead and add more foragers. Add another farmer. Add another hunter there. And our reader. Decrease some of this. We should be fine now. So we still have poop to deal with. I can probably in increase the speed now. God, I feel so dumb about not transferring that gold out of this thing. So note to self, when you have a shit ton of gold here, just transfer it out. I think this right here is a reserve for me to buy stuff. So I think that's how that works. I still need a lot more food, don't I? This guy, yeah, he should be foraging this. There's a ton of food here. That I'm missing out on right here. this one? It's a forger right here, right? Okay, sh should be working on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left. Need more villagers basically. We gotta get this population count up to 1025 or 125. Then I gotta upgrade to my tier three. I could have done that sooner if I didn't if I'd known, I guess, about the, the gold transfer thing. I think now I understand like why those raiders made like a dash for this. Trading post. Look at all these rats here still. There's a shit ton of rats. Look at, you know what? I'm going to move my rat catcher. 
radius a little bit over here. I don't know if rats give me food or not. The, okay, rat catcher helps to keep rodents under control within their assigned work area. The rat catchers are especially needed around buildings that store grain and other food items. Okay. But it doesn't it doesn't give me any any bonuses. Complete spoilage. Hopefully we can, hopefully this rat catcher kills all this stuff. There's a ton of rats over here. Crops lost to frost? Okay, I'm not worried about that. I think it's just builders, right? I just need more builders. Maybe. Well, anyways, that's good to know. All right, so I think I probably could have upgraded a lot sooner. I think my wall is also kind of far out, but that's okay. I probably could have also had that barracks sooner as well. Okay, the compost is the the poop has actually gone down a little bit, right? One, two, three, now four. Yeah. Now this rat catcher is uh, unable to work. Why? Why are you unable to work? You're idling. Oh, I guess they don't do anything here. This has to be by a building or something, maybe. Idling. Why is it unable to work? Okay, so I think the rat catcher is only taking care of stuff that is that is buildings related. You see that? It's actually only the buildings related. It's slightly off, yeah. Okay, it's just this building right here is not getting it. Oh, it's a root cellar. Oh! Maybe I should encompass the root cellar. Well, I haven't had any rat problems with a root cellar. Yeah, I haven't had any problems with this root cellar. But we'll see. Alright, so my poop got poop situation better now. Now we just need shoes and we need luxury items, which is what? The pottery, right? Pottery building. Shoes? I can't do anything about shoes because I need a. I need to improve the hunting situation. There's like one over here. I think what I need to do is just relocate the hunter to the west. This circle here, maybe this circle could be better right here. I'm 
Okay, and this guy, I think he just needs beer. Yeah, I think he just needs beer. Did all the rats die? They're just still sitting there. I don't know what the, what's going on with the rats. Working on this one over here, right? Let me prioritize this. Oh, I, I know why. It's because I don't have any any planks. Actually, no, I have planks. So that's one all that. Alright, well I still need a lot of planks for this. I need a hundred planks for this. I need I need more more villagers to show up. Five new ones? Okay, cool. So we need 25 now. And we need more planks. For this one in here. Let me add another thing here. So we can get more planks going here. Tax, yearly tax, great, wonderful. Okay, this is running. So there's no such thing as retargeting this. What is this? Recruitment cost is 50, right? Seeking weapons. Oh, he doesn't have any weapons. Well, shit. I don't have any weapons. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Oh, I, you know what? I had the, the cred weapons, right? I just don't have the swords. Okay, what, what is this down here? So basically, we're just training a bunch, a bunch of soldiers. In case we get raided again. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to train a couple of guys. We did buy like 29 of those weapons too. Our monthly cost is 60? Recruitment cost is 50. Oh my god. I don't even know if we're going to be able to support that. See? One time. Oh, it's one time. Minus 100 one time. But our monthly cost is going to be minus 60 later. Jesus Christ. It's, I think that I think it's going to tally the following month. Oh my goodness. It's going to be costly. I need to figure out how to make more money. And the tax is not enough. I think I have to... If I can get this up, I can probably increase my tax rates. Right? Unless there's a way to adjust the tax. Can I adjust the tax? I don't think I can adjust the tax. No, right? There's no way to adjust the tax rates. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to adjust the tax rates. Town info, villager profession. Can I in increase the tax rate from this? Well, I think I don't think I can increase the tax rate off of this either. Oh, I need bricks to upgrade this. 
Oh, I should have bought some from the uh, the trader. All right, let's see here. Can I make bricks though? Let's see here. Is that something that's down here? Brickyard. Uh, I can't, but I could buy it though. From the trader. Let's slow this down a little bit. Well, make sure I can. Oh, I could sell coal to this guy, huh? Well, that's only for eight coins. That's not a whole lot. Hmm, I have 1,381. I could probably... Oh, he just left. Fuck. He went too fast. I should probably should have saved. Or, I mean, pause. I should have paused. They're not 100% effective, because they're missing, what, melee weapons? Yep. Oh my goodness, a soldier training. 60. Jesus Christ. Well, I need them. I definitely need them. In case I get raided. Yeah. I think it's like 10 coins per per soldier. 10, 10 soldiers. 10 per soldier, right? Oh man, I really need to... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of money every month. That's gonna drain my whole entire supply down. Let me, I guess I'll take this away. Monthly cost is 40. Mm. It's definitely going to be a drain on my thing. Well, shit. Now, the question is now that they're trained, do they. Do I need to be. Do I need them in garrison or no? What's this say? Lagging combat area. What's that mean? What's that mean? What's this mean? No, that means. Oh, it sends out the war or the soldiers out. Oh. See, it's a practice, I guess. I don't want to drain that much money every month. Let's just have one guy, I guess. How do I, how do I change the flag? Meeting at point. Yeah, I, I don't want to drain my thing right now. I don't know if that's going to be enough time to recruit somebody while I'm getting attacked. That's the other question. Alright, look, well, my roads are being upgraded, which is nice. All my roads are getting upgraded. How's this one? That's still being upgraded. How about this one? And this one? No. That's being upgraded. How about this one? Okay. the back alley, right? What's this clear? Oh, yeah, I can... Oh, 
All right, so I have plenty of food right now. I just need to get this population up to 125. And I just need planks. All right, I need 100 planks. I need population up to 125. I'm kind of worried about the next raid attack. What's this? Pottery. Okay, we need pottery. Why are you not? I think I need more of this. I have plenty of clay. I don't. Clay, I don't think that's a problem. I just don't understand why these guys are not producing enough. I have plenty of water too. I have 64 potteries right here. I guess I just need more workers transporting that. That's probably what it is. No, I have that here. I think I'm fine on this. For some reason, the pottery is not being distributed. I think that's what it is. According to this, they're not getting any. 29 resin stocks, candles. Oh, I need candles as well, huh? Okay. Alright, so that's probably a luxury item. Okay, so to get candles, I need to, to get the honey thingy, right? The bee worker thingy. This one. Where do I need it? Where do I stick this? Do I stick this anywhere I want, or how does this work? I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. Does that go next to the tree, or does it chop the tree? That's my other question. Not quite sure how this works. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Then that's fine. Find out if I look. I can move the radius. So that should get me some some wax, right? And I think there's something here that makes candles. Wait, something makes candles. Something makes candles. Unless it's a tier 3. Oh, here we go. Candle shop. And it just requires the bees wax. Oh, Jesus Christ. This building is huge. Is there a... Okay, that, that does have a left and right input. Okay, I can go right here. Right now. go right there. That's a road, right? Hang on, let's see if I can delete this little road stretch here. Shit. Hang on. Come on. Delete. Here we go. I'm gonna delete this. That would just go like this, right? I'm gonna go like this. And we're gonna go, and then we're gonna do another one. From here to here. For now. Shit. How about from here to here? From here to here. Shit. Come on. There we go. Okay, that works too. All right, predator. Where are we at here? Oh, oh shit. Uh, here we go. You guys help this guy out, and you guys just run. You just run. Oh, 
Oh, come on. You, stop running. Turn around and fight. You. Fight. There we go. How do I get rid of this banner thing or this flag thing? Maybe I just click on the flag. Oh, there we go. Return to barracks. There we go. Education basic ailment now. Occupation soldier. I wonder if the people I trained earlier retains the weapon that I gave them. Because I saw somebody with a bow and arrow earlier. I don't know what that's about. He needs bow or arrows. Okay. that one. Well, that's still being upgraded. So we should be able to get candles and that should help satisfy this luxury problem. Because 30 residents have pottery, it's just they don't have candles. I think the candles is the thing that's causing this to not go up. taxes on luxury goods they consume. Oh! Interesting. Pay taxes on luxury goods they consume. Let's, see. Let's hit the R key. We do, have, we do have a lot of pottery, see? 97. We have 30 residents, I think, right now. That's homesteads, I think. 31 homesteads, yeah. Alright, so I think the reason why this bar is not is not going up is because of the the candles. And I think that I think we had like a stockpile of candles earlier. I think that's what it was. That's my guess, anyways. Okay, everything's looking fine for now. Alright, we have plenty of food. We just need to get, we just need to get the planks up. How do I move this? Is there a way to force this to go away? My, what? My wagon. My storehouse, right? Where is the planks thing? Oh, stockpile. Oh. No, stockpile is not full. I don't know why this is not filling up. I like 58 sitting here. Thirty-eight right here. For some reason, the plank just went down. How did my planks go down? Like, what's consuming planks regularly? Unless each of the homes are, are consuming them just to repair. Alright, well, I guess I'll add more. Yeah, my planks are going down. I 
should be stockpiling points here. No, yeah. Oh, I have this much wheat. Um, let's move this out, I guess. It's, I don't think anyone wants to buy it, though. Alright, so I need, what, 12 more villagers? And then I need this planks here to go up. And for some reason, it started consuming. Well, according to this, I have 58. And here, I have, it says I have 48. Oh, wait, no. Produced in the last year. Okay, no. Storage is 40. So that means there's 8 being stored here. 2 being stored here. How do I move this along faster? Okay. Minor? No. Why, why am I short on this? I don't need more workers, right? Or builders. I did five, so. I think he's just trying to upgrade the the, the dirt row. Okay, it's a candle shop. Can I move this? Okay, I can't move this radius. I think the beehive guy just needs to do it on the trees. I think that's how it works, but I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't know if there's a thing to increase for bees. Unless it's the nuts? No. Or the bird nests. Unless there's like a specific B icon that I need to look for. Maybe maybe I need to put it by a B icon. I, I don't know. It's a, it doesn't say there's a requirement, right? I don't think there's a requirement. Yeah, it just produces, so... So I think it just... Having this right there is just good enough. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I need my planks to go up as well. Okay, well, I'm just sitting around waiting for this. See, I don't know what's going on with this here. What is it? Current tier? Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this thing works, actually. So, so we're just waiting on this to get 125, and we're waiting on this. And I can upgrade to tier 3. And I can't get this going because I'm missing the, uh, the candles. So that will be something we'll have to sit around and wait for. Alright, I think I should, uh, take a break from here because I've streamed now for 11 hours and 44 minutes and I need to get something to eat and I haven't eaten yet.
So this is a good stopping point for me. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Right here, we can confirm this, save. And then we will... We will take a break from the stream here. I'll probably come back later once I, once I get some food and or something. And then probably take a nap before streaming again.